Oh, good. It, it worked. Hey. <laughs> what's up? Sorry, buddy. I wasn't sure. Yeah, no, it's great. <laughs> Had to hedge our bets. Good yeah. morning. Good morning. Good morning. We are back live in the studio for the morning show. Yeah, we were sitting here less than 12 hours ago. <laughs> That movie ruled. It was good. Yeah, you yeah. you missed a you missed a good one. Yeah, I was I was bummed. Yeah. Uh, oh well. It turned out to be a banger. Like I find like a lot of. Are you your mic? Oh, kind of. <laughs> <sighs> it's incredibly early for Graham. I think it's pretty early for Ben too. This is early for me. Yeah, I don't I'm, get up this early. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm definitely a sleep in her. Yeah. But yeah, it was one of those movies where, like, you know, a lot of old, you know, old horror movies are a little bit artsy fartsy yeah. with their presentation. No, nah, even Adam understood it the whole time. Well, so my understanding was it, it's, a, it's a more recent movie, but the reason because I, I caught this because I was well, I tuned in right at the start. You said mm -hmm. the reason it's in public domain is because they fucked up. They fucked up the copyright. They fucked up some paperwork, so, basically. Yeah, if you if you didn't get to see, well, last night we watched a movie called Horror Express, which is starring Christopher Lee. Christopher, okay. <laughs> Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing. Yeah. Oh, wow. With, with a surprise appearance by Telly Savalas. What? Yeah. yeah. Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's loosely based on Who Goes There, which is the same novella that The Thing is based on. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, cool. And you can see, like, where they got the, you know. Huh. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. <laughs> That's cool. I'll need to. I'll. I'll, I'll want to check that out. Actually. I think yeah. the, the moment that we were all like, we're on board, is when the monkey mummy reaches his <laughs> you arm. Don't even need to that, that, that yeah. <laughs> yeah. But he reaches his arm out of the cage that he's in. Yeah. Grabs a screw. Uh huh. Or, or a, like a nail. Bends the nail <laughs> on on the thing that it's like the the crate that it's on, and then picks the lock. Of his nice. crate with the like Allen wrench nail that he made. Yeah, oh, dude, great. so good. I like uh, Black Ice. That says Christopher Lee may have been in bad movies, but he's never been bad in movies. <laughs> movies? Yeah, it's true. I don't well, even know if I'd put this as a bad movie. No, because Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing had a long history. Like this was this was like late in their career of being in like this kind of horror film, mm. right? They were in the Hammer produced horror films for years in in the UK, and this was an Italian production, I think it was. And um, I was I was reading the Wikipedia about it, obviously, and uh, Peter Cushing's uh, wife had recently passed away, and he was not feeling it, and was like, you know what, I just, I don't think I can do this, I don't think I'm gonna put in a good performance, I don't wanna do this thing, and backed out, like, very close to filming. And Christopher Lee was like, Hey buddy, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Yeah, let's just let's just let's just you and me hang out and make a movie together, just like old times. Won't that be fun? And That's Peter Christian cool. was like, "All right, fine, sure, I'll do it." Wow. You know, was just like was just like, "Yeah, you know what? I would like to make a movie with Christopher Lee again. That'll that'll cheer me up." That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah. This would have been. This was what? This was seventy two. So this was like yeah. five years before Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah. What's oh, wow. so funny about that movie is it's 72, so both both Christopher Lee and Peter are in their 50s. Yeah. Peter looks like it, <laughs> and it took me a second to recognize Christopher, Christopher Lee. Christopher Lee? Like, he's, he looks good. Yeah. <laughs> Still, that, like, it was wild. Man, I, I unironically very much enjoy uh, Man with a Golden Gun. Mm. The Bond film where he plays the bad guy. Yep. It's it's good stuff. So <sighs> it's the uh, it's the morning chat show. Yeah. yeah. How did this come about? So chat. Man, this is something I I said this before. I've wanted to do this for years. Yeah, yeah, like I feel like individually both both you, me and Ben and me and Graham, and maybe all three of us, I don't know, have had conversations about doing like a morning lure show. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, all right, we've got a lot of time to fill this week. Uh, let's do it. Uh, I will admit that this is not as planned as it should as it as it could have been. <laughs> this is the yeah, we're gonna okay. be planned by our state of our, Yeah. It, so we've joked about this being like this the desert bus warm up. This, this is this yeah. is so desert bus yeah. that like yep. yeah, more than anything, this is gonna be literally just us, us faffing about for, for five, five hours. hours. <laughs> it was such a long time. Yeah. Oh, we gotta update the stream title. Uh, ah, damn. Wait, I can't do that for my phone. Okay. So that means okay. it's still 
It's still the movie thing from last night. No, it's no. A, it, it'll say watch along. Oh, yeah. okay, sure. Yeah, I think, assuming that we it, were yep. updated that as he was signing off from Dark Souls. I don't know how that ended up going. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, I'll start us off with uh, some uh, old man complaints about technology. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, so I got a, I got a, a ride here this morning because, of course, the buses don't start. Yes, so. I had to take a cab this morning, too. Till 5.30. And uh, without being too specific, for obvious reasons, um, there is a route that can be taken here uh, on, on foot or by bicycle. But the, the road has a, has a bike lane. Mm -hmm. uh, so that it's only for, for, like one, for like one section of this road, uh, it's, it's uh, one way. Mm -hmm. And uh, maps, mapping systems, like if you're using just actual like Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever Uber uses or anything like that, do not know that. Like that, like the, the They bikes. don't know that it's one lane in that section, and so they suggest that a car comes along and turns the wrong direction down that section. It's physically not possible for the car to go that way. Okay. And the, the maps are always like, oh, do this. And... And drivers don't know because they, it they, says you're supposed to be able to do it. Yeah, so it's like it. This annoys me because it's like, do they do they still do the knowledge in uh, in in England? Like, do they still make sure that that like London black cab drivers actually know how to drive the f around? Like, it drives me mad that these drivers don't know. It's not new either. This has been it's been this way for years, right? It drives me mad that drivers don't know. I had one the other day park, like, f follow the map, go to where it, he was supposed to turn, be unable to turn, and just honk at me. <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> yeah. So I had to I had to walk for like a block and a half to get to this to get to this, Jeez. this, this dude. And it's like, you. D how do you not know this? Yeah. So you should know this. I agree with you. Like. If you're driving around the city as your job, yeah, like you should definitely have like a little bit of an idea it's, of like what you're doing and stuff. Literally, it's your it's one your job. job. It's the one job. <laughs> yeah. yeah, totally right. But on the it it annoys me to no end when they don't also use like a GPS in tandem mm. with it because the amount of times that I've gotten into like a cab and I've been like I'm going to this street address and lately I've also been like it's right beside this major landmark and they've been like oh I, uh, hold on and like have to like look look it up and stuff like that and and then not use the gps They're like oh yeah, yeah, yeah i know and then so we again not not going to give our details away on, on where the moon base is um, we're around a system of one ways as many things in victoria are mm -hmm. uh and he dropped me off way over there because he's like oh i took the wrong i took the wrong road but you can just walk up there <laughs> and I was like, uh, I guess, yeah, you're right, man. It's like, why didn't you just use the GPS? Like, yeah. it's, I don't know. It, it, we have the technology, and I'm sure you could probably like expense your data at that point on your phone too. Yeah. So, yeah, Sweet. it's, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely with you there on mm -hmm. it though. But I also like, I can count the amount of cabs I've taken in a, this year on like maybe one hand. Oh, fair enough. Not inc not including, I guess, like 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 getting to him from the airport for travel. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing that upset me the most about Vegas. Mm. Is like like I actually had a buddy who was visiting Vegas at the same time we were for MagicCon Vegas, and I don't really know where things are necessarily. And we were staying at the Renaissance Hotel, which is just off the the Vegas Strip. And my buddy was like, "Oh, I'm at the Wynn." hotel oh, okay. and i was like oh okay and I, I don't know where that is and you he's like oh it's just there it's like, like right there that's the thing he's like it's just across the street and i was like oh sick no We're like super close <laughs> no it is not that was easily like eight blocks <laughs> yeah preview for a side rant that you'll see in an upcoming uh g vlog because i i did i did record vegas and uh i i went off about this there as well it's uh this is this will be my fourth time in in Vegas, mm -hmm. uh, including the time that we were there for 16 hours <laughs> yeah. in 2007. Where did we stay, by the way? Do you uh, remember? The, it, I was trying to remember this. Wasn't it we the Mandalay there. Bay or the MGM? 
It was somewhere on the strip. Yeah. Eh, doesn't matter. I was just trying to remember. Yeah, I can't remember either. Anyway, um, and uh, I enjoy things that there are to do in Vegas, and certainly at MagicCon, I like seeing all of, all of the friends that that uh, we have in the in that sphere of folks. Uh, but I don't like Vegas <laughs> itself. <laughs> yeah, it's America the ride. Yeah, uh, and what one of the things that bugs me about it is that just in the same way that people talk about um, the way that the casinos are laid out, so too are the roads in terms of pedestrian. It is it, it is actively hostile to pedestrians. Mm. And so, like, here, I walk all the time. And we were looking for, we were going to a breakfast place, and it's, it's a, it is a 15-minute walk uh, from the hotel mm -hmm. to get to this breakfast place. And it is the most fucking miserable 15 minute walk and you're is, in a desert it, but it is it is it is not direct it is confusing the the roads you have to cross are like it's the they they have the the they're the road equivalent of of being so badly laid out is to be like you want to cross the road <laughs> like it is so bad I, yeah i you're in the opposite realm you i you so love I, vegas. I love vegas yeah. i love that stupid town but i do hate how unwalkable it is yeah when i got home i was there for eight days when i got home i made the mistake i should have just been like eh, it was an amount of money i added up all my uber receipts mm. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's absurd yeah it was a lot and it was i was just like oh that sucks it's just yeah but I do, I do love it. I but on, on the on the flip side, I get it, because like, I have to say, like, so we didn't do too much touristy stuff. It's very different now with magic conventions because it is a convention. Yeah. And we're like constantly doing things. Yeah. Uh, and stuff, and it actually feels like there's not enough hours in a day, straight up, to like do all the things that you want to do there. Um, where in the past with like GPs and stuff like that, you'd be like, ah, we're gonna go watch Blue Man Group or something like that, or we'd go to like. Uh, the we didn't go to the the buffet that we always go to. Oh, the buffet! Yeah, the buffet. Yeah, Beach uh, went to Blue. Beach and Nelson went to Blue Man Group. Oh, and yeah, yeah, and they had yeah. a great time. I did not end up doing any. Well, no, actually, we went to Omega Mart. Exactly. That's so. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, it's like we did get to go to Omega Mart, and it was the coolest was damn so thing. Omega Mart. Cool. It, was, it was the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And like that, that alone is like a small part of like yeah. all of the big things that there are in Vegas. Yeah, that's what I think. Like, so like I was talking about like how I, I don't like Vegas. Some, a, a thing I do love about it is that uh, in the airport there was these big banners for like this show uh, that was being put on at one of the hotels or something and it was like just, it, it was just, it was just a show. It was just this big mess of like, uh, look, we got, we got music and dancing and pyrotechnics yeah. and really cool lights. Like, okay, and what's it about? Ah, it's a show. Yeah, <laughs> Come and see, it's a spectacle. Come and see it. And I, I do love that Vegas is. It just has this it's like a place where those can exist. Yeah, it has this momentum yeah. where it's like, hey, we're just gonna do something that like looks rad and yeah. charge people to see it. Like, yeah. well, but but. But what's the hook? I just look, check it out. <laughs> it's the Holy only shit, place. Look at what we've done. It's the only place that could have built that sphere. Yeah. yeah. Well, no. they, that being said, they I believe are building another one in London. They're, are they, they really? Want to. They, okay. There's they a lot actually... of lot of people in London do not like the idea. That's fair. Shocking. It's pretty cool. Shocking. A giant one. sphere. Is did you neat. see? Did you see footage, footage from, from the U2 concert? Holy no. crap! Oh my god. It's yeah. unreal. Yeah. I, I desperately want to see a show it's, there now. Do you remember, have you ever been to like an Omnimax? Yeah. Yeah, in like Vancouver at Science World, right? It's it's, it's, it's just like all around. It is yeah. that on the steroids of being in Las Vegas. Yeah. It is this uh, the, the massive interior dome. So yeah, the, 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 the orb, as we called it, on the inside, uh, there's like a, one giant raked uh, stadium seat and with like tiny little stage down there and then there's just this huge interior dome. I saw also clips of like a like virtual tour of neat places in the world. It's mm. basically just like sort of you're kind of like doing very very high res Google Maps. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, it it also looked looked really really cool. That said, remember were you in the were you in the in the car when we, the driver was telling us about the U2 concert? No. 
do you, do you, do you know what tickets were for opening night? Oh, like twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars probably. They're not quite, but it was like between twelve hundred and two thousand oh, yeah. dollars. Yeah. Which yeah. Uh, to see you too. <laughs> well, so I think um, so. They're doing got a, an iPad. They're doing a little mini residence there. Yeah. Um, and I'm pretty Octum sure that I heard. Live. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard Cool Dad was going to a show later this month. Oh. It gets a lot cheaper. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It drops off. The price drops off considerably when it when it's not opening night anymore. Yeah. So. Um, I wanted to just point out. I don't know if we've addressed uh, the sub notifier. Mm. Um, Paul updated that last night. Yeah. Uh, so now not only does it, it, it should keep track of the it's total amount. Every sub. So that's re- every sub and every bit. Rather than resetting every day. Yeah. Um, and even then only when we actually manually refresh it. Um, so it, it's now keeping track of the whole thing. Uh, and then there's also the dilly bar counter. The slightly tilted cap-reached thing still. It's been, it's been more than slightly tilting many people in chat. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Paul could fix it. Oh, no. It's um, great that it's, like, slightly canted. So, yeah, we hit we hit the, the, the cap at, like, 30 hours in. Much earlier than we expected. Um, so we had to come up with a, with a stretch goal. Uh, so the stretch goal is um, I, I, will, I will personally bring one dilly bar for everybody to share in the <laughs> finale. We almost got enough for the crew. But... I'm only bringing one to share unless we keep raising that dilly bar counter, which is just above Graham's head there. So for every 150 subs or I think 52 and a half thousand bits, and that's like collectively, it's not like one of you has to give 52,000 bits, uh, we'll add a dilly bar. So now we're up to 10 because I, I will bring the first one mm. and now there are nine more and, and now we have, have 10. And if that number can get up to, I think about 18, we should have the whole crew covered. Dude, I would love if it gets, if, if, if 18 is the number, if it hits 17. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just There's one just person. one person who doesn't get it. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, that would be so good. <laughs> Quixotic Scrivener asking a question. We've been asked a lot, actually, which is uh, over the years, which is, you know, which is, which is better for us, you know, Twitch or Patreon. Hmm. Uh, and uh, same same answer that we've always given, right? Which is like, technically speaking, on paper we get a higher cut of the money from Patreon, but in the Twitch, it's you get this sort of interaction and you get the emotes and things, and ultimately it is similar enough that it is whatever you prefer and slash is easier for you. So. Yeah, it's like yeah. if you if you're down to give us five dollars a month but you don't want to do it here and you do want to do it on Patreon, then just do it there. Yeah. Like, that's fine. Now, I can't help but notice we haven't mentioned YouTube membership. <laughs> that also, it's yeah, also an also avenue thing. you can do. You yeah. know, we've, we've talked about it uh, lots that, like, we we just, you know, it feels weird to be like, look, you could do Patreon, you could do Twitch, you could do YouTube memberships, you could give, you could give, you could leave, like, super thanks on YouTube and it sounds, it's a silly name for it, but it's like, we just want to make it as easy as possible. If someone's like uh, already in like the Google ecosystem and they don't want to sign up for Patreon or they don't watch Twitch and it's like, but I still would like to give you guys like five bucks or something, then hey, YouTube memberships, perfect. It's Great. it's so funny ex- like elaborating and explaining to people. They're like, so where does your money come from? And it's like... Okay, so we've got like going through each of like the individual. Yeah. Like, it was really funny sources. ten years ago explaining it to the accountants. Oh yeah, yeah I bet. Yeah, they're like people just give you money. So like, we, well, so Wheeler and I were buddies for the uh, for the whole trip for Vegas, mm-hmm. and so we shared an Uber on our like six thirty a.m. flight to get there. Um, and the guy was super duper friendly. He was he was a chatty Uber driver, which normally I'm not down for. Normally, I five star you if you do not interact is this, with me. Is this here to the airport in Victoria? Or here in Vegas? to the airport in Vegas. Oh, okay. okay. Or, sorry, yes. So from, from, from the Renaissance to the Vegas airport. Oh, so when you're coming home? Yeah. Okay. So we're tired as hell. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, and I'm going to chat you up. And he's like, so why are you guys here? Yeah. And we're like, all right, we know what's going to go down. So we told him, and he was like genuinely interested. Uh, and he's like, so you guys are like super nerds. And we're like, yeah, yeah. And he's just like, man, but it's got to be like, got to be like pretty expensive to come do these trips and whatnot and we're like well actually uh we're, we're getting paid to do it and he's like whoa whoa, whoa what <laughs> and then we're like well we do the youtube thing and he's like oh no way and he's had like all these questions he's like so what do you guys do and like why so wait hold on 
you're doing the YouTube thing, but you got flown out for a card game? <laughs> and we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some people actually make their money. He's like, well, how much cards, how, how, how much can like somebody possibly make like with a card? Oh, <laughs> and we were just like, well, recently. Yeah. <laughs> you know, post Malone, right? Very yeah. recently, a magic card sold for over $2 million and the man lost it. He's like, He's like, sometimes I watch like financial gurus and stuff, and nobody told me to get into magic cards. <laughs> yeah, Is this something I should be doing? Because they're financial no. gurus. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's because they're smart. Yeah. It- and, oh, man. But he, he was, he's like, so, like, what's, what's the wildest place you've ever been to through this drop? And I was like, oh, thank you for 2023. I was like, we, we got flown to Barcelona. Yeah. He's like, Barcelona. <laughs> and, like, lost his heart. He's like, why am I doing Uber? I should be playing magic card <laughs> magic card <laughs> did you did I, did I ever tell you about the, the the worst chatty driver experience i no, ever had no also las vegas okay great yeah and they love they love to talk i guess this was when we were there for the for the gp and i got i got heat exhaustion mm. right uh and so we had gone out to i can't even remember i'm so out of it on this day i can't even remember who else was there matt tayback was there and six was other Surge people. Was there? I don't remember. Okay, Surge has a very long history of taking people out to places in Vegas and giving them heat exhaustion. <laughs> <laughs> so I needed, I needed to double check. No, this was, it's in it's in my vlog. I don't know if I talked about it, but like uh, we, we were at this like multi-course Japanese restaurant. Ooh, okay. Right, where it's like, they do the thing where like, they it's like seven courses and they're all like little teeny special things or whatever, right? And so I get there and uh, and I start to feel bad as soon as we sit down. And I ask, I ask the waiter, I'm like, can I get like an aspirin? Because I start to get like a headache. I'm like, do you have any like, do you have like ibuprofen or something? And he's like, I can't just give you like pills. Pills. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, please. And so he like, he comes back later with like a napkin and puts it on the table and he's like folded an ibuprofen in the napkin. It was awesome. It was great. Turns out that wasn't going to do it. So I start by like the third course of this. I'm like, I need to leave because I just felt horrendous. So I call I call an Uber to get back to the thing and I, and I get in and what I say is, I feel awful. I just need to get back to my hotel. Please just, you know, as quick as you're able to do safely, right? And I'm like, I do not. And he takes that as... as I'm going to make you feel better, buddy. I, he takes that as a sign to just, just talk, <laughs> to just chat. And not only, not just chat, but like weirdly personal stuff. Like he, like I'm, he's in the driver's seat, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm sitting yeah, okay, back, back alternate there, yeah. right? And he's talking about like... Uh, Hold on, I'll be you. He's like... <laughs> That's, yes, exactly <laughs> that. And he's like, you know, I met my wife driving Ubers actually. You know? <laughs> met her like, met her like four years ago. She was sitting exactly where you're sitting right now. And I'm, and I'm and just that, like, and you know, she passed away recently. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, why, Buddy, no. why word it specifically? Like she was sitting right where you're sitting right now. And I'm just like, well. It's, it's, <laughs> Don't get it. You know, ideas. she kind of looked like you, too. Yeah. <laughs> please, please stop talking. We, we welcomed our first child into the, into the world last week. You'll never guess where she was conceived. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right where you're And that's it right there. <laughs> oh, my God. But yes. I, I, I got to the hotel room. I immediately fell asleep and then woke up the next morning. I felt fine, thank goodness. But, oh, God. I've only gotten heat exhaustion once. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was the thing that masked that what I actually had was appendicitis. Oh my god! So I I was in I I was like ten in daycare because uh, that that's what parents my parents did is threw me in daycare in the summer and I went to like a water park in 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 Edmonton and like in Edmonton which is in Alberta just over for those who don't know where I'm originally from uh, summers get hot there we're talking like thirty. Eight to forty degrees, Whoa. kind of thing, and they're like, you know, it'd be good. Let's take these kids outside. Oh my god! <laughs> so we went to, yeah, we went to this outdoor little like, like one of those like spray parks you would see in the middle of like a, a, a playground or whatever. And so I came back uh, and was like feeling sick the whole time, and I'm like throwing up everywhere and whatnot. Like when my mom picks me up and stuff, and she's like, this seems like a lot. 
maybe we should go to the hospital. And like throughout like the drive, we had to stop and pull over and I had to like over in, in the thing and we would get there and they're like, oh, your appendix is like gonna burst now. <laughs> <laughs> and then it did. <laughs> Well, but they got they got it. They got it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They 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 didn't bur it didn't burst, and then they're like, well, let's just <laughs> pack it back up. <laughs> there you go. It's all it's all good. Uh, you too hungry? Yeah. yeah should I go? I, I I didn't eat breakfast specifically for yes. this. Do we want to tell the people what the what I'm doing? Sure. Okay. Uh, I had one idea for this the show this morning. It was a good idea. Uh, yeah. And it is, I'm going to go to McDonald's, and I'm going to get one of every item on their breakfast menu, and then bring it back, and then we're going to split it, split every item into a third. And, and, <laughs> oh, I didn't know about that part. And eat it, and then rank it. Yeah. Like a tier list, or what? I think I think it would actually Ooh. be more enjoyable. Not a tier list. We actually count how many items we have, and that's how many spots. And you have okay. to rank them as we go. Yeah. So you have to like give spots. You're giving up spots as we go. Oh, that's dangerous. As yeah. we go. Yeah, as we go. So it's just like if are we gonna like, individually do it, or are we gonna come to a consensus? We each have our own list. Okay. Like, okay. We'll have a piece of paper with like one through however many items, and as you go, we'll each have the same thing. And yeah, we'll go, we'll, we'll see how this is. I'm going to windmill slam. I already know what my number one is. Okay. It's, it's the McDonald's hash brown. Oh, oh all right. All I right. think, I mean, I, so I have, I'm, I'm one of the people that regularly goes to McDonald's. Like if like uh, Saturday, Saturday morning, my partner and I are going to go to go take like our dog for a walk yeah, in the yeah. park. We stop at McDonald's. So I have my regular thing, but I've tried nothing else on the breakfast breakfast menu in years mm, so all right i'm excited to, to see i've never I've, had a breakfast burrito i would say <laughs> they do those how about yeah. how about a fun game how about a fun um uh uh, uh channel point bet here mm. let's oh. set the the line at how much we think this is going to cost oh. <laughs> and then you could you can all bet Higher the lower. over or under yeah um for every so breakfast item, I'm gonna get item? I'm gonna get one of every breakfast item on the menu. Food, not like with, drink or anything. I'm gonna get drinks as well. Okay. Um, I will get three hash browns because they're small. Because they're small, right? And we can. Eat, and I know it's Ben's favorite, so I was gonna get him one anyway. So. What's on the, like? So it's. So this is like the. I think so we like could different name it. Variant, the, 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 the listed on menu variants of the of the sandwiches? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then like do you count like a, like a muffin as part of their breakfast? I don't menu? think you need I don't think I'm gonna get muffins. Yeah. Okay. I think it's like get, restricting it to sandwiches. I'm gonna get like, like I'm gonna get like McMuffins, McGriddles, pancakes. Uh, pancakes if they have them. They make pancakes? They, they do. Yeah. Hash browns, um, uh, they have so they so I think I can get most of them because I see this menu constantly. <laughs> okay, so it's yeah. So they'll have pancakes. In terms of the muff McMuffins, you have both. You have the sausage and the bacon yeah. with or without egg are two different ones. What yeah. are you, hold I, on, Laser Weeks. What are you talking about? Sorry, Laser Weeks just said McDonald's breakfast doesn't start until 10 a.m. That's no, no, no. That's what <laughs> that's what it flips. That's got to be regional. Yeah. There's no shot. It doesn't. Oh, you're goofing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, gotcha, you can't, gotcha. You can't just say damn these tone. It's 6:30 in the morning. So there's all the yeah. There's the McMuffins with and without egg. Yeah. Uh, there's the McGriddles. Yep. Uh, there are egg one with and without egg on those ones. There's the chicken McMuffin. Yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my go-to. Okay. Uh, there is uh, the breakfast burritos. There are the bagel. Uh, sandwiches yeah. in various forms of those ones. Oh my yeah. god. Uh, and... I mean, I might play a little fast. I mean, I might have to play a little fast and loose with this because... I like, don't think you want to do every permit, like, yeah, permutation I of might, them. I might try to get, like, a nice, healthy spread. You could get the ones with egg, and then we could take a bite with the egg in it, and then, and without, then without the it, egg. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think whichever way you're going to go. Uh, yeah. We don't have any steak ones things? here. Well, Let's no let's set the line at, and this is Canadian, right? I'm gonna say uh, <coughs> let's go seventy five bucks. That's a that's a safe bet. I would say. Let's go seventy five bucks, and if um, I see TXC two, TXC two, if you want to fire up a, um, I think it's gonna be higher, though. Yeah, so that's it, my I guess. Mean, because I mean, hop in chat and spend as, all your points. <laughs> as a frame of reference, the the normal meal that Nicole and I get is. 
uh, uh, we both get chicken McMuffins without cheese, no cheese because McDonald's cheese is gross. Uh, add bacon. Do a hundred? We could do a hundred. Mm -hmm. Sure. If it's not too late. All right. Set yeah. the line at a hundred bucks. Hundred Canadian. Hundred even. That's tough. McDonald's isn't. Isn't as, it's isn't, not as cheap as it was. Cheap no, it's not. Yeah. So it's it's not Inflation, as cheap as it was. man. But yeah, normally our, our meal comes out to be about 18 bucks, and it's two sandwiches, three hash browns, two coffees. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're getting coffees. We're getting smoothies. Uh, I don't really. I was gonna. Get, I don't think you need to do I drinks, was gonna man. Do, no, I was gonna go coffee, okay. orange juice, apple juice. Hell yeah. The and, I, and I was gonna get the biggest version of each, and then we split it into into our cuppies. I think. Oh, <laughs> Into our cubbies. Into our cubbies. <laughs> I think Good, OJ is top I'm, tier. I'm drinking water, so I can't wait for All coffee. right, I'm going to go. Okay. We'll be back in a, in a little bit. I have All a car, right. so we're good. <laughs> that, that's it's not you just with, like, so all these bags. Are you... I need to... How are you going to order this? Are you going to go, can I get one of everything? Or are you going to just individually pick these things and watch as their eyes widen? No, oh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to use the machine. Okay. Oh, you, go, you, can't, oh. you can't see this to a regular human I being? Can't, I can't stare somebody in the eye Man, and order this much crap. When, me, when my friends and I ordered... 500 McNuggets for like a, a challenge amongst ourselves. We there was no automated machine that you could do it at, and they were not happy. Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna hear what the or, f from the kitchen. Order on the machine and yeah. apologize. Yeah. All right, see you in a uh, bit. Recently, f um, uh, uh, oh. my boy Jake from uh, Adventures Nardia, Roll for Sandwich. Yes, did um, it was episode uh, 200 of Roll for Sandwich. And it was like, it was a special, uh, like, fast food edition, right? So, like, the bread roll was like a McDonald's McMuffin or a, uh, like a, a KFC whatever. It was like all this, it was all stuff from different fast food places, mm -hmm. right? And so, because the way that he does it is that he'll do the roll and then he'll go get the stuff. Oh, okay. Right? And so, <laughs> there's an extended version on his YouTube where he's, like, going... <laughs> He has to go through like the KFC drive-through and be like, uh, "I'd like a side of corn." <laughs> nope, that just just that. <laughs> right, because right, it's like, like that's the only thing from that thing. venue. Yeah, and like for the uh, for McDonald's, it's like it's all he needed was the cheese. No, <laughs> right. So he's like, "Can I get a a plain cheeseburger? No patty, no sauce." And on the on the on the drive-through intercom, it's like, so like just cheese on a bun, huh? <laughs> like he's like, yeah. It's what clinches that for me. They're like, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's the biggest you good bro yeah. ever that like a fast food employee can hit you with. Damn. You sure about that? All oh. right. It was really funny. <laughs> Just cheese on a bun. Yeah. yeah. No, he couldn't bring himself to say hold the bun. He couldn't bring himself to to order just a I slice yeah. of cheese. I guess it's like, yeah, if you just get the bun, it's less likely that the cheese part, which is what you need, is going to stick to anything. Yeah. Yeah, which exactly. Which makes a lot of sense. Because yeah. like is that is that what is no, is colloquially known as like American cheese? Is like oh, yeah. Those, those little It's very plasticky. Yeah. So it's so weird because it's like I am typically... It might be because my experience with it is either a from like fast food like McDonald's mm -hmm. or like on a on a burger from a fast food joint or the craft single slices mm -hmm. and both of them are so vile mm -hmm. I, I can't I can't do it like I if if somebody hands me like what is likely going to happen a McMuffin or whatever and it has cheese on it I'll eat it it's mm -hmm. fine because yeah. I don't like wasting food but if I could. Ugh, American cheese is just so wild yeah. to me, and it's not. This isn't even like a. This isn't even like a oh, America kind of like like dig or anything like that. It's just yeah. It's it's super wild. What's up? What's going on, man? This doesn't. You're already back. Yeah, I, I, ah. Oh, his wallet. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Put it down somewhere in the room. Yeah. There you go. There we go. All right, James is on his way now. Great. Well, James did ask us to do a thing while we were while he's gone. Oh, did he? Yeah, was that we? Uh, it's the morning. This yeah. is a morning show. Yep. 
Uh, and what people usually do, I mean, this we, this is really our like Regis and Kelly moment. Mm. Uh, I don't actually know if they do this on Regis. I've never watched an episode of Regis and Kelly in my life. Uh, is talk about the weather. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. We can uh, we can give the weather report for everybody. All right. Uh, are you gonna take care of that? Do you do you want me to do it or do you want to sure. do it? Sure. Go for it. Okay. All right. Well, I might need your help changing the maps then. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, sh should I? Go in there, or do what? Should, am I, uh, should I do it? Yeah, either or, it's fine. It's literally just hold on. I'll change. I'll change the camera when you're ready. Great. See, I knew, I knew the show as Regis and Kathy Lee uh, when I was younger, but uh, at least half of those people are dead now. <laughs> it's what is it now? Is it just like Kelly and Friends? <laughs> Kelly and friends. Wait, why isn't this? It's Kelly and Mark. Uh, Kelly that's and Ryan. Why. Do we care about Mark or Ryan? Who's our morning show is still a thing? Oh, they are. Yeah, people still have televisions. People still. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I know. Hold on. All right. That's the thing. Is that's that's that that's why I wanted to do this. Right? Is like I want to bring <laughs> that kind of. Yeah, uh, that kind of chill vibes into the into the modern era where no one has cable anymore. Yeah, yeah, people don't get you like know. shows like this as much. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, and now, it's been with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Uh, oh no, that's because this is the wrong scene. There's. Oh. oh shoot! Hold on, it's not on there. We'll just watch you do it. <laughs> there we go. I don't know what button I'm supposed to press now to fix this, so we'll just let you. <laughs> hey, it's Canada. It's Canada! Here's the weather. So, uh, oh God, I wish this was tilted a little bit more. <laughs> Look at all of this. All right, so where we are right now, oh God, this is reversed. Over here in Victoria, it's 11 degrees, mm -hmm. which is kind of where I want it to remain. <clears throat> it's also, you can see it's nighttime. Oh yeah, it is nighttime. It's nighttime in Saskatoon and Whitehorse. Night yeah. Someone in chat who was uh, Richard Ehrman's like, wait, there's a place in Canada called Yellowknife? Yeah. yeah. It's the capital of the Northwest Territories. Uh, look, our territories have, uh, our, it's, uh, our older territories, both their capital cities are color noun. Whitehorse, Yellowknife, and then Nunavut came along and now I have Equaliet, which yeah. is. I didn't realize it was all the way over here. I thought it was kind of in this area. I, yeah, it, it took me a while before I learned that Equaliet was on Baffin Island. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know much about the territories. When we did this for Road Quest, that was it. But it's like, it's a nice, do you notice too that we try and gravitate most of our major cities along like the border? Everyone lives near the border. Everyone lives near the border. So in, uh, in my, my own whole town of Edmonton, it's actually colder than, uh, than, than, than it is for us right now. When, when is this? When is this image from? When is this image from? This morning. Oh, it is actually yes. okay. Yeah. I ri I ripped I ripped this from. This is this is current. Okay. I, ri I, I ripped this from the actual like uh, Canadian website. I definitely thought you just Google it. <laughs> just a random is, image. This is from like you know like I don't know 2011 or something. Yeah, yeah. It. I mean this this is the 2023 like Government of Canada weather website. All right, cool. It looks like. Clip art. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it, it's it's here for function, not not flash. Uh, shout out to Winnipeg, which is our first negative of the uh, the season. Usually the case. Yeah, they're uh, they're chilly willies down there. Calgary still at fifteen. It's all the Chinooks that you're probably getting at this time. Yeah. Uh, I'm also really happy that Prince George is on this map because Kathleen frequently talks about it and I have no goddamn clue where Prince George is. Yep. So there you go. They call themselves BC's Northern Capital and it's not even halfway up the province. Yeah. Coolest named city in Canada, Thunder Bay, looking at a nice, uh, nice, chill, crisp four degrees. Yeah. This is definitely the temperatures that I want to be at. Toronto. Canada's New York City, looking at eight degrees. Tor Asterisk, Toronto believes they are Canada's <laughs> New York City. Yeah. Nobody else agrees. Nobody else agrees, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Uh, and uh, going on over to the Maritimes, uh, looking about the same as, uh, as us over on the islands. Island solidarity. We've got uh, eight, uh, 11 degrees over in Halifax. St. John's, I thought that was 18. I was like, what's going on, St. John's? Oh, they, got, this, they got the hash through the they zero. They got the hash through the zero, yeah. Good, uh, good 10 degrees. Good morning from Ottawa. Good morning, Booster. Looks like you've got a lovely eight degree day probably going up to, I wish this had highs on it. Uh, <laughs> to uh, probably, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess your high is of 15 today. Yeah, these are these are definitely um, uh, Celsius, by the way. For any, yes, a couple people were asking. Yes, now people, but I will say, I will say, people were worried. Like people, don't don't worry, uh, United States, because I've got you, I got you too. I kept I kept it in your ludicrous goddamn temperature mm. <laughs> system that you use, so you'll be able to understand this. We've got, we've got the, if you're, if you're in America town, look. Wow, oh we, man, great falls. Just spectacular. <laughs> great falls. <laughs> so this, uh, this was actually taken this morning at 8 a.m. Eastern. So this is fairly recent. Uh, L.A., San Francisco, you guys are virtually the same thing. I literally, if you showed me a picture between the two, would not be able to tell the difference. <laughs> Much like your temperature, you're about what? the same. Salt Lake City. One has up? a very large bridge. The, oh yes, uh, and that is San Francisco. Correct. Right. Okay. All right. San Francisco's got the big ass bridge, and you can enjoy your 62 degrees, which equates to 20. Uh, hang on. What is 62 degrees Fahrenheit in Celsius? He said, asking his. 16.7 degrees. 16? Okay, that's nice. Nice. People right. probably enjoy that. Although I imagine you're probably used to it being really, really warm, so you're probably all uh, all bummed out. A lot of rain in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be yeah, sleepless, sleeping in Seattle with that nice background white noise. Uh, 53 degrees sounds really, really nice. Uh, moving all the way into the center, uh, shout out over here, Great Falls, Minneapolis. In this sort of area. And all the states in between them. And all the states in between them. Wow, they really just don't give a shit about some of these, eh? Nope. They don't, you, don't, you don't even get to know. <laughs> but uh, over here, we're celebrating, um, <laughs> we're celebrating Midwestern emo uh, fall. Yo, are uh, literally any of these the actual state capitals? That's it, the funny thing. There's so few large cities. Is in... Los Angeles not the capital? No. Really? Yeah, Sacramento is the capital of California. Oh, it's just really funny that it's like. Oh, Denver is. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Denver and Dallas. Dallas is too, right? Uh, is Dallas not the capital of Texas? Uh, you know what? I'm going to admit I don't actually know. I, I don't know the capitals. Although this feels like a great moment Boston. to be like, there's San Francisco, Los Angeles, <laughs> Salt Lake <laughs> yeah. City, Denver, Albuquerque, Kansas City. <laughs> Uh, moving on, uh, Chicago, 42 degrees, looking really, really nice. Boston, I mean, it's pretty much the same across. It's so, it's so funny to me because I'm sure people can tell the difference between, you know, 55 and 62. Mm -hmm. But for us, that's like a degree of difference. I and, don't think they can. But that's the thing. That's what people talk about when it comes to Fahrenheit. Yeah. Right? As they're like, I could tell the difference between, you know, 55 and 50. I'm like, I can't imagine you can. <laughs> I, I don't believe that anyone can tell the difference. Even like two or three degrees difference on Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. a difference, but you have to be out there for a bit. You got to let it, you got to cook. <laughs> you you got to be set to cook yeah. out there. Uh, and then, of course, wow, Miami, you're all the way down there, huh? Mm hmm 78 degrees. Tallahassee, uh, by the way, is the capital of Florida. Oh, uh, can you go to the beach all year in Miami when it's like something oh, yeah. like this? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Welcome to my year-long beach times in Miami. <laughs> Fahrenheit only matters in five. Yeah, listen, we're not going to turn this into a d discussion whether you know Fahrenheit is or is not bad. It's 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 worth it for some people because especially too, we as Canadians cannot talk uh, when it comes to what is the proper unit of measurement. Because mm. for those of you who have not seen it, there's there's actually a really really great image. For Canada, and if, if you've never heard of the Canadian uh, flow chart oh, for yeah, measuring, yeah, yeah. Um, are you are you done with the weather? You want to sit back down and talk about this, or, you, or are you oh no, I mean, yeah. We, we, so I well, I don't want to leave anybody out. Oh, okay, but we can talk about both. All right, we'll 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 uh, we'll we'll circle back to the uh, the flow chart. Yeah. All right. 
Uh, now, don't think I forgot about you, Europe. Oh, hey. I put the temperatures on this, right? Yeah, yep. okay. Oh, nice. So look at this. All right, we included y'all. Wow, damn, Europe is having a heat with Madrid, 25 degrees. Lisbon, 27 degrees. Yeah, it's warm down there. It's, it's heckin' warm. Paris, yeah. 26 degrees. Now, I actually have a friend who lives in Lyon, and he was showing me the weekly forecast. Uh -huh. It's supposed to get up to 29 degrees. Oh. In October. Jesus. Gosh, that is brutal. No thanks. God. Man, it was, it was real warm when we were in Barcelona. Yes, yeah, it was, un I've never sweated that much in my life. Yeah. I ate so much good food, but I'm pretty sure I didn't gain any weight because I just sweated out yep. <laughs> afterwards. Uh, continuing also on to the other side, uh, Rome, uh, here in, in Boot Town, uh, you are at 29 degrees now. Boot Town. And this was taken this morning. This is this morning's weather. So I can only presume in Rome it is going to get even hotter than this, which is absurd for October. Now this morning, our time? Our time. So they're, they're eight hours ahead. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. Nine, actually, in Rome, probably nine or 10 hours ahead. I don't, nine hours right, ahead? Right, right, right. Yeah. So this, <laughs> it's mid afternoon. Yeah, right. Not everybody is on Pacific Standard Time. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know why. You should all consider swapping. It lets you sleep in a lot more. Uh, in case anybody is watching us from Minsk, uh, say hi to Boo and uh, <laughs> enjoy your eight degrees today. That sounds so nice and lovely. Uh, down in Istanbul, uh, 21 degrees. Looking, looking really, really great. Uh, and then uh, London, you were there recently. Was it really, really warm when you were up in London? It was pretty warm in London too, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. It was not so bad near, um, we stayed near Southampton. It was not so bad there. Okay. Man, why did I, wait, Berlin's in Germany. Yep. I was like, why is it over here? <laughs> no, not like, <laughs> and then finally, uh, I mean, all right, I'm going to level with you. I didn't grab a, a map for Africa. But I did, I wanted to uh, make sure that we covered our, our Australians. Uh, I was gonna, <laughs> so uh, in case you're watching from Australia. It's 28 in Darwin? It's 28 degrees. Good Lord. In, in Darwin. That is absolutely brutal. Uh, does that say Applebee's? Adelaide. It's, it's 19 degree, 19.3 degrees Celsius in Applebee's. Hi, welcome to Chili's. They, they need to turn on the air conditioning. Uh, ben needs to get... All right, hold on. Brisbane, Sydney, Canberra, Melbourne. Perth. You're right, I'm not a coward. You got it. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that wow? This is extra hard. Did now. that help you? No, no, it made it worse. Uh, down in. Can you read this one? Uh, Hoor, Houston. Oh, Hobart. Hobart. 8.4 degrees in Hobart on your nice little island. Hoorston. That, se that seems really, really nice. And the only place that I have been in Australia, ooh, 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 uh, uh, Melbourne, you're looking at a nice 10 degrees. Yeah. 10 degrees in Melbourne would be so nice. It's also very fitting that Melbourne and Victoria are so close in uh, temperature because they were very similar cities. Yep. I felt like when I, uh, when I visited there. It's currently a little after midnight. In, oh, okay. Uh, in in uh, Melbourne. Nice. In, the, in that particular time zone. Wow, but the temperature difference is so wild because it's already 17 degrees. Nearly 1 a.m. on Lord Howe Island. Oh, you, geez. You weird, weird time zone. It's over, just in case you're curious, mm -hmm. Lord Howe Island is, wait for it, where's my finger? Eh, uh, that. Wait, what? Yeah. They have their own time zone. It's just a little... It's it's a speck? Yeah. And people live there? 
Um, I guess. Do they accidentally fall into the ocean sometimes? And presumably, that's where they found they found a weird bug there. Oh. That they thought was extinct, but it was still alive on Lord Halloween. <laughs> and just none of the residents told them. They're like, it's been here the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's the weather for today across the world. Lovely. So good morning. Actually, I guess you could just go back to the sub, the, the main shot. All right, how do we measure things in Canada? Canada's metric. I'm six foot three. Mm hmm Right? Like, that's the... Yes! It's like we, we, we still use feet and inches for uh, <sighs> height and things. All right, yeah. So, we're talking... What are you measuring? Are you measuring speed? Yeah. Then we talk... Then we use metric. Yeah, kilometers. Yeah, kilometers per hour. Yeah. Are you talking distance? Yes. Are we talking about our height? Then we use imperial. Yeah. I have no idea how big I am in centimeters. No. Uh, if uh, we're talk, if we're not talking about height, is it a long distance? Then yes. If yes, we use metric. Mm -hmm. So x thing is x kilometers away. Yeah. But if we're talking about a short distance, and it's related to work, we use imperial. Yeah. Yeah. Like you need a two by four. Yeah. Uh, but if it's not related to work, then we use metric. Mm -hmm. If you're measuring temperature and it's for cooking, I could not tell you what temperature Celsius my oven needs to be. No. It goes to Fahrenheit. 350. Yeah. But they, if you're talking about the pool's temperature, yeah. you're still using Fahrenheit. But if it's not the pool's temperature, then we use Celsius. It's like the outside temperature, yeah. Yeah. yeah Celsius. My favorite, though, is um, if we're measuring long distances in as far as, like, how far away you live from something or mm -hmm. from driving or whatever, that we measure in time yes yeah. which <laughs> i defend because that takes into account things like routing and traffic mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. i live 20 minutes outside of downtown yeah how far is that in kilometers couldn't tell you no idea but that's how that's how far i live out of town because that's how far it would take to drive there yeah right that's important <laughs> if we're talking about weight mass yeah is it your weight yeah. Then, we'll, then we use then we use pounds. Then it's pounds. But if we're talk, uh, if it's something that's really really heavy, we use kilograms. Yeah. Uh, if not, we'll use pounds. Uh, and then if we're talking about volume for cooking, Ugh. if it's yes for cooking, we use cups and spoons. Uh, yeah, because all the recipes are written with cups and spoons. I I try to use grams. I use gr I use grams to measure measure. Wish to wish of the storm. I use grabs to wet a coffee. <laughs> I haven't had my coffee yet this morning. I yeah. Use, I guess it's, it's, it's all volumetric, actually. It's 40 grams of beans, and then in the Chemex, and then it's 60 grams of water. I do the whole thing on a scale, right? 60 grams of water for the bloom, and then take it up to 300 grams, and 600 grams, and it's two cups of coffee in the Chemex. Yeah, my thing is, like, so I, I use, like, a meal service. Mm. And they'll frequently switch between ounces and cups oh, all the time. That's hateful. It's so messed up because there's no one-to-one -one, no. like ratio on it at all. And it's, I, if this wasn't the cheapest of the meal services, I would probably swap. Mm. But yeah, it's, yeah. Important question. I'm going to move this camera. Yes. So I can read chat. Important question from Pip Shard 4 says, uh, Tim Hortons coffee or McDonald's coffee? So here's the thing. <sighs> Uh, it's McDonald's. It's McDonald's, because Tim's used to be good, and yeah. then Tim's changed their supplier, and now McDonald's has the old Tim's supplier. And if there is one thing that I learned from our trip to Spain, then through France to England, even England, is that we in North America put up with dog shit food. Yeah. Even the fast food uh, in all those places, people, just, people would not tolerate the kind of crap we eat here. Mm -hmm. The flip side is, is I went, because I know you and I had differing opinions on this. Yeah. I went to McDonald's in Barcelona and I was not... I had a, I had a great experience. Yeah, we, we I was not, not impressed with it. So, the getting the food experience was great because they, be, I don't even think they they had somebody good. who was just taking verbal, like, orders at mm. all. It was all, like, they had six of the little touchscreen dealios. Mm -hmm. um, but I got, so I got the spicy nuggies with mm. fries and uh, and, a, and some sort of drink. 
Uh, and the nuggies tasted like like nuggies you would uh, make in your oven at home, hmm. not like you know a fried nugget and stuff. I think I think North America fast food does actually like for the plate the 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 main chains I think do have a better qual. Uh, quality i guess to me then 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 you might then you might get where people are like less inclined to go to mcdonald's or whatever it's like i had at the at at barcelona i, I went to the mcdonald's probably the same one very near the convention center mm-hmm. uh, and i had the 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 regional burger which was the barbecue bourbon mm-hmm. burger not bourbon the drink bourbon the region uh and so it was like it was a burger with bacon and cheese and barbecue sauce and egg and uh, it was delicious. Yeah, it was really good. I think maybe it was it's it's that yeah that North America maybe fries food better, mm. or in, in in my opinion, I don't know. Well, it, you, you haven't been to Scotland. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I uh, I'm not I'm definitely not as world traveled, so I'm not going to make like a, a sweeping sort of statement on that kind of a thing. But I do. Yeah, I don't know. I I I, I was I was genuinely surprised. This is the I, I tell you the funniest thing. Uh, and Ben's heard me tell this story probably three or four times, and you'll see this in a vlog eventually, but um, uh, we get to Spain, we, we land a day early, uh, and because of the routing we were doing, we were staying with my aunt the first night there. So we land in Madrid, we immediately go from the Madrid airport to the high-speed rail down to, uh, down to Alicante. We get off the train, so we've been in Spain for like, you know, like two hours or whatever, and in the ticket hall at the Alicante train station, Across the hall, we see a Tim Hortons, and I was like, "Where are we?" <laughs> I had cause like right after the flight, then like making sure we're on the right train. So then you just see a Tim, a Tim Hortons. Hortons. You're I'm like, "Just like, oh no, where am I?" And uh, it's so rude because they subtitle it Canada's Coffee House, oh, and I'm like, "No, I'm don't like, put that on come us." Come on. And so I was like, "I got it. I have to see. I have to see what they have." Right, and what they have is setting Spaniards up for disappointment. If they ever come to Canada, and they're like, "Oh yeah, Tim Hortons. I've had Tim Hortons in uh, in you know in Spain," because they had they had like Serrano ham sandwiches. Uh, all all their pastries looked just astonishing. They had one flavor of Timbit, which was stuffed dulce de leche. No way. Yeah. Oh my god. And I'm just like, I'm just like, this looks this looks amazing. And Tim Hortons here is. Ass. It's it has gotten. I still eat there sometimes if it's like, well, yeah, you're they're here and I, yeah. I need a breakfast wrap. It's or fine. Whatever. It's fine. But it's like, it's not. I was watching. Uh, there was a TikTok of like, hey, nostalgia, and it was like, uh, even 15, 20 years ago, TV commercials for Tim Hortons, mm-hmm. and just like, man, Tim's used to have really good food. Yeah. And it's then now they sure fucking do. do. you remember? And then I ate the bowl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not can't get that anymore. They used to have like uh, Mark Messier like constantly do uh, adverts and stuff yeah. for them and stuff like that. And he would always be into because that was the iconic thing is like kids kids walking in with their dads to Tim Hortons <laughs> in their in their hockey uh, like like equipment and stuff like that. Like they'd have like the the iconic hockey like kid experience was getting dressed at home and then instead of skates you just put your shoes on and then you walk in to Tim Hortons and your parents get like the one black coffee and then you head to the arena or whatever right mm-hmm. and uh, Can that... you, do they even have in uh, like uh, dishware anymore I mean oh the, like actual like like the, a ceramic like dish the, the, the rare times I've gotten Tim Hortons to eat in recently it's they've still just packed it in the to-go stuff and been like here you go i very rarely have i gone to any fast food place and you've been like they've been like to go or to stay and i'm like you know what i'll i'll have it to stay or whatever do they ever not just still hand me a takeout bag and they're like go do that over there kind of a thing but yeah i i mean they've got no i guess nobody wants to wash the dishes right like if if you get the soup right they're still going to give you in the soup to go they used to have like the the ceramic dish with like the two little side handles, right? Because mm-hmm. the because the chili's hot. So G Dorable says the the I, it's scrolled off now, but like the 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 shocking drop in quality of Tim's over the last twenty years has it's been mind blowing. It used yeah. to be the place to go. Yeah, I they used to do French onion soup. 
Mm -hmm. And it was the bomb. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no, it's 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 kind of wild that it, I think on the flip side, and people people I think McDonald's is the easy is the easy mark to make fun of. Mm -hmm. And I I would agree that McDonald's actually their breakfast specifically used to be like garbage. But I actually think that things have actually sort of improved for it. Not to, you know, bat for the multi-million dollar company. Billion <laughs> yeah. dollar company, right? Like, yeah. But I'm like, I actually don't mind it. And it's like a perfect, like, God, it is 6 a.m. And I got to, you know, go do X kind of a thing. It's And and the coffee is actually solid now. Mm -hmm. It's it's totally I serviceable. Yeah. Well, we, we did a, with Serge, we did a right. taste yes. test. Yeah, his shame. Uh, and he, uh, he was like, you know, the McDonald's coffee is actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, I I will say though, like, because I, I mean, we're ribbing on Tim Hortons, but like, uh, in the morning, I am so not even remotely picky about what kind of coffee I have. Mm. You hand me hot brown, and I'm fine with it. <laughs> Sometimes it tastes like, in, and, and McDonald's is is actually like super guilty about this. Sometimes it tastes like they just handed me hot water. Mm -hmm. And that's enough for me sometimes. <laughs> like, I, I just need something inside of me kind of a thing mm. uh, in the morning. And I think for the most part, it does that. Oh, I saw someone mention Starbucks. Hey, pro tip. Uh, if, you're, if, if you're like, ooh, it's pumpkin spice latte season. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, which is great. Go for it. Um, the, uh, my, my special pro tip is you get it with the blonde espresso. Mm, yeah. Uh, and generally, just get the blonde espresso from Starbucks because their normal espresso is the like, the the really really roasty like the Pike Place roast yeah. is uh, you know <sighs> it's off it's often quite can taste quite strong and bitter for folks, uh, but the blonde espresso uh, is really because like a star I usually get a latte right mm. that's like Serge talks about this as well was like when you're going to a new coffee shop for the first time you know get your drink yeah you know and so I tend to get lattes normal starbucks lattes are awful right i go to starbucks for like their ridiculous drinks mm -hmm. right i don't go to starbucks for like okay, well, macchiato stuff, right um but the starbucks blonde latte is actually solid is actually nice and the the blonde espresso with the pumpkin spice latte is great mm, okay it's good stuff semi recently yeah. i had the pike place roast instant coffee oh Ooh. it was dire because <laughs> it was like we wanted i went camping with my partner and we wanted to have coffee with us that we could just make with you know hot water or whatever when we boiled it mm -hmm. uh blonde is starbucks light roast it's a standard thing that starbucks just has but it's not their default they'll give you they'll give it to you if you ask for mm -hmm. it but their default is their pike place roast yeah so yeah but yeah the pike place roast is not for everybody and in the instant coffee form it almost tasted like metal <laughs> like it had an odd, like coppery taste to it. And Metal. Yeah. People but I, I also understand that instant coffee is something that is differing around the world. Oh man. Because yeah. Australia, apparently Australia is all about their instant yep. coffee. Yeah. I remember this was, we've talked about this before as well. Uh, this blew my mind when we went down to Australia that uh, there's no middle ground. That Like drip coffee is not a thing. Right? That's wild. It's, you've got, you've got your espresso drinks and then you've got instant. So like here, and I'm sure for most viewers, because again, statistically, most of you live in the States, uh, it's a fairly standard operating procedure if you go to like a family restaurant or like a diner or someplace for breakfast or whatever, you sit down and they're like, what do you want to drink? And you're like, all oh, the coffee. Mm -hmm. Then they just pour you coffee and they're like, here's milk or cream and sugar and you know, you do your thing, right? In Australia, we were like, yeah, uh, I'll have a coffee. And they're like, okay. Waiting for you to explain what you mean by that because they are waiting for you to be like, do you mean a flat white or a cappuccino or a latte? Because when you say coffee, they they do not default to that's weird drip, right? No, sorry, not weird of like them, but just like, yeah, I guess that feels like you're just barreling towards a misunderstanding constantly. Yeah, but huh. uh, uh, so what they don't have? Yeah, so uh, Avro says. Drip coffee is a thing, because but you have to go to specialist coffee shops. Yeah, because that that's like a V60 is not what I mean by drip coffee, right? I'm talking like 
I did, it, this might be hard to explain to an Australian what a drip coffee is, right? Yeah. It's like a, a big percolator with just like a bunch of grounds in it and then the hot water goes in and then it dribbles out the bottom and it's it's coffee. Mm -hmm. Hey look, we made coffee, right? Uh, you mean it the, drips. You mean the coffee pots we see in American media? Yes. 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 Correct. In every in every in every show that about you know in, in the office, even like it, yeah. it, when they have like a little kitchen area for the employees, that that machine that is that is it. Batch brew, yeah. Yeah. Question. And then it usually sits there for, depending on what the place is, half an hour to an hour. Yeah. Reapers, my name asks another sort of regional question. We say pop here. Yeah. Someone was asking, do you call it Coke, Pepsi, soda, or pop? Yeah, the fact that people will just say, can I get a Coke? And then they're like, okay, That's, what kind of Coke? And Jason told me this. Jason lives in the DFW in Texas. Right? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to 7-Eleven. What do you want? Give me a Coke. What kind? Uh, Sprite. The, the fact that, yeah, that maddening to me. I'm sorry, but fuck off. Yeah, absolutely <laughs> maddening to me that Coke has become no a way. Like, generalistic noun for carbonated beverage why it's, it's wild it's absolutely wild yeah that's that's absurd <laughs> absolutely not i don't know yeah Coke yeah. in the midwest just means soda i don't you stop <laughs> stop doing <laughs> don't that. do that you anymore don't, don't do you that. can be the difference <laughs> yeah <laughs> jason's like well fuck you too man <laughs> <laughs> hey jason what's up <laughs> no we're definitely pop yeah i, I sometimes Jokingly, I will say a soda pop. Mm -hmm. Can I have you? Or, or yeah, you want a soda? Yeah, I, I used know, to. I don't even yes. know what I'm quoting. Yeah, when I say that, I don't uh, even. I know. just assume Maria. <laughs> what am I? That's from something. A I, soda. Do you want a soda? It's from something, but I can't remember what. Anyway. Yeah. Is it Family Guy? I, surely not. Mm. Uh, maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway. On the uh, on the flip side, though, like I I used to have a friend who, and. I could not imagine being our our, our server. Uh, is people usually, they would usually they would ask what would you like to drink and you know people would do their things and they would get to him and he would always say, "I will take one of your finest soda pops, please." And they would wow. and they'd be like, "So what do you want?" And he'd just be like, "Just your finest soda pop." And usually they'd come back with like a coke or sure. whatever. And the one time you could see that the person was just so not down to like take his shit, <laughs> not put up with this crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they just brought him soda water. Yes. Just soda water. Good. And put it in and handed it to him and he was just like, what? what's this? He's just like, I didn't know what you want, man. <laughs> like soda. this is what you get. Yeah. And oh man, definitely, definitely the way to combat that kind of stuff. I, I love telling server stories because like, I always find that I just, they're definitely one of like life's most, it, it, it often is like one of the funniest, like sort of like sitcom -y real life moments. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I was super, it's, this is, I apologize in advance. Oh good. When I was a kid, one of my favorite games to play was Age of Mythology. Okay. I would have been like five or something like that. Sure. Maybe when this game came out. Uh, and, uh, so I, I hadn't been to like a lot of restaurants and stuff like that, or like form this, I, I was not aware of what the term for like a server or a waiter or a waitress or whatever mm -hmm. is. But I had played a lot of games like Age of Mythology and oh, whatnot. No. Oh no. And so we were at a Red Robins, which banger still, Red Robins in 2023. Uh huh. <laughs> I needed a refill on my fries because they do bottomless fries at Red Robins. Right. And so I look at my mom and I say, Mom, can you ask the servant to come back and refill my thing? And they were very close. Like they could he overhear what I said. And my mother was like, we are leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Not just like... Server. No. Not just no, not, no, no, no. Not just gently correcting you. Yeah. Just like peace. Can you ask the servant to come back and give us fries? <laughs> oh God. Yeah. And oh, uh, I've learned since then that that is not the term. Oh man. No. Uh, years ago, uh, the way that uh, uh, Morgan would order his subway sandwiches. Mm -hmm. um, I, know, I know that you. I'm already prepping myself. I know that you've not met, but no, we have oh, once or twice oh, okay. early on. Okay. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, uh, was 
Because the, the Parmesan is like the extra thing at the end, right? It's like the salt and pepper and the Parmesan and the shaker, right? Mm -hmm. And so his- Sorry, sorry to interrupt. It wasn't servant. It was slave. So oh, much worse. Oh my God. It was, it was not servant. Holy crap. It was slave. Dude. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, no wonder she left. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, much, much, much worse. Holy because I had shit. only played games that they have like, you, they're like, send your slaves to go worship, to go build the house of worship. <laughs> How old were you? Like five. Oh, okay. Yeah, like young, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, all right, Sorry, servant, I was five like. Five makes way more sense. Yeah, 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 slave. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know, that's, yeah. Yep. That'll happen. That's, yeah. Kids don't understand language. Yep. Um, so, uh, what's the, um, uh, okay, right, right. Morgan was... Yes. When, when yeah. he would ask for Parmesan, it was... Because he loved it, mm -hmm. right? He was... Uh, I'll, you know, he'll order the, the veggies and the sauce and everything and the salt and pepper and as much Parmesan as you are willing to give me. <laughs> Don't ever say that. Right? And so you get people being like, well, just like shaking and like look at him and he's like, no, 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 no. You, un as much as you are willing to give me. Mm -hmm. He's like, put it on until you are no longer comfortable mm -hmm. with how much Parmesan you have put on here. And once, the, the yeah. guy, once the guy was like, I'm quitting tomorrow. Unscrewed it and just <laughs> put the whole thing on. I would do that. And, yeah, and Morgan was like, it, apparently that sandwich was awful. And he loved it. Right? Yeah. He was just like, this is, I've done this to myself. It's so perfect. You know, it was just like. I genuinely did. <laughs> like, I don't understand why more people don't do, wouldn't do that. Yeah. Because it's like, he literally asked. You cannot get in trouble at yeah. that. You you are given free reign at yeah, that yeah. point. As much as you are willing, it's up to you. It's This is your call. You, you know, <laughs> up until your comfort level of, of Parmesan and I'll be happy with it. So. Exactly. Yeah. Lay in the bed you made. How precisely. much. So, you know, like, the, so the typical Parmesan I think of is the one that comes in, like, it's got the green wrapper. Is that craft? The green craft shaker. Yeah, the yeah. green craft shaker. Of the crumbled Parmesan. Yeah. Yeah. How much of that do you think you could just spoon eat in a single sitting? <laughs> like, if you were, how, like, if you were getting paid, you're getting paid, like, I don't know, whatever, whatever amount of money that would make you do this, hmm. how much do you think you could do? I mean, if I'm being like, yeah, if I'm being like, <laughs> just a little offered says a bunch two of containers money, minimum. Yeah, like I could probably eat a lot, but like, it's so strong. Yeah, actually, that's five dollars per spoonful. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably, I could five bucks per spoonful. Yeah, I could probably do a couple containers. That's wild get very dry after a while. You're allowed to have like water and okay, stuff. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, you don't you don't have to just eat this like like raw. Yeah. I'm a big fan of like actual parmesan too. So that's mm. that's like, you know, I've I've come around on the it's it's it it's it's affordable at Costco. <sighs> We're at our Costco age too. I kind of love that. Costco's great. Yeah. Where you definitely hit an age where you start talking about Costco all the time. Mm -hmm. I don't have a Costco card, but I've been to Costco a bunch. Mm -hmm. Sneak in. What we need, well, hearing what we need is James to make a quick run to the grocery store. <laughs> that would be another, that would be another strong bit. Yeah. Uh, if you're just joining us too, everybody, welcome. This is the this is the five hour morning show. Yep. Hosted by uh, me, Graham, and uh, James. James is out uh, grabbing our uh, first big bit of the day. Did we tweet about this or anything? Or I don't think we did. Toot, no. Toot or any of that? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I'll post about it. Fellow BC streamer uh, Northern Lion talks about Costco all the time. They're great. Yep. I have a buddy who uh, is uh, one of their mods, um, and uh, yeah, they're quite fun. Yeah. The not quite Dawn Guard. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. That There's a reason that Graham and I are on Night Watch during Ghost with Us, <laughs> right? Like, it's, it is where the, the time of day that we thrive, which is 6 p.m. to midnight. <laughs> oh, sounds like James is back. Ooh, oh, it's begun. That is right. surprisingly not that much baggage. So, how do we. It's a single bag. I don't know how to collapse this. You just push it down. Just push it down. Oh, just, really? Yeah. Oh. oh. Nice. It's a very handy little tool. Cool. 
All right, I'm gonna move this camera back again. Ben, did you remember to flip the camera back? Uh, right, we have to turn off the green screen filter. All right, we are ready. Oh, Gatanic Panic put their whole house in on this bet. Oh my goodness. I'm really excited to hear from uh, James how much this cost so we can get the, the grand total. And then I got to spinny the thingy here. Yep. Warn me if I'm gonna... Uh, you're good. Yep. Oh, all right. Oh, that's into shot. There we go. Great. Oh. If you're just joining us, uh, right. this is gonna be the first bit. We're gonna be uh, taste testing and ranking each breakfast menu item from McDonald's. 52K points, that is a lot of points, Gatanic Panic. All right, Parmesan, yeah. We should have asked James to grab the Parmesan while he was out. So if I press a button here, is this gonna work? Oh, great. <laughs> also featuring tech cam, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's turn this. Now I'm over here. All right. Oh yeah, there's more than just me. The guys are just preparing things and I'm keeping you busy while this is going on. How you doing this morning, Twitch chat? I guess not for, for everybody, it's not morning. Hey, I'm back. Oh. Hey, he's back. Were you pooping in the secret toilet? <laughs> no, just peepees. Just peepees. All right, we, oh God. Oh, there's bags in bags. Bags in bags and bags. All right. Oh, it smells so good. I'm so hungry. So neither it of us had good. neither of us had breakfast this morning. Correct. Because we were, we just assumed this is what we were I doing. I just had to get up and leave. Yeah. Yeah. And James uh, James was like, "Oh, you want to eat first thing in the morning?" And that's like the first thing I do when yeah. I wake up. I literally hop out of bed and go eat. Oh damn! This is gonna be scientific. Uh, oh, I'll uh, I'll grab us some paper. Yeah. So we can write down our rankings. Okay, that's a, this is enormous. This is an amount that one person could get for themselves. This is this is huge, extra large. That's preposterous. All right. So first things first. Yeah. I don't think I should ever go back to that McDonald's again. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> were they not happy with you? Ah, uh, no, they were fine. She was actually really nice. The unfortunate thing, and what took me a little extra time is the McDonald's that I went to to get most of this. Oh no. Their fryer was busted, which meant no, no hash way. browns. And I'm like, nah, there's no way I'm going back, <laughs> going you... back to the office without <laughs> hash browns. So I was like, all right, off to the other McDonald's. <laughs> Just handing <laughs> various forms of paper. All right, all right. Uh, so how many items are there? I don't know, let's find out. Okay. <laughs> So we don't need to worry about ranking coffees and stuff like do that. Do we want to do the, the cost now? Oh, the cost, right, For sorry. People, somebody, people have bet a lot of channel points yeah, on yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, um, $89.38. Under 100! Wow. Under 100 Damn. Yeah. I definitely thought it was going to be north of 100. Yeah. Wow. So it, it, it is not like, we, yeah, as we said, it's not what, if it was one of everything, um, it would have definitely been way more. This is a lot. But this is more than enough. This is so right. much food. So there's a burrito. Okay, so let's actually, uh, yeah, let's start pulling these out. So we've got a burrito, so that's gonna be one item. So yep. write a one down. Chicken BLT McMuffin. Perfect, there's two. Uh, an everything bagel. Yep, just with, a bagel. Just uh, with uh, cream cheese. Okay. Seemed like a, a thing we should get. Uh, bagel plain egg BLT. Sure. Jesus, this bag is full of stuff. Yeah. Uh, promo. It just says promo. Who knows what it is? Uh, open it up. I bet you it's the chicken McMuffin. 
That is that is the chicken. Whoa, that the, McGriddle. This, this, the lone chicken McGriddle. Ooh. Smell that. Okay. Yeah. Why does that smell so sweet? Is it on a cinnamon it's, bun? The, it's it's a oh, pancake. you never had a McGriddle? Oh, McGriddles are okay. pancakes. Yeah, they're pancake oh, uh, my God. buns. Okay. S uh, sausage and egg McMuffin. Yeah, classic. Also, if we don't win the uh, Monopoly, I'm going to be very angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> right, it's, we did the right, we chose the right yeah. time to do this. Egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. I'll get okay. our Monopoly board Seven. ready. Bacon and Egg McMuffin. Yeah, bacon and Egg McMuffin. We're at eight. Sausage McMuffin. Yeah, just the sausage, no egg. This Jesus. is so much more food than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Yep, obviously. Ten. Sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle. Of course, yep. That's uh, 11. Napkins. Yep. Okay. There's still three bags. <laughs> so this that's going to be hash browns? No, this is muffin. I thought you said you, oh, weren't, you yeah, weren't getting yeah. muffins. Yeah, I did. But he oh. lied. Well, it's because I had to order ahead, right? And they then I got up to the counter and they're like, fryer's broken. So <laughs> you're like, well, so, I'll give me a muffin. Yeah, they gave me a muffin. So I think I have a blueberry and a chocolate banana. Okay. The, so That's blueberry for so, sure. So yeah, we got a blueberry right there. And then I think we have two chocolate bananas. Um, yep. So put that one to the side. Um, so that's, we'll call that uh, 12 and 13. Uh, hash Those browns. Those are the hash browns. And then what's in here with the hash browns? Uh, so uh, that should, promos. These should just be, uh, oh, they give me, okay, these are just the McGriddles. Yep. So you can just try just the McGriddles because, okay. you know, that's important. More so hash brown is 14, uh, McGriddles is 15. Those would be the pancakes, right? Oh my God, yeah. So three, three pancakes. With so we have 16? It's Yeah, we have 16 slots. With hot cake syrup. Uh, are we putting the, oh, are we also putting the drinks? No, the drinks are, are separate. Separate? Okay. Yeah, I guess we can do one, two, three for drinks. Okay. Uh, and it's, it's just, it, I think it's just black coffee. Oh, my tummy's like, I'm so hungry. I've never seen a more complete breakfast. <laughs> yeah, part, part of this balanced breakfast. I didn't right. say balanced. All right, everybody get this. Oh, we got two boards. They assume this was for two households. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so this can be... Um, uh, OJ? Wait, I need one more glass. Sorry, I'll be right back. One more set? Uh, one more glass, because I can take what the rest in... So like put oh in the cups put where, a third uh, a third and then leave a right. third and then I'll get one more. We will try not to spill. What are the prizes this year? Nicole's really underwhelming. Into these. I assume we can get a stroller wagon. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, okay, so the number one big prize, uh, which is usually right. Oh, it's over here. Uh, five million uh, Avion points. <laughs> Hooray. But you could, but like, f like not even further, like there's one that's just, here's 25 grand. Can I just take the 20, oh, or five, uh, 500, or $50,000 cash. Man, $50,000 would be life changing. Mm -hmm. There's only six available though. Nope, that's a mistake. Man, the brown, which is like the first one, is a car. <laughs> Why do they call it the brown? Well, that, that's the <laughs> that's the color that the property is, oh, right? It yeah, yeah. goes uh, brown and then cheese. Oh. You didn't get any milk or anything? Nah, bro. You got to uh, judge it based on. Welcome off. to coffee this is without sur surge. This is sur this is you gotta we gotta judge this by surge's standards. So you gotta have a, just a nice black coffee. Surge has. Standards. Also, I assume that we had stuff here, but. We have some expired oatmeal. I told you before that I was rolling the bones on, oh, the, on the right. milk. Oh, right. I forgot about that. My, my coffee had week old expired milk in it. Okay. So we all have coffee. Mm -hmm. We all have juice. Juices. Uh, yeah, I'll take Give me these. your juices, James. There we go. There we go. All right. <laughs> Man. We talked about. Oh, that's mine. I'm good, yeah. So 16. So there are 16 food items and oh. there are three drinks. Um, well, this is stupid. All right. Um, You're only realizing that now, not while you were ordering it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think we're, we're, we just kind of have to go one at a time. Yeah. So, um, hash browns first. Sure. Make so, sure, make sure to peel off your, your monopoly. Yeah peel, yeah, peel off your monopolies as we go. I got. Well, um, these are still warm. I got Peggy's Cove. Are we announcing it? Uh, and I got... Oh, these are Canadian places. Yeah. yeah, Robson Street and the Bay of Fundy. Woo! And I got uh, Wap Wapusk National Park. I got Lake Louise and Miles Canyon. Hmm. So, 
I would rate these very highly. These are a little under fried. They are. They're, it's sticking to the... Yeah. Uh, yep, they are paper. a little under fried. Yep. So that these might... are the ones that I had to go and get elsewhere. Yeah. That's why they're still so hot. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're still good. And I agree with Ben. In terms of um, fast food hash browns, mm. uh, nobody beats McDonald's. No. Mmm. But yeah, they're toasted correctly. I think... I might regret this. Uh-huh. I'm just thinking here. I'm gonna give it number two. Number two? I, I was prepared to windmill slam it, but you um, know, there might be something better. I am gonna go... I agree with the folks saying A and W. Really? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go um, three on the hash brown. No, three? Yeah, I'm gonna go three on the hash brown. I'm holding out for a better breakfast. Oh, it's like, there's a crunchy bit at the bottom. I, I have an idea of what I'm gonna put at number one. I don't quite know what's at two though. All right. That's so many things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, we should really. I'm just taking a picture of this for later. Uh... Oh. <laughs> oh, Kathleen, what I had for breakfast. Yeah, all right. How's the coffee? I don't love it, to be honest. Or I love some milk. Milk, and we have sugar. You can roll the bones. Wait, how does this milk. taste, uh, black coffee? That's I don't think bad. I guess I've had, I've had McDonald's coffee black because they frequently forget to put the stuff in. That's not bad. There's just very little there, honestly. Yeah. All right, uh, let's go with the burrito first. Use the butter from Ooh. the pancakes. Cycle boy, how dare you? All right. I'm kind um, of excited for this. I've I'm excited for this too. Burrito. I like a good breakfast burrito. Okay, we go like that. <laughs> Who gets the middle of the we burrito? Like Everyone's favorite part. Um, we'll give it to Graham. Okay. He had cancer. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this, will, this will help me recover. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. I don't think I've made that joke yet. You, no, and you I, you've been, been very good. Yeah, I've yeah. been waiting. I've, I, I, it's, I admire your restraint. <laughs> Damn. So the cross great. section. Oh, I kind of want like a. If we can have like a good zoom in. Oh, yeah. You want to be the yeah. yeah you you set, set, up, that up. set that up. Set that up for you. Do we have? I'll get Grab the stream deck. The stream deck. Yeah. You can probably get, yeah get. You can get really close with that camera too. Yeah, I'm just running at it. Yeah, look, if we can't, if I can't get, uh, like, I haven't, I haven't gone and put, like, Cancer Survivor in my Mastodon bio, but <laughs> I've got to get, like, some kind of, some kind of value out of it, right? So, at least, at least it can be occasionally deployed yeah. for comedy. Okay. Do you know which camera that is? Uh, it should be, it's probably right, uh, left. left? Nope. Nope. There we go. Hey, great. Oh, there's the green screen filter is still on it. You can see. Your, <laughs> oh my egg, god, it is. You the egg see, is still. You can see that's your, not good that the, the egg has some green in it. No, it's a pepper. I, oh, no, it's the egg. <laughs> your, egg your egg is glowing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, uh, there's a bit of chroma in. Oh, yeah, there we, there we go. Okay. All right. You know, the McDonald's egg has chroma in it. <laughs> you know, that's a nice cross section, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. All right. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah. I dig it. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I prefer, despite all the shit we were talking about, Tim Hortons. I prefer you prefer the farmer's wrap? The, the farmer's wrap? Oh, the farmer's wrap at Tim Hortons are great. Someone else in chat was like, the farmer's wrap is like the only thing that they've still got going for them. Yeah. I'm going to try this, uh, this appy juice. You know, mm. my one my mark against this is the cheese we were also discussing. Yeah, this is the big slice of the plastic cheese is like, well, all right. The wrap is a little like so. I got the butt end of it, mm -hmm. and I can't quite finish all of the actual tortilla. I'm going eight um, for burrito. Yeah, I'm putting this right in the the, the mid here. I'm gonna think I'm gonna go nine. How's the orange juice? I'm, 
I'm gonna go 10 with I this. I can tell you right I'm now, I'm huge. going uh, OJ number one, coffee two. Even if the coffee was made up the way I like it, I'd still put it at two. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm the exact same way. OJ, always number one. Appy Juice. Appy, Appy Juice is a three. Appy J is number three for me. Yeah. All right, I can, I can slam that easy. Yeah. All, All right. right. Let's get a blueberry muffin going here. Actually, let's Why do... not one of the hot things? Why the most chaotic <laughs> order of this? <laughs> let's do both muffins at the same time. We need like a little piece of ginger as like, I'm not a finishing cleanser. this whole <laughs> slice right now. <laughs> Thank you. Ben? Yep. All right. Okay. Let's do a little taste test here. Make muffin cross section here. All right. I'm going to I'm going to have a bite of the top for both of these. Yeah. What is that? You want to show off the muffin cross section? Uh-huh. Yeah. What is what is this what is what is this white part in mine? It's like is this un, uncooked? Oh. Or, like what That's is, very white. What is that? I don't know. Might be the butter. <laughs> what is it? It's just uh that is a huge pocket of salt. <laughs> No way! That is just pure salt. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> what? Blah. Hmm. Blah. I thought it would be like flour. Blah. Oh lord! I'm only gonna eat the top. Okay. The you know, the, I'm gonna. The blueberry is um, pretty mid, but that banana chocolate chip one is actually like pretty legit. I would argue that banana chocolate chip muffin is the best muffin. Um, normally I just, well, I, like, if I want a banana chocolate chip, I'll just have banana bread. That's fair. Right? Yeah. Um, but that was, that is really good. I'm, I'm putting that at, like, five. The banana chocolate chip is much better than the, now, BC I had a section yeah. of the blueberry muffin that was not just a That's giant, true, yeah. Chunk of salt. <clears throat> I'm going to put blueberry muffin down That here, is a like. deeply mediocre blueberry muffin. Yeah. I'm going to put banana at five. All right, let's go. Let's do all the McMuffins first, and then we'll move into the McGriddles. Um, now we have an order to it. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. I think I'm gonna put the blueberry. Uh, at nine. I got uh, Lake Louise again. Nice. And uh, what? <laughs> Lunenburg Harbor. Okay. So moving on to the classic. This is the. Um, oh, this is ham. This is egg McMuffin. This is the classic McMuffin, Canadian bacon. We just call we call it ham here, <laughs> not at McDonald's. There's can Canadian bacon at McDonald's. What? Do they really? Yeah. How dare they? No one in Canada calls it Canadian bacon. Yeah. At, at McDonald's is Canadian bacon. I. All right. I'm very considering writing a strongly worded go. letter. Ben. That's uh, a nice cross. Mid? Dear Pro Lord cross McDonald's. Section that one. Wow. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that cross. Woo! Look at that egg. That's a good looking. Yolky. It's good looking. Uh, it's good looking. All right. God, this smells Let's go. like integral egg McMuffin. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the ham. I like the ham. I love ham, but this ham is not it. I'm a ham man. I like this. James, it's circular. You could have cut it like a pie. Do you know how much of a pain in the ass that would be? I was wondering how you were going to cut them. <laughs> the easiest, fastest way possible. This is, this is, yeah, no. Standard egg McMuffin. Um, that's worse than the blueberry muffin. I'm going 13. You know these pancakes have a... When do you think these pancakes expire? <laughs> <laughs> Imminently. <laughs> like, I, hope, I hope not today. The fact that they say... Enjoy by 315. <laughs> we gotta, we, oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. All right, we gotta go. I'm sorry, I didn't realize we were under a time crunch. All right, um, Signal uh, I Hill. I guess I gotta rank my. Uh, Hell yeah. So that one's medium fries, baby. Oh, nice. So the, the which McMuffin was that? That, that was, was just the, the standard egg McMuffin. Regular but it egg. it has ham, yeah. even though they don't say that. Yes, correct. Okay. Because there's the Egg McMuffin, the Bacon Egg McMuffin, and the Sausage Egg McMuffin. I there's... hate that these, we can't get rid of a slot. <laughs> I regret putting Blueberry Muffin at nine. <laughs> All right, so this is, I think, right? The, yeah, this is bacon. 
I got higher hopes that is, for this one. That is so integ it like that is so McDonald's is going, did they put bacon on this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the time. It always feels like you get like one shriveled up little slice of bacon. Ben. So this looks almost identical. Give you the nice. But there's less there you meat. Go. Get that. Get that cross. That is. See, a you can tiny... just tell that there's some bacon in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm. And yet, it's just so much better. Yeah. 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 It's just so much better. That is better. Yeah. Wow. It is a little bit like President's Choice memories of bacon. Oh, like yeah. It's, there's not, not a lot oh, of bacon on there. 100%. Yeah. Essence of bacon. Definitely ranking that one higher than the... So that's what, that's the bacon that's egg McMuffin? bacon egg McMuffin, yeah. I gotta go I, am. I gotta not finish all these. I think I messed myself up here. My, yeah. Um... You know... I'm, I think I still like the regular Egg McMuffin more. Parliament Hill, Halifax Airport. Excuse me? The airports are the railroads. But why? Why Halifax? Yeah. I think they're, they're trying to, I think they spread them out. We're going, so there's we'll like, give, we'll they're give, the most, e yeah. We'll give the Maritime something. <laughs> yeah. Not like, Avonlea or something, like something <laughs> on PEI. Yeah. Uh, All right. Halifax. You, lo you lost the top of the sausage one? It, it, it's right there. Oh, yeah. All right. Graham? Okay. Uh, this one I'm excited about. This sausage. is my... Sausage is great. Sausage is this my... This is my projected number one. Preferred. Really? Yeah. It's my preferred breakfast sandwich 100%. at other places. Let's take a look at that cross section, Ben. Oops, sorry. I was excited to eat this one. Yeah. They put the meat on the bottom on this one, yeah. notably. All right. So yeah, number one, projected number one. James is projected number one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. Top tier. It's very good. Yeah. Bacon always better than sausage. I don't know if I agree with you. No. I'm, I'm a... I'm, I like not, in, not in this context. Oh, yeah. Even solo, I think I would rather have a, like a breakfast sausage than bacon. Mm -hmm. Me too. I'm going to just act... But and to prove the point... I'm not going to finish the rest of this because I need room, but I am going to finish the rest of the sausage. Yeah, no. Number one. See, there's things, there's things on the table that I've never tried. <laughs> mm. So I'm wary. Yep. Yeah. This is getting this. already so hard. All right. Um, but let's I, go. I, but I think I agree with you because, like, certainly if I went into a McDonald's and was like, I just needed breakfast, that is what I would order. Okay. The thing that the thing that we just had. Uh, now let's let's go chicken yeah. BLT McMuffin. See that? Oh, I'm excited about this. I I haven't tried this, but I've thought about ordering it. It just seems like a lot. It, oh wait. It, oh, I was thinking about the like, bacon one. It looks like a, there's bacon on this. Er, no, sorry, uh, the bagel one. Oh, um, bagel plain egg. B yeah, I don't know if I got that one. This looks good though. So this is this is this chicken is a BLT. Chicken BLT. Yeah. On a, I've on, never on a, I've on never a had this muffin. before. On an English muffin. And there's egg and or there's uh, tomato and lettuce. Uh, I mm, <laughs> I don't like lettuce on a hot sandwich. Nope. Neither do I. <laughs> there you go. All right, Ben. I'm gonna give you the nice cross section, boy. This is this a, one. a spicy All right. nugget. What? <laughs> Oh, what is that smell? This this looks nice. Hmm. All right. Oh. oh, hello. Oh God. Hey, what's up? All right. Let's give this one. I'm a try. really intrigued by this. I'm scared. Um. The fact that it is on a no. McMuffin is a disservice to it. Yeah. I think on its own, it just tastes like a sandwich that you would have, but um, the squishy, yeah, no. the squish, yeah, the squishy muffin bit. Is, is that flavor from the sauce or the chicken? I think it's from the chicken, but the sauce is, it's there. All right, uh, chicken McMuffin, mm. egg, chicken. Was there an egg on that? 
No. 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 God, if there was egg on it, this would be 60. I'm, I'm going, I'm going 14. I'm going low on this one. That was not good. Yeah. Chicken. Texture wise, that was really gross. Yeah. But what, like, sorry, what was this one called again? I, I just going chicken McMuffin. Uh, no, yeah. no, that, that is its own thing. Hold on, hold on. This is the chicken this BLT. This is the chicken BLT McMuffin. BLT. Oh, got a little spice to it, too. I didn't mind that. Um, that was I fine. didn't like it. Yeah, no. Not, <clears throat> not oh, good. excuse All me. All right. Um, let's try... Yeah, the bagel one seems like it would be good. Let's take a quick break here from, uh, from egg and, and that stuff. Let's try just a classic bagel mm. uh, cream cheese. This is an everything bagel with cream cheese. This is an everything bagel with cream cheese. I am already probably not gonna like this. Not really a huge cream cheese fan. But I love cream cheese. Yeah, I don't I don't mind it. I'm like not... medium on everything bagels. There you go. Bam. I prefer sesame. Oh. In everything is my go-to. Alright. <laughs> Getting the middle of the bagel sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got more cream cheese. Hold it's on. like a it's, <laughs> It's like a weird figure eight that's like genuine. You almost just gave me two pretzel bits. This is, I'm sorry, this is half of mine. This is a pathetic amount of cream cheese. Oh, yeah, I, is, I, get, I get the, sh do you want, do you want to dip is, in this my This is schmear? offensive, and you're like, but, but Graham, what about the other half? Nothing, <laughs> nothing. This is a horrendous, this is an insulting amount of cream cheese. Yep, that's cream cheese. Well, I know that I know that you had to go and get it and then bring it here, but was this even toasted? This is so soft. Yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, I can see that it was, but it's definitely even in the middle. Chewy and soft. Look at it's this. So even, chewy. Go yeah. back to the cross section for a bit, sec. Yeah. Even in the middle. Yeah. No. There's like none. I'm going. I'm just gonna go last place. I'm here. convinced because there was a bunch in like the center center that they just took the bagel through the whole thing in the in the toaster and then just. Put the knife in the hole and wham jangled some uh, some cream cheese in there. I'm saving my last spot because I'm sure I'm gonna have something truly horrendous. But all right, uh, that's pretty plain, low. Plain. This is a bagel. This is a plain bagel, egg BLT. So this is this is so very. This is bog standard. It's, it's, it's a it's a BLT on a bagel with an egg. Okay. Um, that that sounds fine. It, se it seems like it should be fairly inoffensive. Hot take. This is this feels like more of a lunch. Uh, oh, is this just a plain BLT? With, no, with it on a uh, uh, with, with an, an egg. egg. With an egg. Yeah, okay. there is an egg. It feels. I guess we'll, we'll say brunch. All right, Graham. I'm gonna give you the, <laughs> the middle. <laughs> middle pieces. Hell yeah. Because it's uh, it's got a lot of bacon on it. I can see uh, it. And then Ben, I'm gonna give you this guy right here. All right. This has you got so it. much mayo on it. Again, this bagel instantly. <laughs> Instantly, this bagel is way under toasted. Uh, hold on, go back to it for a sec. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh boy. Yeah, this bagel needed to be toasted. I'm not even sure this bread is done. Yeah, it really doesn't look it. There's no bacon on this. I mean... Oh. It's just boring and not very good. Vile. Not impressed. I'm also a mayonnaise person, Cinnamon. So am I. But, oh my god. No. I don't... I want to give that my worst spot. To me, this is just bland. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not very good. Um, oh, right. All right, all right. This is that was what the, it was the bagel. That's a that's the BLT egg. bagel with the BLT egg. bagel with it. BLT. All right. Yeah. That was just sort of like I didn't find that oh, gross. That was just sort of like. Eh. The thing, the interesting thing is, is if either of these bagels that we just had were toasted more, way higher on this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's all you needed to do. All right. Maybe classic. a little bit more cream cheese on the okay, thing. It's a classic uh, sausage McMuffin. No With egg. no egg. Yeah. Oh, so this is just sausage this and is cheese. Just sausage and cheese and a and a. Uh, is there even sauce? No, it's just sausage no. and cheese. No. Yeah. Huh. I kind of forgot this one was here. Huh. Um. I mean, 
If, if it was, if it had the egg, it would be great. The sausage is carrying a lot of weight here. Yeah, the sausage is very good. In fact, I'm just gonna eat this. A lot bit. of salt. Yes, I mean that's McDonald's. Nerish Mary Reborn says that's my go-to because it's cheap. How much yeah. is this one specifically? I think those are like two, two bucks. Yeah. Dang. Right. Two twenty something like that. So I'm, a, I'm a weirdo. I prefer no egg. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you ever make your way to Japan. James. Mm -hmm. The um, you should try the McPork. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's um, it's the sausage on a hamburger bun with a sweet onion sauce. Oh, okay, it's real good. What was that? That was the, just the sausage McMuffin. Well, what was what was the other one that you told me to write down as sausage McMuffin? Well, there would have been the sausage egg McMuffin. Okay. Uh, Jigakuro did looked at the thing too. If you have egg, it's like an extra two fifty. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, this is to start the McGriddle course. Uh, I'm going to give you each one just McGriddle. So we just, I just take. Yeah, oh. just take one. Ben, take one. Oh, like, wait, wait, wait. This just, is just the by patty. Itself. Yeah, just by itself, just to get a to get a sense what of what patty? these are what like. Is the, isn't this? Isn't this is the bread. Yeah. This is just. It's basically just on a, its own. It's just basically kind of a pancake, but just to just so you can get a sense of what this is. Yeah, I love the bread. Delicious. Wait, was there no just regular chicken McMuffin? Mm, I don't know. I think this is a chicken thing, but it's on a griddle. <laughs> I think I think we you you didn't get the one thing that I get every single time. <laughs> I, get. I don't like. I had this. To, I had to order it. Oh, you're not gonna like the next few courses. <laughs> <laughs> it's all this. I so I worked at McDonald's when these came out, uh -huh. um, and they were better. Yeah. But I still like them. I think they've gone downhill a little yeah. bit. Oh, man, I misjudged some stuff. <laughs> Mick. Yeah, I'm putting What's this. Left? There's five things left? There is, I see four. One, two, three, four. What? One, I only have. Oh, we have, that's going to give us two, two, I have three, five. Yeah. Four. All right. So there's 17? No, there was only 15. Cool. I might collapse oh. number two. Uh, Looks like there's only 15. We'll find out. All right. All right. Well, so, sorry, BLT bagel with egg. You. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna go griddle down here. I'm gonna wait till I. Yeah. So here's what I don't like about that. <coughs> is to me that immediately tastes like, um, like diner pancakes. I'm worried, by the mm -hmm. way. <laughs> um, like diner pancakes that someone else has slathered in diner syrup. Mm -hmm. Like ten minutes ago, yeah, and then and then it's soaked into the the pancake. Yeah, yeah, and I that's like my least favorite way to have a pancake. Yeah, it's like pancakes that you wake like your 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 partner or your parents or whatever made, and they say breakfast is ready, and they already pre-syrupped them, and then you went back to bed before coming yeah. down for breakfast, and then they just sort of leave it there. Yeah, no, I I am not a fan. There you go. Thank you. So that's the that's what you just ate, but now it's a bacon McMuffin. But instead of so the, the next bacon two in here? are oh, yeah. muffins. If you squint, <laughs> yeah. The next two, so this is bacon. The next will be sausage. Okay. There you, go. you want to mm. show the? Uh, yeah. See, you spot can... the bacon. Uh, it, look, it's it's cheese colored. Yeah, it's, I I can't handle the bread being this sweet. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go there. I thought that would be better than the just plain McGriddle. And I don't think it is. Oh no. I'm hoping sausage will help. Sausage me. sausage will save the day. <laughs> sausage always saves the day. Yeah, I think I think the thing that is doing a huge disservice for the bacon ones is the lack of bacon. <laughs> <This> <laughs> the very, lack there of the actual thing we're trying to get very at. Small amount of bacon. All right, here we go. Oh. So this is sausage. Yep. Uh, ben, uh, sausage. I'm running out of room here. Here's the cross section. Yep. I don't know, I'm still worried about the about the the, the bread here, but. Sliding apart, man. It's like it wasn't designed to be sliced this way. Okay, so I still don't like it, but this is better. The 
sausage is so salty mm -hmm. that it, it is cuts through the sweetness. Battling can we back. have can we have yeah. one swap? <laughs> I'm gonna just eat that sausage. No, these are still warm. Yeah, not bad. So is there only one more thing? No, there's two more things. Okay, so there are sixteen. Oh, yeah. oh no, we're yeah. sixteen. No, there's we fifteen. Were, there's fifteen. Never mind. No, no, no. There is sixteen. Huh? What the left? Um, that and that. And that. That's 15. I I haven't written down what we just ate, and then I'll have two spots left. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Me either. That makes sense. Oh. Yeah, right. okay. I'm well, go... okay. I've, <laughs> I kind of fucked mine. I'm going to go with sausage. Yeah, I've ruined mine. <laughs> yeah. This, yeah, this was not a good way to do that. No, <laughs> so, this is so great. This is my, my, my The only spots left on mine are my top spot and my worst spot. <laughs> <laughs> I got my worst spot and my okay, number right. two. All right, this one, which is a bad idea. I should have, I should have put the uh, so I my put hope, the bacon McGriddle way okay. down. My hope is this is God tier and this is dirt tier. So this is literally just a McGriddle with <laughs> a chicken patty on it. This is nothing else. This here. looks so. I love this. <laughs> okay, oh, no. cross section. <laughs> This is what Nicole gets for breakfast. Oh, is there anything okay. else on there? No. no. You can get it with cheese. So this is this is McDonald's answer to chicken and waffles. Yes, I guess so. I don't hate it. Dude, it's chicken and waffles, man. I don't hate it. This it's great. Oh my god. But it's a lot. It's a lot in the morning. Yeah, that's a no, yeah. I don't like how the pre-spiced patty is interacting with the sweetness of the McGriddle. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. They're battling it out in there. I got I I'm not enjoying it, but I have to have another bite because I need to see what's happening in here. I'm going, I'm going, I don't know. This is this list is terrible. Alright, yeah. um mine is so mine. that I'm just gonna call that chicken uh chicken I should have I should have went with my gut, because I gotta tell you that I like that. That's not better than the hash brown. So unfortunately, because of this kind of ranking system, I have to put that at number two because I'm because <laughs> I'm confident these pancakes are going to be shit. <laughs> yes. um, I have to put the pancakes at two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you somehow, amongst all these things you ordered, did not get my usual breakfast item. Which, what, is, which is what? It's the chicken McMuffin. So it's it's what we had, but with uh, with uh, English muffin instead of the McGriddle. Good news, we each get one entire butter packet. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to enjoy it by three o'clock. <laughs> yeah. We only have a few hours left. Sorry, three fifteen. Right. Well, you know, thankfully by that time, maybe I'll enjoy that it's past. Yes. Oh, God. Butter. Pardon me. Yes, please. I'm gonna belch in a moment. Pardon this me. This is a warning for anybody at home. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, I got too much butter. <laughs> we each get our own butter packet. You can have as much butter as you want. This is basically going to be a butterito. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, you're going to butter it up. I folded. I'm going to. I've buttered it. I've uh, syruped it, and now I'm going to fold it into a little uh, a little taco. A little taco. How do they call it? Hot cake syrup. Oh. Nowhere in Canada have they ever been called hot cakes. I don't know. When I was in school, they would do hot cake breakfast every once in a while. Really? Yeah. Huh. All right. All right. My bad. No. Nowhere yeah, in Victoria. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nowhere civilized. <laughs> just putting Beauty. it in the center. Hold on. Beauty. Oh, just, just use the rest. <laughs> do not. You don't have to listen to James. You know James doesn't have your best ideas. Your 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 best, your, interest. your best interest at heart. I got a map. Look I... at this dumbass idea I came up with. All right. <laughs> I'm eating with a knife and fork. I refuse. <laughs> oh, God, it's sticky on the outside too. <laughs> All right, I'm doing. So Ben's got a burrito. I'm going taco. Boy, <laughs> Graham is civilized. Who could have imagined that this was my 16th slot? <laughs> Look at this. Hey, this isn't bad. No, this is fine. If this had been warm, this would have been a totally fine pancake. No, you have to rank it as is. Yeah, no, it's number two. 
No, it's fine. Dude, your muffin from here looks like you just have like some Korean fried chicken <laughs> on the side of your plate. <laughs> um, yeah, if this was warm, this would be okay. It wouldn't be number two okay. <laughs> but it would be okay. No, this is my worst. Sorry, not pancakes. Hot cakes. I did not like that. No. This, this it may shock you to discover. That was fine. All right. Um, pancakes. Okay. Oh. Well, we ready pr to present to the teacher? <sighs> oh. Yeah. I think the thing that is getting me the most of all this was this was so much bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot. It was a lot of bread. As I'm having egg and tomato off of my... Hell yeah. I'm going to pull out the chicken patty. All right, so I went... Hey, number one! Uh, my number one was sausage egg McMuffin. Yep, same. Respectable. What was yours? Uh, mine was the chicken McGriddle. <laughs> it okay. should have been hash browns. Yeah. I, I thought that you told me that my thing was good, my, break, my favorite breakfast I item was going to be there. I thought it was. It was not. That's okay. I, don't. I still very much enjoy the chicken McGriddle. Number two, I... I had the pancakes. <laughs> I disagree with that choice. No, 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 you gotta stand by oh, it. Oh, I stand by it. Have some conviction. Sorry, right. yep. I have the chicken McGriddle, and you know that, uh, <laughs> you, you know I'm in a similar spot. Yeah. Hash brown. That's a good, that's a good one. So for number three, I had hash brown, and I'm, I am okay with that. I got sausage McMuffin at three, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, I got sausage McGriddle at three. Mm -hmm. All right. I like the McGriddles. Uh, number four, I had the sausage egg McGriddle. Hash brown. Uh, sausage McMuffin, no egg. Mm. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, number five, I put the banana chocolate chip muffin, actually. I was the same. I, yeah. I got the sausage McGriddle there, and I I think that probably could stand to be knocked down a few points, Dude. but I guess I'm stuck at number five. And if, I imagine that anything above eight that says McGriddle on yours <laughs> is not <laughs> true. Is not true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Correct. Um, all right, number six, I had the chicken Mc, or the chicken McGriddle, yeah, just by itself. I had the bacon McMuffin. Mm. The ba uh, what, were, what number were we? Sorry, I got six. lost. Six. Uh, sausage McMuffin with egg. Okay. Right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, number seven was the classic bacon egg McMuffin for me. I'm okay with that. Actually, I'm not, but I should be higher. <laughs> uh, the chocolate banana mu muffin. Yeah. yeah. I think it was good. Yeah. yeah honestly. It was fine. honestly. Yeah. If, if I, I liked it a lot. I need a pastry in the morning, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, I my seven was the bacon McGriddle. That is the first one that I'm not the first one, but that is one of the ones that I would have definitely put way lower. Mm. The bake, I think most of the bacon things I would actually throw way closer to the bottom. Yeah, for McDonald's. Um, also, I just as I mentioned, I saw it a couple of times, and I want to want to say hi. Uh, Ramp MV in chat says it's me, that kid that you met at Minneapolis. Oh hey, say hello. Nice. What's hello. up? Good to see you, buddy. Um, number eight, bacon egg McGriddle. Uh, number eight, the burrito. Oh, yeah, the burrito. I have burrito at number nine. That was good, too. Yeah. Uh, regular Egg McMuffin, I have at eight. Okay. The, your, the, ham, the ham muffin. I think the, the burrito is something that I, much like the banana chocolate muffin and the sausage egg McMuffin, uh, the burrito is something that I could, I could be like, yes, I'll just, I'll, I would, I, it's something I would actually order for breakfast. Yeah. It, it was too squishy. That's mm -hmm. fair. Fair it, was, it, it was a little old at that point, so and it felt maybe it's like, better at the start. It felt like the sausage was doing so much heavy lifting. The for sausage because it. it's little does sausage crumbs. Most, yeah, most of the heavy lifting. It's true. That, yeah, I think what we I think what we could probably end up doing is put McDonald's sausage at number one. Yeah, on like <laughs> yeah. Our, our actual list. <laughs> on the actual list. Yeah. yeah, the McDonald's sausage is actually the king. Yeah. All right, number nine. I had the burrito. I have a plain McGriddle. Mm. Yep, blueberry muffin. And number nine for yep. me. Yep. Yep. Uh, number 10 was the sausage McMuffin, just the sausage and McMuffin, that's it. I've got the bagel and egg BLT. Okay. Which I didn't, I didn't hate actually. Yeah. Uh, I have the burrito at 10. Nice. Uh, 11, I had just the plain McGriddle. I have the plain egg McMuffin. I found it very bland. Yeah, mm. that's fair. I had the bacon egg muffin. Okay. Um, 12, I had the blueberry muffin. I have the McGriddle with bacon, or suggestions of bacon. <laughs> yep. 12 is by the fact that you just handed me a McGriddle bun. <laughs> and we're like, breakfast! <laughs> uh, 13, I had the Egg McMuffin, just by itself. Uh, the bagel with, with attempted cream cheese. 
Uh, I actually, so uh, 13 for me is the chicken BLT muffin. Mm. Uh, at this point, I would have put the, I would have put this one as my, my bottom. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, 14, I had the chicken BLT McMuffin. So did I. That was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the everything bagel. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, 15, I had the BLT bagel with egg. 15, I put the blueberry muffin. And not because of the wadge of salt I ate. Yeah, but because yeah. the, a blueberry muffin is a solved problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't see... I, this is this is so... You're not reinventing the wheel oh, with look, the blueberry muffin. Oh my more. god. There's more. Hold, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry, this is a different part of the muffin. Look at, look at this. That, it's a whole salt cube. Or is that just baking soda? Like, it's... Oh, I wouldn't. That, it is salt. <laughs> it is so just... So weird. Oh my god, it is literally just salt. So, so weird. Extracting the fact that that's... Inexcusable. That's absurd. Having, having part of the... Having part of the blueberry muffin that is... That is fine... Yeah. Is still the... Probably the worst blueberry muffin I've ever had. Mm -hmm. And like... And again, like... You know, we go to the Parsonage, and they have an astonishing they blueberry muffin. They have, like, muffin. the best blueberry muffin in the city. But it's like, yeah. a blueberry muffin is supposed to be, like, a safe go-to. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, sure, a blueberry muffin. How bad can it be? This is They're not good. It's unfortunate, because um, I think when they started doing the whole McCafe thing, mm -hmm. and they really upped their game on pastries and donuts and stuff, and by up their game, I mean started serving them in quantity. Um, because we used to do, when I used to work there, and this was 20 five years ago, we had, I think, like a carrot muffin and a blueberry muffin, and that was it. I like carrot. And yeah. they were legit. They were really good. The they carrot one totally was super good. brandy. Wanna, wanna no. Pile, wanna pile of salt? <laughs> no. <laughs> get, get, get your sodium? 16. I had the cream oh, wait, cheese bagel. Oh, 15. oh, what was your 15? Uh, so I actually messed up. This one would, would have been my worst one. This is the BLT bagel with egg. Mm. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. The bagel ones were... Five. They were terrible. Yeah. The bagels were bad. Uh, my my sixteen was a cream cheese bagel. Mine is but the that's, I found the cream cheese bagel like bland but yeah. inoffensive. And that's I knew that was going to be my number last be, my last one because I just don't like cream cheese. That Pancake. Much, so. mm, yeah. <laughs> Hot cake. Yeah. Hot cake. Hot cake. Yeah. No. All right. And uh, drinks. I went OJ coffee apple juice. I agree. <laughs> yep. Same. I agree. A apple is apple is like deep. I'm drinking. I'm drinking juice. the apple juice. Right There's now. nothing wrong with this apple juice. Yeah. It's just mm. like uh, no, of the fine. juice. It's it's, it's just, my least fave. Okay, so here's a question. Yeah. Um, Did you, we get a monopoly? You get to no. <laughs> you get to pick your top three. What are your top three food items? Um, so no you, longer ranking. You don't need to rank. You don't need to worry about this list anymore. Okay. <laughs> what are your top three this things that we just had? Salt. Sausage egg McMuffin. Uh, I'm gonna make a breakfast. Basically, I'm a hash brown OJ, and you don't need to worry about that. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about the drink. Yeah, no, no. Okay, no. just just the food item. I think for me, I'm gonna go sausage egg McMuffin, hash brown, and honestly, the maybe just the banana chocolate chip muffin, but maybe the burrito. Yeah, I'm 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 coming in with. Sausage egg McMuffin, hash brown, and burrito. I think. Yeah. Or my. I think I'm gonna stick with the 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 BC muff. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! <laughs> Got him. Uh, <laughs> oh, we got more Monopoly. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, extra large coffee has Monopoly too. Oh. Uh, I probably, I think I'm gonna go hash brown, St. Catherine Street, banana muffin, and a sausage McMuffin, no egg. Okay. Based on what we have here. Okay. Toronto Airport. Hey, there we go. What do we need to win? I don't put them on. We have one of the. We have two of the the books. Get them on there. Do we have anything? I don't think we have nearly enough. No, God, no. We can't win the car. Oh. Ooh, if we get all the airports, you get to go to a universal theme. Wait, universal theme? Oh, universal theme. <laughs> Next line, park vacation. <laughs> uh, oh, we could win a brushless two-stage snowblower kit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Super it's useful super, for Victoria. Yeah, I was just gonna say, best use for Victoria. $2,000 Hudson's Bay gift card. All right. So we've got two pinks, two greens, two oranges. 
and two blues. No, the same, they're the same. A $10,000 Leon's shopping spree. Yeah. Leon's? Leon's is, uh... <laughs> Look, I've bought some stuff from Leon's before. Mm. Uh, I can guarantee you their couches are better than my Ikea one. Possibly. Our, our couch Whoa, is Leon's. Whoa, time out. There's, there's uh, 12,000 Fay Farm PC codes. Ooh. <laughs> we could play Fay Farm. No. What is Leon's? It is a, yeah, yeah it's as a 50 Key says, a B-tier furniture store in Canada. Yeah. 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 Wow, you can get a Roku. Okay. <gasps> a weekly Big Mac for a year. That's the, that's the big one. Weekly, big, that's not even that good. That's like five bucks a week. <laughs> that's not a great deal. But you never have to do it again. <sighs> All right. So, I mean, we've got, whoops. <laughs> Don't you touch my butter. <laughs> Sorry. So you need three you need three of a color to get the thing? Yeah, you yeah. Need, need all three. So, I mean, but you, you can keep them, right? Hmm? You can keep them until. Yeah. Later. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. we could, this could be the the the, the office the one. Office board. Sorry, I got one going at home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to Leon's, and I'm not taking you with me. <laughs> I love that there's two. They've replaced the utilities, the utilities with taxes. I'm not sure with highways. Uh, but I Pot guess like nowhere in Canada has interesting high. So there's the Trans Canada Highway, right? And then the other one is the Sea to Sky. Oh, here. So yeah. it's like nowhere else in Canada has a named interesting highway. So they're like, all right, we'll give it to BC, I guess. Sea to Sky is a good name. It is. With the Malahat. Yeah. Medium fries, though. I'm jealous yeah. you guys have Monopoly still? Do places, did not everybody do Monopoly anymore? You, does America not do a Monopoly anymore? That seems like a. Monopoly and Roll Up the Rim are like holiday seasons here. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, both have kind of definitely fallen <laughs> over true. the years. They used to be awesome. Erica's got a very good point. I'm surprised they didn't put the yellow head. That's a pretty big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, wow. Good point. Roll up doesn't exist yeah, anymore? It yeah, it does. It's it just sure not, does. It, it, it doesn't does. exist in the traditional. You can't, you can't roll up the no cup anymore. anymore. It's, it's actual hot garbage. You, you, yeah, you, yeah, you have to have the app or whatever, but yeah. it exists. Yeah. It's just bad. Kathleen never told you about the the contest that they did at her university newspaper? No. Roll up the rim job to win. <laughs> and how do I play? You had to find, you, you had to find uh, somewhere in the newspaper, you had to find a cartoon, cartoon representation of a rim job. <laughs> hidden somewhere amongst the pages. Wait, and do they have that in the paper? In the, this was her university newspaper. That's yeah. so good. I, think, I believe it was just, it was like, like a tongue and a yeah. little pucker, yeah. right? And you had to find it somewhere in the newspaper. That rules. And then do you know what you won? Mm. A rim job? No. You, from from you the editors? Come to the, come to the newspaper office. <laughs> you win a, you show them that you found it. You win a cucumber. <laughs> so then, did they just go to the grocery store like daily? Was there a daily newspaper? I don't or was it the first person to point I it out? I think it was the first person. This was, uh, it was what, a, a single cucumber. It was a weekly university newspaper. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. So. The, the Daily Cuke. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the, the US Monopoly got like, um, got rigged by one of the people at the print shop. Really? And they've never done it since then? They just stopped doing it since then? Mm hmm. Huh. Weird. All right, uh, we're gonna start moving over back to the other camera. Well, yeah, I'm full now. Are you gonna? I'm full, mom. You need a hand? Uh, sure. All right. All right, we can. Oh, see, this had some really. Hit... This felt really heavy desert bus vibes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't have the site volunteers to clean up. The... Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. There's Brett, literally... you're in chat. <laughs> yeah. There's Brett, literally... get your ass over here. No. <laughs> There's literally no one else in the office. This is so much bread. It's a lot of bread. There's still a whole uh, big griddle. Anybody? He's right there. There it is. Yeah. I knew it. <laughs> knew it. <laughs> All right. Oh god. Debating if there's any like. That was a mixed steak. Salvage. A little bit. A little bit of sausage. I'll have the sausage. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my gosh. We do not condone food wasting. But sometimes we do it for comedy. Oh my goodness. Those pancakes were. <laughs> Awful. All right. Oh, the camera what was slightly to, canted. Yeah, what happened over here? Ah, uh, my have just gotten dragged. Oh, okay. All right, Weep! Oh. oh, water. 
Agua, por favor. I might actually get some water too. Oh, okay, wait, can you refresh mine? It's oh, so God. Great. Hey, that's that's good news for lunch. Yeah, that's the best one. It's perfect. I gotta turn this monitor back around. It's great when the, the morning show is also staffed by the people hosting the morning show. It's like, I just have to go move some, some gear off camera that you can't see. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna move this camera too so I can actually read chat. Ah, well hey, well, the camera is slightly tilted. What the heck? Anybody want to try this mixture of coffee, orange juice, and, uh, and uh, apple juice? Why would you do that, James? I, I didn't say I was going to. I said, does anybody want to? No, why would you mix it? <laughs> oh, because uh, it just makes it easier to carry all the mugs and glasses. Well, sure, if I got it. <sighs> Is this our official game board? or <sighs> the, There's one folded up with all the pieces inside it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if that was a good idea. A bit of a food coma? A little bit. That was salty. That was, yeah. I should have just taken your word for it and not had the muffin. <laughs> the salt no, muffin. The pile of salt, yeah. No bad idea. Ugh, I'm getting the McGurgles. <laughs> <laughs> McGurgles. Oh, all right. Love the McGurgles. Oh, we'll be fine. No sleeping on stage? I wasn't sleeping, I was in the fetal position. Yeah, this is totally Do you different. look at a dying person, Nikitori, and go, hey, wake up! <laughs> Sleepyhead. <laughs> Completely different. What's with the arm of the couch over there? That is a different... That, that's a cushion. Yeah. I think Chris right? was commenting on it. This is not the arm for this couch. Yeah, it, so... Oh, I'm unmuted. Um... It is because that's. Um, is this this? This isn't the sectional. Oh, that's that the is, this end is of the sectional. Right, because that's the end of the couch, and then the on the bottom here is what? where the. Because normally the sectional no, goes. There's no. I took them off. Oh. Because we don't use them anymore in that corner that it's oh. in, and this just it looks a little cleaner now. I didn't realize. So yeah, we these this is the sectional. Okay. So normally, yeah, the sectional will come out. Did not realize. Yeah. So. Chila kilos. Mm. Mm. Breakfast nachos. There's a lot of people upset that my shoes are on this couch. <laughs> uh, Gazzy Inferno, the prediction ended that it was it was under a hundred dollars. Well, eighty nine, like eighty eight. All right. That's that was actually surprisingly reasonable. It's not bad. Actually. That feel that that would feed the whole crew. Yeah. And and we ate it all. Oh. I didn't mind it at the time, and now I'm like... I could mm. use some more OJ. Yeah, so the OJ was nice. It was a good palate cleanser. Yeah. James, can you go get more OJ? <laughs> or just water. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's why. That's what I grabbed. Yeah. Ugh, water was the correct way to go. Oh, all right. This getting you warmed up for oh. Desert Bus? Pretty much. Yeah. Good news. We're not even... <laughs> Halfway through our time slot this morning. That's true. We've got so much more. Yeah, and that was the extent of everything we had planned. So you know, uh, I got two more things. Oh shite! What's up? I, I threw a couple of thing ideas in there. Uh, I have uh, last night. I threw up a tweet uh, where people could uh, tweet at us for advice oh. for problems that they might be having. Heck yeah! Uh, and then I also have a bunch of very strange news stories oh yeah that we can talk about classic all right bring us bring on bring on some advice some advice okay i'll wait for james to get here yeah yeah i'm almost done so we can advise oh all together oh, there's there's no way to sit comfortable i'm so mixed stuffed so Eli said uh, gotta be honest i was thought it was gonna get gonna be joke advice so i tweeted a joke question it is joke that's, advice. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is literally like, I don't know, actually know if we're going to give you good advice. And in fact, I doubt we will. Or I have no plans to give you any actual advice. Uh, yeah, for safety, just don't don't take any of our uh, 
don't don't take any of our advice to heart. Yeah. Just in case. Or do just don't say we did it. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna this this goes all the way to the kitchen, right? The microphone. Yeah. Great. I'm gonna leave it unmuted while I walk down the hallway. Okay. And uh, refill my water. I'm sure he's saying something important. I'm I know that Ben's also talking right now. Kind of just sit here. You know, I am a, you know, the I, they're probably even talking. I can't hear them. Are they saying stuff to Twitch chat? I'm opening the fridge. You said There's you're getting a raise? Thanks. No, I slept over from last night. Been here like seven years. Ice noises. <laughs> they're talking shit. Wow. If they were talk, if they were actually talking shit, Lord Hosk, and you narked yeah. on them. Classic snitch chat, man. Also. Yeah, lots of clinks. Kate and Kathleen give horrible advice. The return. Good morning. Yes, only not, not, not Kate and Kathleen. Oh, I'm being raised. Okay, cool. Also about time, to be honest. Oh, I like that Beach Nian put the, uh, put the outgoing toilet seat on, on the set. You can't see it in this shot right now, but. Wait, did they? Yeah, it's up there. Oh, it's up there. Yeah. Did they clean it first? I don't know. Thanks, James. <laughs> oh, perfect. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'll that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. There's some leftover snacks from uh, movie night. Oh, yeah. And I saw them and I was like, oh. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After eating all that, I was just like, you know. If I put a Twizzler inside me. Would you like an Enamo bar? <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. think I'd want an Enamo bar. <laughs> I feel in the queasy just hearing about it. <laughs> oh. All right. We're doing advice first? Yeah, go sure. for it. Okay, let me let me find some fun ones here. Gek Yoru asks, Graham, will we ever see the return of what's this Japanese commercial trying to sell game? I would love to. Mm. The channel that I used to follow, there was two of them. There was two different channels that used to put up Japanese commercials, uh, and they stopped. And I found another one, but they just put, the one that I found now just puts up, like, every normal commercial and, like, seemingly not the weird ones, mm. which is just sort of, it's not what I'm looking for. Did they get copyright struck? No, they just, they had jobs. <laughs> they fair. just stopped doing it. So yeah, I've been watching some and there's like a couple of good ones in there, but they're mostly just kind of banal. Maybe Japan stopped making weird commercials. It's true. I kind of doubt it though. All right. All right. You're prepared? Yeah. All right, this one comes from uh, Nicknacks96. All these are going to be on Twitter. Okay. Not X. Yeah. Uh, Nicknacks96 asks, uh, am I allowed to ponder my orb in public spaces? Mm. Depends on the size of your orb. Yeah. Oh, the size matters? I think so. Okay. Like, is it a, if, if it's too big? I think you need to be subtle. Yeah. <laughs> but what about Vegas? They literally built a giant orb. That's, 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 not... that's sphere. Yeah. Also, that's nobody's orb. <laughs> Nobody controls Sphere. Nobody controls Sphere. Sphere, in Vegas. Sphere is its own master. Sphere is its own, yeah. Strong, independent orb. Yeah. Doesn't need no scrying. It is yeah, everyone's exactly. orb, so it is nobody's orb. I would say the cutoff line is like, if your orb is what, larger than like eight inches, you need to keep you that. Can, you got to measure it in <laughs> circumference, surely. <laughs> sure. We'll give yeah, you. you don't wanna, you don't want to come off like you're orb bragging in public. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Well, exactly. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So it's more of like a pity thing if you have a small orb and you ponder it in public? I mean, if you have a sn small orb and you ponder it in public, I think that really shows how much you've grown as a person, you know? To show <laughs> such a small orb in public. Uh, I, I personally, small ego, small I, orb. I personally have a gigantic orb, <laughs> and I don't like flaunting it. So Do I, you know I, make... I ponder my orb in the privacy of my own home. Right, surrounded by BC muff. <laughs> Oh, that was, whew, I almost said something wildly inappropriate. You're right, yeah. Now? It'd be a fucking shame if we did that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Next question. Next good question. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Uh, oh, uh, long, uh, long time listener, first time writer. Uh -huh. uh, this comes from Twitch user L underscore Funko. What's up? Who says, how do I become a man aboot town? Mm. Well, number one, keep your orb to yourself. Um, <laughs> uh, how do I, so he's asking this um, because he's here. He's here, he just got here yesterday. Oh, no he way. is. Uh, he is. He is in the city, mm -hmm. in the Canadas. So now we have to tell him how be to anywhere. How, how to, to become Canadian. How to become Canadian. Oh, that's why he said a man a boot. Yeah. yeah. Even, a B O O T. It's the wrong regional accent. Yeah. 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 Number one. We get, say car. Number one, get that right. Yeah. We don't say a boot. No. Oh man, I saw a great, a great TikTok. It was a stitch with someone. They were. Uh, it was a podcast, being like. Canada only has two accents. You either sound like a hockey player or you sound like Drake. <laughs> and then it was then it cut to the person stitching it from Newfoundland. <laughs> Being like, I just think you don't get out much there, boy. <laughs> I think maybe that uh, maybe there's more than one accent that maybe you haven't thought about, boy. <laughs> just like just, hockey player or Drake, I allege that person has never left Toronto. Mm, yes. You know, I I'm sure I've heard Drake speak. I've certainly heard Drake sing. But I don't Think I could it's take, the exact same. I could not pick Drake's, How you doing, Jay? <laughs> could not That's pick Drake's voice first. out of the uh, <laughs> out of a lineup of voices. So I don't actually know what that means. I guess it's just a Toronto accent. Well, here's the, actually here's a thing that I learned recently, uh, because through the comments section of a TikTok as mm -hmm. well, uh, because that's how Graham and I get all of our worldly <laughs> apparently in your articles is via TikTok. Uh, somebody was surprised because they were visiting Victoria. And they were taking the bus, and uh, they were surprised that everybody says thank, thank you, you to the driver the bus. Yep. when you get off the bus. Yeah, correct. Uh, which is just a thing that I've always done. Mm -hmm. But apparently, that is not a common thing around the world. Is when you're taking no. like, public transit and stuff like that. It's not you even. You don't a think the. Thing. You don't think the. I don't think driver. it's a common thing in Canada. They, they learned that from Fortnite. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, you're right. No, they're not right. Oh my I've god. I've always thanked the bus driver. Yeah, no, I have too, but they are right that you do thank the bus driver. You can thank the bus driver in Fortnite, which is it interesting, is, actually. It is correct to do so, yes. Yeah. Nope, they're doing their job. I mean, you can still thank somebody who's doing a public service, though. Yeah. That's, I don't not, know. Are you not polite? Do you not say, like, <laughs> thanks when, You're like, just doing this for the money. <laughs> <laughs> when the when when James goes through the drive-thru at McDonald's and they hand him the food, is he supposed to go, correct? <laughs> <laughs> and drive off. <laughs> Way to do your job. And he job. gets his bag and his other bag and his yeah. other bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still thank somebody when they're doing their job. All right, it does sound like more people. I mean, I, I'd be curious to know Acceptable. if it's the greater... I, yeah, the doctor who <laughs> saves your life. <laughs> <laughs> well, about time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, good. Uh, what was the question? How does Funko be Canadian? Are you right, yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah. Uh, so, say thank you to everybody. Yeah. yeah. Um... Uh, sorry. Sorry is sor a big one. Yeah, sorry is a big one. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and it's like, for us, what's interesting though is like, sorry has become a thing where it's like, I think we only mean it half as much as people who don't normally say sorry. Mm -hmm. And I think like, it's just like part of our yeah. vernacular or Absolutely. something that we'll say like, oh, sorry, but yeah, kind of a thing, right? And we're actually not, we're not actually, actually saying sorry yeah, a lot yeah, of the times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just something, it's, just, yeah. it's, it's the equivalent of when somebody says like. In, in, a, in, a, in a thing sometimes, yeah. I would say. It's a filler word. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Jared got gifted a sub. What's hey. up? I, don't, I didn't see who gifted it, but thank you. Appreciate it. Is it not showing up in chat anymore? Uh, oh, I, I missed it. I think we just missed it. Was um, it a gift? It, it looked like a gift itself mm. to didn't, Jared. I didn't think it was. Or is that, okay, well then, Jared, are you just watching and had, did you just subscribe to our channel? <laughs> I, type Hi, in chat. Hi, Jared. Type in chat. If you're here, <laughs> prove um, it, asshole. Yeah, exactly. The Midwest equivalent is oh, was it a was gift. a gift. Okay. okay. Yeah. Midwest equivalent is yeah, no, or no, yeah. Yeah, that's true. You do have the, the oh yeah, no. Yeah. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, no. Yeah. Uh, people are saying a lot like the Midwest oop, but we also uh, I say oop whenever like I need to scooch around somebody in the oop. in the grocery mm -hmm. store. Like, yeah. Oop. Oop. Oop, 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 oop. oop, sorry. I just say I, I personally no. do say a a lot. Is honestly. it Australian? I do. No, no. Too. Australian is yeah, nah. Yeah. 
Nah. Or nah, yeah. In right. Canada, it's still no. It's yeah, no. I no. think your, no, your, yeah. your A's definitely are region dependent. Mm -hmm. I say it a lot. <laughs> a lot of people saying to watch Letter Kenny. Uh, don't do that to be Canadian. No. Watch it because it's a good, I, I, it's a I good understand show. it to be a good show. I've never really gotten into it. Uh, Shorzy though, that's a damn good show. Mm. Sure. God, I love Shorzy. Letter Kenny, Letter Kenny is very deep rural Canadian. Yeah, yeah, and not like BC really. No. Like it's no. like Northern Ontario Canadian. There's some Northern, <laughs> Northern BC. Like, There's some, cause I, cause I remember before they got the TV show when they were, they were just doing the online shorts. Yeah. I remember showing some very early Letter Kenny <laughs> to Kathleen. And she was like, it's too real. Too real, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of northern, yeah, I guess that's fair. A lot of northern yeah. Canada, small town, rural. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. A, a would be specifically to, it's almost like you're pronouncing the question mark. Yeah. yeah. Is how it's typically used. It, it, it means, it's, I mean, some people say, yeah, so, you know, there's, there's, other, there's other sort of language ticks that mean the same thing. It basically means, do you agree with what I've just said? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So. All right, uh, now what can we make him do that will make him look like an idiot? Uh, well, don't preface it with that. Unless shoot, he's not right. listening. He's Can, not, there's no way he's awake right now. Consume like 12 McDonald's sandwiches at <laughs> yeah. 6 in the morning. Yeah, yeah that's that's everyone actually, in Victoria a, goes to McDonald's. That's a traditional breakfast. Canadian breakfast. We eat yeah, that every, you got to go get all that. Yeah. We do that every day. That's the full Canadian, what you just saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, every day. Graham you never and I go. Sit down you never here. go full Canadian. Though. We just decided get to the turn Gretzky. The oh. Get when a was, Gretzky. When I was in line, somebody got a coffee with four cream, four sugar, <sighs> which is just that's too much. What's yeah. like Gretzky? The Gretzky is a nine nine. The nine 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 cream. <clears throat> nine cream nine sugar. We did that. I think it was. I think we saw it one year at Desert Bus. Um, it's not. That's just too much. Like, why would you drink that? That's not it's even like coffee. coffee anymore. It's just too many. Yeah. Just have a Coke. <laughs> like. A Sprite? Damn, dude. <laughs> Pop. <laughs> Soda. Pop. Uh, yeah. I think those are all good suggestions. Did, Gret did Gretzky fit? drink those? No. It's because his number was 99. 99. Not, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. Yeah, he'll fit right in. You're, you're good to go, Funko. Yeah. I think, I think, yeah, I think we've nailed it at this point. Yeah, perfect. Uh, butter 7 mm -hmm. from so. Twitter asks, uh, thank you very much for writing in. I'm constructing a Lur automaton to complete tasks around the house. Fuck. Who should be the head and who should be the body? I think we can do more than just a head and a body. Like, you know, like the arm, the arm of Corey. <laughs> <laughs> the, fi the fingers of Jacob. <laughs> Whatever we do, do not give the ass to Beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that thing's broken. <laughs> All right, who's, huh. I, I would do the legs of Ian. Ian's got legs for days. Okay, I definitely want to give up the arms of Adam because his arms are huge. I was gonna, I was if gonna. We have the, if we have the legs of Ian, the arms of Adam though, Damn. we're gonna have one of those weird proportionate guys who's like, the arms are like down here and the waist is up here. Uh, see, I was, for similar reasons, I was gonna say uh, legs of Kathleen because she does a lot of walking. Mm -hmm. And and again, there she's got the, like the torso leg Disparity. She's got long legs, but <laughs> I, Ian could have. We could just do one each. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Okay. So, one of Kathleen's so, legs. One of Ian's legs. And they get. They, we're going feet too. We're not gonna. Are we gonna get that granular? Sure. Yeah. Oh, you want to go feet as yeah. well? Who's got the best feet? God. I mean, I have my official list, but I'd rather not <laughs> share it. <laughs> I think you go Adam's feet because he's got those flip flops. He's got. Yeah. He's. He doesn't need. Uh, <laughs> what what should we call it? Um, <laughs> I have no idea what you're going for. This here. <laughs> you don't know this. Come on, paddling. The yeah the the flippers. Flippers. Thank you. Okay, they're just his feet. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we've got Adam's feet, a leg from Ian, a leg from Corey, from Kathleen. A Kathleen. Yeah. Are we gonna? Add, well, here's the thing. Are we going to? say that now it's only one body part. Like, a person can only be attributed to one body part. Oh, sure. So if we give up Adam's feet, that means we can't have Adam's arms. Um, mm, yeah. I feel like we want Adam's arms. We want this thing to be strong. Yeah. You know? It's gotta be able to lift things. Yeah, so chores a... around the house. You, you want it to be able to vacuum while lifting Ooh, the couch. my feet. I got 14s. You know? Okay. Not quite the flippers that Adam I mean, that's Well, good. who's really good at standing around? You do want great, mm. so, you do want big feet to, you know, 
nice support for this monstrosity. We're we could say, we gotta I, plant it for yeah, 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 yeah. We could put the feet of Matt because Matt's used to like standing holding a boom for very extended <laughs> periods of time. Mm. All right, we need a torso. Um, we go Paul's torso. Oh, I've never seen Paul's torso. Can't say that I have either, but. <laughs> I mean, we're bordering into HR here, but like, <laughs> I'm genuinely curious about what Paul looks like shirtless. <laughs> now that you mention it. <laughs> Uh, Paul's torso is always there. Yeah. What does that mean, Estenius? <laughs> lanky boy. You give it to you, you give the torso to Beach. Beach is always <laughs> that's true. I've made a couple jokes recently that Beach is training against Earth's gravity by wearing that that coat. coat? Yeah. You Paul's know that explains stuff. his spine issues. Though. <laughs> Paul's got Paul's one with spine issues. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, okay. God, what if Paul just has a ten pack under there? It's possible. <sighs> All right. So we got so Beach's torso. I think we give it. I, I'm down to give it Paul's brain. Yeah, mm. I like. Yeah, I like. Oh, not the full head, his, just his brain. Yeah, 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 just his brain. Who, um, whose facial structure are we using? Mm, whose face is this gonna get? This is just getting more and more horrifying every moment. I expect fan art. Um, <laughs> Cameron, sure. Oh yeah, Cam's face. Cam's got, Cam's a, got good, a good face. Cam's got a good. Face. So we'll just take Cam's face off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He'd love that. Yeah. We could so, send the the 3D prints. Grab, no, no. We take Cam's face off, put that on the automaton, then Cam could put the. Cam, Cam could finally just uh, wear that all the time. Yeah, he'd love yeah. that. Yeah. Whose hair though? Cam's face, but you can't have his hair. Oh, too. Oh, can't have his hair. Oh, damn. Okay. Um. Well. Hmm. Corey's usually got some really good hair colors and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm down with Corey hair. Mm -hmm. All right. I think James's shoulders for carrying this on his back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I think we've we've constructed a pretty good. I want to be the. I'll, I, I'd like to toss my hat in to be the fingers. Oh, you want to be the fingies? Yeah. Okay. Adam thing. Adam's arms, but my fingies. <laughs> that is a terrifying thought. DJ Mikey Sack says Wheeler's voice, so the automaton can thank people for having it. It's great to be here. <laughs> <laughs> Did Wheeler make it okay to two a.m.? I wasn't watching last night, obviously. I was trying, I think so. to, trying to get I, I went back I'm more it, Did Adam stay with him yes, until 2? Really? So. The whole time? Good oh, okay. I, wow. I think he did. I did Adam just not. decided to like go all night. It yeah. was very impressive. I did not sleep well last night. I did not actually sleep last night. I had a series of naps. Mm. Mm. I got yeah, home me too. at just before 10 and literally just walked into bed and didn't get up until God, that sounds, my alarm went up. That sounds yeah. dope. That sounds I mean, I was, awesome. up, I was up yesterday at 4.30. Gross. I have like super vivid dreams that I can remember every night, um, but it also always means that I don't actually get to sleep very well. Mm. Um, so last night's dream was that I was a cross country trucker who was stopping at my house for a little while, um, and I saw my dog and went, "That's not my dog." Uh oh. And I went outside and there was another dog that was definitely not my dog, but said, that's my dog. <laughs> Got rid of the dog in my house. And then Nicole came home and said, why is our dog tied up outside? And I said, because that's not our dog. This is our dog. And it was like a Sharpe. Like it was like not who, and I was convinced that it was our dog. And then I woke up. Did we ever get confirmation of what happened to the dog in that movie? We oh never, no. We, we never saw the dog again. I assume it was I in assume... the back. Yeah, With I guess because because again, Wait. Being, being inspired by who goes there, I I assumed the dog was going to be involved, but it was not. Was the dog with the countess, or was it with the spy? Uh, the countess. Okay. Who lived? And who you never see the dog ever throughout no. the rest of the movie. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right. Anyways, there's your <laughs> lur golem. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> I think you're gonna need to put like a full like suit body suit on it so you don't actually have to look at it. Uh, great. Next question. Next question. Okay. Oh, interesting. All right. Melon Prawn mm -hmm. at, or Melon underscore Pawn asks, "What's the better breakfast, pancakes or waffling between how you want your eggs done for an hour?" Sorry, what was the question? What's better for breakfast? We're we're experts at this. Yeah. Pancakes or waffling about how you want your eggs done for an hour? All right, so 
Pancakes. Yeah. I prefer waffles, but pancakes are great. If, here's, here's how we do pancakes. It's a little irritating, but uh, yeast raised pancakes. Kathleen can tell you all about this. They're great. The downside is that you're burning living things alive. The, and it screams as it's going through it. <laughs> That's, you can get over that. Yeah. Uh, no, the, the, uh, the, the, the downside is that you have to get up and make the batter and then leave it for mm -hmm. 90 minutes. Yeah. So you can't just get up and immediately have it. So you gotta like wake up and plan to have brunch in, in an hour and a half. Mm. But then they're great. Okay. Then they're, they're really good. So they weren't actually asking about waffles at all. No, no. Yeah. It yeah. was pancakes or, or eggs. waffling <laughs> about eggs. Yeah. So given those options, yeah. I'll have pancakes. Every day I'm just going to take the thing that's going to appear in front of me right away. <laughs> mm. I don't like either of these things very much. I mean, I, I mean, I like both. I definitely, I'm also with Graham. I prefer waffles over pancakes. Um, but I do like eggs. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. I think pancakes... I mean, even though I love the yeast raised pancakes that I just mentioned, I think that like of the four, and I'll clarify what those are in a moment, of the four uh, specifically breakfast breads, uh, I think pancakes are actually bottom of my, of them. I think yeah. for me it's, it's waffles, French toast, crepes, pancakes. French mm. toast is the top mm. for me. Yeah. I, will slant, I will eat French toast every day. French toast bangs. It's good stuff. All right. What you got? Okay. Up next. A lot of these are like serious questions. That's okay. Where are you doing? Okay. All right. Uh, Mavis Bacon Vivo. <laughs> what a great Wait. username. <laughs> At Mavis Bacon Vivo. <laughs> Mavis That's a... Bacon. Or, no, Mavis oh, Beacon. Mavis Beacon okay. Vivo. Why a Vivo for it? The... <laughs> for, for Mavis sure. Beacon. Uh, how do I dress for job interviews so that I seem put together and professional, yet also down to earth and free spirited? Uh, so here's the thing: you are asking the wrong people about a job interview. <laughs> when's the last time any of us had a job interview? I mean, a, a very long time ago. But I mean, like, you can still talk about how to dress. I mean, it depends on like what you're dressing as. Like, are we talking like? Are we going for, I guess it also depends on the job too, right? Mm. I mean, I think there is some truth to dress for the job you want, right? Like if you're, if you're interviewing at somewhere that they wear suits every day, you better be wearing a suit when you go in for your job interview, right? Mm. Do places still, are, are people, do people still get like not hired because of like things like tattoos? Yeah. And stuff like that? Really? That's oh, yeah. still a thing, I eh? mean, it depends, right? Like it's... It's gonna wholly depend on where. You're yeah, going. I mean, it depends on who. Yeah, who's yeah. hiring and where you're going. And like stuff that's like still that, viewed so. as like an unprofessional thing. I think so. That's I think there's, wild. There's definitely some people out there who would do it. Huh? Get your long sleeves. I guess it also depends. Yeah, where your tattoos are too, right? So. Yeah. No, I just go for the Vans Warp Tour bodysuit. That's my goal. <laughs> <laughs> Arms, leg, legs, maybe neck. Done. That's wild. That's super, super wild. I guess like, okay, so the last, last job interview I had to do, uh, not including here, I guess, technically, because it wasn't really an interview. It was just like, hey, what, what, how are we going to contract this? Yeah. Uh, would have been for when I was setting up stuff at the Empress Hotel for like gigs, uh, for like weddings and, mm -hmm. and all that kind of jazz. And... Uh, I had to wear a full suit for that. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Wait, for the interview or the job? For the interview. Okay, I was like, wait. But, like, for setting up, I still had to wear, like, dress pants, dress shoes, a tucked-in shirt and stuff like that yeah. for, like, labor. The, the, the Empress Man. Yeah. Yeah. I think you should just go in a burlap sack and see what they say. Like, see, see, yeah, see where you see. I, th I think, I think, because that's the thing is if you go to, a, if you go do an interview and they don't like that you're wearing a burlap sack, you probably didn't want to work there. <laughs> and I think you're just, you're just sorting them out. Yeah. Get your face tattoos touched up. Yeah. The one that says yeah. damaged across yeah. the forehead. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. I've literally only ever had one job interview my entire life. From, really? For McDonald's? McDonald's. Okay. And that because was, I, and that the was other one was for your dad, interview. right? Yeah, like I had, I, I did paper routes, no job interview. 
McDonald's was a job interview, but um, my sister worked there at the time, and so did a friend of mine, so it was basically just like, come in, meet the guy, and three minutes later I had the job. And then, yeah, my dad, and then here. <laughs> so, <Huh. laughs> yeah. Literally, I would probably uh, crumble in a real interview, to be honest. <laughs> Same with my resume. I, uh, <laughs> if I had to make a resume today, I don't know what the hell I would do. Lie. I don't even think I'd have to lie, honestly. I think I could. I think it looks I pretty professional. I could, I, I could probably come up with a very good resume, but I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> So I do want to see Guy for... Whom's Changes Cards <laughs> for Game Nights Live. You were this, uh, you were this one job for the past uh, 15 years. Uh, <laughs> what, what made you leave? Was, uh, so they said I couldn't ponder my orb. Orb, yeah. <laughs> Just not in public. They said, they said my, orb. my orb was too big. My orb, my was, orb too big. was too big. I had to be more chastened while I pondered it. <laughs> I think in 2023 we need to reinvent what the job interview is. I would a hope lot so. of people would love that. A you know, for fun, I had 12 interviews for one job. What? Like, I, did I've they pay you for that time? No, oh, probably That's not. That's messed up. I've like we have friends. We have a lot of friends in the tech industry, yeah. and, and hearing about the the process they go through to get a job just sounds terrifying. I think <laughs> so. With how with how horrible a lot of job interviews are, I think we could make them so much better by just cutting to the chase and every job interview is a battle royale. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Then you at least, then you know, right? Like, either you're gonna, you're gonna get it or you're not, kind of a thing. I think, I think in, in general, every company should have a helicopter, that we should have job interview island. We just need to pick an island yeah. that nobody uses. Maybe it's that one with the insects near Australia that you were talking Lord about. Lord Howe Island. Lord Howe Island <laughs> in Australia. Hell yeah. And we just, people can rent out the island yeah, <laughs> to, then, during yeah. interview season and uh, and just drop the, 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 the people qualifying for it in the island and then whoever lives gets, gets the job. Gets the job. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Or I do like, I, I do like Adam's idea there. Of everything should just be like uh, Takeshi Castle yes, style, style. MXC style uh, challenges. Love it. Did yeah. you see that they made a new season of Takeshi's Castle? Really? Yeah, on Amazon Prime. Is, uh, why did I. Is B. Takeshi alive? <laughs> Barely. Okay. <laughs> so I was like, they, I mean, I, maybe, like, I don't the know. Original, the original Takeshi's Castle in, that they made like MXC out of. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It only ran for three seasons in like 1985. Huh. It's so old. And this is a brand new season of it. And they managed to like ram enough of Beat Takeshi's soul back in his body to do a bit to video uh, to introduce it. But he's not actually like hosting the show because mm -hmm. he's barely ambulatory. Uh, and but it's it's they've made it in they made Takeshi's Castle in New <laughs> season. It's on Amazon Prime. What is the real name? Of, the of show. Kenny Blankenship, <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> like his co-host, because that guy's not on it. I oh, don't okay. Know. Yeah, is that guy still alive? Yeah. And also, if there was only three seasons of Takeshi's Castle, yeah, how many seasons of MXC were there? Uh, I mean, as many as they could get. They made a lot of episodes. The they three made seasons a lot of episodes. made a lot of episodes. Yeah, yeah. It was Man, wild. I, I'm assuming MXC does not hold up. Or, or not doesn't uh, stand the test of time with regards to being politically correct in ways and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd be curious to see. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do an MX rewatch. I think you're overstating how decrepit Takeshi is. He's relatively fine. In the trailer for this thing, he 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 looks dire. He look not like dire, but he just he's just sort of like <laughs> like he's yeah. What's MXC? If you do not know, uh, it is. <laughs> A beautiful Ameri <laughs> Americanized riff of uh, Takeshi's Castle, which was a, I mean, effectively, imagine Mario Party mini games, but people are doing them. Yeah, is the probably the best way to do it. And most extreme elimination challenge, which is MXC, is the Americans took the show and overdubbed the whole thing, giving people new names. But it's completely made up. Yeah, and all fictional. They're all just making it up. Sure. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Oh, Fall Guys. Sorry. We can't talk about Mario yeah, Party. The we're... Zoomers don't know about that. <laughs> Fall Guys. Yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. It, it is Wipeout. It's literally it's wipe Wipeout. It's Wipeout's based on, yeah. based on this. Yeah, and yeah. so uh, the, two, the two hosts, 
uh, were Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano. Yeah. They had uh, the on the site uh, corresponder Guy Ladouche. Yep. And <laughs> and the person who was like in charge of it, who was in charge of telling people to go and, and do the things, which was Captain Tennille. Yep. <laughs> Get it on. Get it on. Oh, was there any God. other major characters on that show? Uh, Guy Ladouche had a series of sidekicks. Um, uh, what was the name? They named one of the. Uh, they named one of the monsters. I can't remember what the monster was. The surf, uh, Kenny's rotating surfboard of death was <laughs> moderated by a chief auto parts. Yeah. There was always somebody named Baba Ganoush yeah. in the shows. Uh, and one of the most, uh, the, I'd say the biggest reoccurring bit was asking what the what what's today's fluid, Kenny? Oh, that was like yeah. what they dropped into, the and it was fluid. some horrid horrid concoction, some sort of terrible runoff. Is it still as trashy as Takeshi's Castle? It is. Yeah, no. Takeshi's oh, yeah. Castle. Oh, yeah. They took the footage yeah. and overdubbed it. Yeah, <laughs> very similar to if you've ever seen Ghost Stories, which is a barely passable anime that then the Americans got a hold of and turned it into something. Amazing. My favorite thing, my favorite thing about it, is that there's only like four people doing voices in MXC, but they still voiced all the. Because like the people will run up before a game and they'll say some, they'll like yeah. say something to camera and then run off and do it. And so they'll they'll run up and be like, I like sprinkles, yeah. and then just like yeah, and then just run, tear yeah. off and be like, ah! <laughs> get absolutely cratered by some sort of ridiculous thing. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Uh... Yeah, so all I, I I would I I think all job interviews should either be a battle royale or a Takeshi's Castle yeah. style situation. I'm mm -hmm. with that. I think it I think it would remove a lot of the ambiguity of will I get the job? Do I have to wait? In fact, I would also say that should be how uh, when you're uh, buying a house in the real estate market mm. is there, is you know like the the house is always sold at the listed price. You do not need to put an offer in. Mm. Uh, but everybody who makes the offer has to fight. Has to fight. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like, right. it, I like Because it. nobody is ever getting anything under asking price these days. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the Kenny Blankenship's actual human was Hideo Higashiko Kubaro, Kubaru, who later would go on to be a member of the Japanese House of Representatives. <laughs> no what? way! Yeah. Wow. That's really impressive. That's amazing. That's cool. Huh. All right. Next. All right. Up next, uh, somebody also asking about orbs. Um, Good times. So I think we can skip. I'll just address it. Forgebold asked, "What's the fastest way to catch up with contemporary orb pondering etiquette?" Mm. Watching us. Yeah. Yep. We're right here. Yeah. Yep. Uh, all right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, just a uh, D man. Seven seven eight seven. Five three zero nine. Asks, "What is the best Halloween costume?" that is fun, unique, and copyright free for legal purposes. Who? What do you, okay, well first off, like, why does it need to be copyright, copyright free? Legal purposes. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> um, hmm, best copyright free Halloween costume. Are we, so what, what determines best? I don't know. Is it like timeless? Because like the I TP, like... the TP mummy is timeless to me. Yeah. Like wrapping your wrapping yeah, yourself wrapping in toilet, yourself paper, on toilet paper. That that's like a that's a timeless. But I wouldn't say that that's the best. I did one when I was a kid. Um, with uh, I was a, a like a stage magician mm. with a top hat, and then I had so I had like a like a suit jacket uh, and a false arm, and then Ooh. a a rabbit puppet. Uh, like poking out of the jacket, right? So it was like, like the oh, that you could like bunny. operate. Yeah, so it was like I was operating the bunny, and I had an arm free. That's that's really fun. And then, yeah, that was that was super fun. That's a really really good idea. A lot of people, not a lot of people, some people are saying that uh, Winnie the Pooh is now in public domain. So Winnie the Pooh. That's I true. so we're talking, but here's the Tricky, thing. Tricky though, because we were, you said you said sure copyright free for, but we're also concerned about legal issues. <laughs> And if you go Winnie the Pooh in it true. on Halloween, <laughs> you are gonna get in so much trouble. <laughs> you can't, you can't Winnie the Pooh it down the street. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, go sexy Winnie the Pooh, but I guess Winnie the Pooh's always. Winnie sexy. the Pooh is sexy. Yeah, like inherent, always, yeah. inherently, Winnie the Pooh is fuckable. Yeah. That's oh, so true. Grimm's just always been like that. Oh yeah, we went, <laughs> we went hard on Halloween costumes when I was when I was a kid. I think there was a period of time where I did too. 
One year, you know that, uh, you know the um, uh, hot water tank insulation that's basically like bubble wrap but with aluminum foil on either side of it? Yeah. Right? We were getting we, our hot water tank replaced and my mom saved a bunch of extra ones of that yeah. and made uh, my sister and I uh, Romulan costumes nice. out of those because it looked like it, those were great. I remember mm. my mom using like dryer vent tubing for like a robot. Yep. Yeah, the bo- the cardboard box classic. The tubing on yeah. arms and legs. Yeah. That's also a timeless one. Yeah, that one's classic. I like mm-hmm. that. I think uh, I would say of the <laughs> slashers that people frequently do, uh, I feel like almost every kid growing up did scream at least once. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Lone Bard says, everything I've heard makes me believe Graham had an extremely nice childhood with a great family. <laughs> uh <laughs> I, I did honestly. Yeah, got, I don't. I don't talk about I've it. I've seen a lot your childhood home. Yeah, it's, I don't talk about it because it feels like bragging, <laughs> and I don't like to. I, I have learned over the years that this is a atypical experience mm. among, among I mean, people I know. I'm trying to like thinking back to like high school. I think it was like our friend group was like, like certain families, like some parents had split up, mm-hmm. but like a, all of us in in high school that we were friends with all had like pretty normal of homes mm. yeah honestly mm-hmm. so i mean you guys are like one removed from theater nerds really mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. like it makes sense that you would go hard oh i'm actually costumes. that yeah that's fair i think of the costumes that i've done like i mean i i did i've done like the the i the horse costume was a lot of fun oh yeah. i was even the ass and i still enjoyed it nice. like <laughs> uh I've done a permutation of that as well, which was the the dog from Toy Story. With oh, a Slink! Slinky. Oh, no way! Yeah, we just had a thing like between us. That's nice. so cool. Yeah, that was a really really fun oh, one. Oh, I dig that. That's a good couple costume too. Nice. It's uh, not a fun one to do at a party though. Let me tell you. Mm. <laughs> uh, one time, I'm trying to. Th- I'm, I'm imagining some. I'm recalling some other costumes. Uh, there was um, uh, my the Borg costume that I wore oh, yeah. at the Star Trek convention. I wore that mm. for Halloween too. With It was like a hair curler as like in a, not a Pringles can, but like some kind of, I think it was an old whiskey, uh, whiskey uh, bottle, oh, yeah. t- cardboard tube. tube. Yep. And then that thing through the end so that when they'd be like, here's the here's the bowl of candy. And I'd be like, do like grabbies with the hair curler. And people would be like, oh, it's a, hey, come here, come here, come on, go and take another one. And so I'd get like extra candy because they were like showing off like that I was doing weird grabby hands with that yeah. thing. So there was that. Um, uh, Kate dressed up like Sister Wendy one year, uh, which people either... It's a phone call from New Brunswick. How, how, how likely do we think that this is real? Hey, we, we heard you talking shit. Let's find out. Did you win something? Nothing. It's silent. Oh, no, just... Hello? Doing great. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Rogers um, wants you back. Uh, the, the Sister Wendy thing was funny because people either got it, uh, they were like, oh, it's Sister Wendy from that show. Or they were like, oh, cool, cool nun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, the, uh, what was, uh, uh, someone mentioned that, yeah, Kate did a t- tube, of, tube of toothpaste. With oh, the, yeah. You mentioned the dryer vent thing, right? Like that, but painted to look like aqua fresh. Yeah. Coming out the ah. top. I remember seeing right? photos of that. Yeah. Won the, won the costume contest with that one. Somebody made a very good point. Uh, a lot of the costumes that I had to do growing up uh, had to be winterproof. Oh, I uh, Because it was, you, when, you, when you went trick-or-treating in, uh, in Alberta, sometimes you were hoofing it through snow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As someone who isn't in the know who is Kate, sorry, that's my younger sister. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you, uh, one, although I, I gotta say, this is not costume related, one of my favorite uh, things we ever did on Halloween uh, James was uh, Christmas Carol. Yeah, I think about that a lot. This is an early that loading, rules. This is an early loading, ready run video. Uh, we all we we dressed up in like winter stuff with like scarves and toques yeah. and like Santa hats and stuff and had little song books. Yeah. And then we'd go around on we went around Halloween and we like rang the doorbell and then they'd open the door and then we all started singing Christmas carols and <laughs> people people really enjoyed it. They yeah. they definitely understood the bit we were doing. I That's really, a lot of fun. That yeah. Was, God, was that like? Season 
three. Something like that. It yeah. was very early. I, I, it's one of my favorite things we've done. It's a lot of fun. I would love to do it again, especially now that we have like, cause the camera work in that video is a little ro rocky. Yeah. Um, it would be really good now. I'd love that. That would be amazing. My favorite uh, part of that was the the one house we went to where uh, she answers the door and we start singing and she's like, this is amazing, wait here. Disappears for like, not that long, like 30 seconds and comes back with candy yeah. canes for yeah. everybody. That was so good. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> so good. Uh, I mean, when it comes to Halloween costumes, people really like topical stuff too. Yeah. Like what is what is the 2023 topical? Barbie and Ken. That's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yep. We're gonna see that this year. Um, I want to see somebody in a Mithrigan costume. There's gonna be some like. Mm. There's gonna be like a Barbenheimer mashup costume. Yeah. Oh, uh, totally. Yeah. Um. What's T O T K stuff? To to. What is T O T K? Huh? The. Orangutan. Oh. That's king. Oh, Tears of the Kingdom. Thank oh. you. Oh. Yeah. Sorry. Zelda yeah, Zelda stuff. Yeah. Oy. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe I don't think people would I, I feel like if I saw it, I wouldn't be like, oh, Tears of the Kingdom. I'd just be like, it's Zelda. Or, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Link. or Link. Right, Link. <laughs> I mean, some somebody somebody is gonna do an amazing Barbenheimer where it's like half Ken, yeah. half uh uh, Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nicole and I were thinking this year of doing um, uh, Vecna and the Demogorgon from Stranger oh, Things. Yeah. Yeah. This year. yeah. Oh, Lady Lockwood. Yes. People. I'm definitely going to see some couples costumes of DJ Crazy Times and Bijana Electronica. Oh, is that the the uh, Planet oh, of the Base? Yeah. 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 I'm def definitely going to see some of that. There has been discussion about making that the the. The full song dance party. This year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yet, though. We're, we're, we've pitched a couple ideas. Uh, yeah, I could see Baldur's Gate three my costumes. Guy. <laughs> Six. I'm wanting more. <laughs> Tell the world. Stop, Stop the, the war. war. <laughs> um, what else? Uh, if you don't know what Planet of the Base is, just Google it. It's yeah. Nicole didn't know what it was. It's very good. Yeah, never heard it. Yeah, I don't think, I think like those are kind of the most like, like the aesthetic yeah. right, the ones that you could do. Someone, I, I saw someone, I don't mind, I don't mind talking about this. I saw someone be like, someone's going to do something with like the, with Trump's mugshot. I don't understand what, it's, it's just a picture of him. Yeah. There's nothing remotely interesting or notable about the photo. It's just like is the the thing that you just dress up like him but then also you put like a frame a frame to the frame. front yeah you just yeah. invented the costume like scallop <laughs> yeah. it's like yeah. uh, it i work. guess and look hate the guy but he kind of just owned it and immediately started selling merch with it so if well, everyone knew we would yeah, yeah exactly and it's just like well you know what well well played i suppose I yes guess. yeah good job yeah go to jail <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, right. I forgot that Good Omen Season 2 came out, so yeah, we could see some Azira film. Yeah, Ooh, see some of that ones. yes, please. Yeah. 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 There's, I mean, there's. I think there's a lot of, like, very topical kind of stuff here, and that's usually, I think, what people end up doing as well. So, yeah, something like that, I guess. Oh, go. but they said copyright free. Yeah, so none of those things. <laughs> <laughs> go back to the first half. Yeah, of yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, toilet paper mummy. Yeah, there you go. Next question. Next, Next question. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about the overlay right now, by the way, is nobody knows when that's going to tick up to ten Billy Mars. That's true. I, we don't know. It's not like it's a. It's not a. It, there's no nowhere that's going to tell us when it's going to tick over. I'm yeah, there's no excited. indicator. I want to see it tick over. All right. Let's see if we've got one more that we can do here. Um, hey, we've we've made it three-fifths of the way through our show. Sweet. We're doing it. We're actively morning showing. I think if we, I think if we had had the wherewithal, if I hadn't been laid out for a week, if, and if we'd had the wherewithal to come up with a few more segments, I think we'd really be nailing morning show, morning show quality stuff. Mm -hmm. I think we're doing a great job. I think we're doing great. As a, as a pilot episode, I think we've shown that we can just talk about nothing. Midgard, welcome back for 113 months. Thank you so much. I'm so full of salt. 
Yeah, I think that's doing me in too. All right, there's the explanation. Explanation about the dilly bar is in chat if you want to know what's going on. Okay, the final question. We'll talk about it more after the next question. Uh, comes from uh, username. Uh, let me see if I can get this one right. Cram underscore burger. Doesn't, doesn't sound does, real. Does that sound, doesn't, doesn't sound like a real name. name. They might they might be new. Yeah. Um, saying. I keep getting bullied on the internet, mm -hmm. and I'm starting to worry that it's become a bit of a kink thing for me. Uh -huh. How do I convince my partner to become a streamer who <laughs> yells at me to shut up whenever I'm in their chat? This is absolutely astonishing reverse psychology. <laughs> yes. Uh, That's amazing. Try to try to get out there that Cranberger is somehow getting off on the abuse <laughs> yeah. that you so, so that you stop? Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. Unfortunately, yeah. it's patently transparent. Yes, yeah. and also I enjoy getting you off. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you used to only say that to me. <laughs> now well, you started pondering your orb in public. <laughs> Plus I'm hanging out with BC Muff too often. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh great. Callback Central. Yeah. <laughs> how do, so, I mean, okay, diving into the thick of this, you're basically asking how do you get somebody to become a Twitch streamer? Because at the end of the day, most, if not all, Twitch streamers will yell at their chat. Oh, yeah. Right? So that's just going to happen. So how do you get your partner who may or may... Let's say, let's say in this scenario, hypothetically, that they do not know anything about Twitch. Just really quickly, Mr. Gibberish, thank you so much for the Whoa. 50 bomb. What the? Oh, sorry, I saw 50. the 500. 50 is amazing. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. the 500 number and I went, <laughs> did we had a 500 gift subs? That's, yeah, that's, that, that's astonishing. Thank wow. you so much, Gibberish. I appreciate it. Sorry, Ben, go ahead. No, no, like, how do you get yeah. somebody who knows nothing about Twitch mm -hmm. to become a Twitch streamer? God, I don't even know. Show them this. Do either of you want uh, actual coffee from the parsonage? Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, I think I'm okay too, okay. actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, realistically, it could be... What the... Do you want just like a pile of salt? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. No, that's just hanging out in our garbage can. Realistically, uh, they, don't, they don't even have to play video games. Like, we're showcasing that you can do anything on Twitch now. It's true. Yeah. You really can. <sighs> it's, it's still... It's, I, I, I consider this, you know, I'm, I'm pleased with this, that there's, there's no one else on Twitch doing something like, like Loading Ready Live. No. Right? Oh, like yeah, there's, no. There's, 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 we're, we're out here. <laughs> we're doing, we're doing new and interesting things on Twitch. I, I'm pleased of that. Actually, wait one sec. Can you pass me the stream deck? Yep. Look, where else but loading ready run are you gonna get content like this? Toilet! Thank you. You can do whatever. Like if they do I mean, if they if they enjoy a thing, they can monetize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do they like sitting in hot tubs? You can do that here. Hop you in a sure hot tub. Can. To be fair, there are a few things you can't do here. You can't stream online gambling. But people do. People do. Or <laughs> so they're just, good. Or they went to kick. Yeah. Uh, what else can't you do? I mean, obviously you can't do like anything like, you can't do porn or anything like but that. People but people do. So you're good? Yeah. <laughs> just avoid, you know, just make sure you avoid um, people with power. Yeah. <laughs> Look out for those wrenches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Has the, has the, has the hot tub meta cooled off? Oh, yeah. Okay. I see what you did there. Uh, and also, Thank you. yeah, in but a, that was a legitimate question. in a very big way. Yeah, okay. it's not as popular, but people it still, still do exists. it, and people still get thousands of viewers for it. Oh yeah, but it's definitely nowhere mm -hmm. near as big. It, it had like it's like yeah, licking meta is what's like, in right now. Beg your pardon? Yeah. So, uh, you know, <laughs> have you ever watched an ASMR video? A little. So there's microphones. Yeah, yeah. That are like. You know, I, it's like a bar, and they've got ears, the ears on either yeah. side. Like, yeah, like actually ear-shaped things. Yeah, yeah and I've then they're like yeah. licking in the. Ear. I can't. Oh, I I no. I watch ASMR from time to time. Mm -hmm. I but I watch like mostly like tapping and whispering and stuff like that. I cannot deal with the mouth sound. Yes, ASMR. I'm the same way. So I watch it's, ASMR. I'd say can't, can't every it. every other day or so. Yeah, I watch um, a lot of it, but can't. but mouth sound mouth sounds are also really funny to me because it is like. 
it's the thing that people make fun of yes. when they're talking about ASMR. Yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. time for ASMR video. But yeah, the it's sound like, of your mouth makes when it opens. Yeah. <sighs> Does Zoomers not know how to look for porn anymore? Nobody taught them. <laughs> uh, we also, to, when it's like so we had easily to be efficient at it because it downloaded so slowly. Yeah. Yes, you had to, one image. You had to know. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it coming out of the fax machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's how images load. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. In fact, I would, I, I would say that if, if they're becoming a Twitch streamer so that they can purely degrade you for kink-related reasons... They can do whatever they want. Then they are solid on Twitch. There's nothing that they can't do. And if they want to make mouth noises into ear-shaped microphones... You know, I kind of just want to get an ear-shaped microphone for The Office and use the, that as the office microphones. <laughs> oh, like replace yeah. the two waves in Studio A hey, with just these fucking ears. <laughs> Bring them in on the arm. <laughs> one, person's, one person's on one of the channels. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Uh, just right into it. They are oh, very no. expensive. Oh yeah. yeah. There's ones too that are uh, full head. Yeah. It's the whole head. Yes. A lot of that's for, that, the head ones are a lot for um, um, headphone testing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We've bought more cursed things for the office. Oh, absolutely. It's yeah. like this, this washlet. Head, head-shaped microphone. That's not Ni- cursed. $90 worth of McDonald's. That, that's cursed. <laughs> yeah. Have you taken the washlet for a spin yet? No. I haven't yet, no. Got, okay, a reminder. Because this was something Beach had to stress. Yeah, it doesn't do anything unless you actively tell it. To yeah, you. yeah. So it's well, not gonna it's not gonna leap out at you. Well, it did. So oh, sorry. I should stress. Uh, just before I I did I did number ones uh-huh. in there, and I sat down, uh, and it does it does it does wash the bowl. It makes a noise. Yeah, and the seat is heated. Yep, which I don't love. Ah, uh-huh. and you then turn it down. And then, uh, and yeah, and then it like washes the bowl and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I don't want the seat to be warm. You can, you can turn it down. Yeah. <laughs> but does it, is it instant? I don't know. Mm. I don't mind the warm seat. This is why we have, we, this, this is a nice thing. We have two bathrooms, right? Now you have. I might just use secret bathroom. You just have secret bathroom where there's no water. I do, I do want to, I do want to get a, a, like a water B, jet. I did, I, I think Beach actually said that if there is not enough people actually enjoying it, he might move it to secret bathroom. Because that <laughs> secret bathroom is the least used, the lesser of the used I'm, I'm excited, no, like I, I want to do, I think, I think, no, real talk, the only thing, the only thing that was actually like, ugh, was, was, was the heated seat portion. Mm-hmm. Is it because it feels like someone just got up? Yes, yeah. 100%. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, you can, you can. I'm excited to, to welcome the next, our three guests for uh, the next PPR. See how they, they, mm, they yeah. do it. Yeah, I would say that, if I if the heated seat was at my house, maybe I wouldn't mind as much. Yes, but because matter. this is a public heated toilet seat, that yeah. that that's what that that that's the that's the hitch. Yeah, for me, that's fair. Fair enough. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So there's another thing that they could do on Twitch is uh, toilet seat reviews, which I feel like would so would go I'll, into another kink. I'll tell you this, actually, <laughs> I do find because I also. Um, use the bathroom once but i didn't use the actual washlet i did find the seat more comfortable than what was there before yes very i would yeah, agree there that's yeah. nice i miss um uh the old toilet at um mark five that was a good toilet comfy good ergonomics we couldn't have just brought the whole toilet no we, we couldn't tried. we tried really yeah it was because the uh because it's the it, it, it was a Toto, so it was bought originally f- like six years ago, seven years ago. Beach bought it with the intent of installing a washlet on it, so he got the one that was yeah. like just Im- immediately compatible. So the idea was we were going to bring it here, and then there was some like pretty boring toilets here. We just put them back because the landlord of the old place did, did not care, didn't notice or give a shit. Yeah, uh, and so the plumber went down to, to Moonbase Mark V and was like, "All right, let's get this toilet out of here." And then looked at it for a few minutes and was like, "Whoever installed this did it 
in a weird way. Yeah. And what I don't know exactly what the problem was because I wasn't there, but as I understand it, it would have been like it, it, it impossible been, and or dangerous to remove. It would have been uh, quite destructive to yeah. remove it. Wow. Um, and that was the breaking point. So we just had to be like, never mind. It's just going to stay. Yep. Which is too bad. Yeah, but we brought our dishwasher. Yes, okay. we did bring the dishwasher. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, just for anybody who hasn't uh, watched for a little while, uh, the uh, somebody's like, oh, I thought somebody like gifted 5,000 subs. No. So the number in the corner right now, uh, Mordor is bad, I agree. Thank you for gifting five subs. Uh, I really appreciate that. But it um, is bad. So that number, those numbers up there are for the entire run so far. So we've gotten... 5,314 subs. Uh, Woogly, welcome back for 90 months. Thank you so much. Um, in the last however many days we've been doing this, and then the bits are on the end. That's how many bits we've got in total. And then the dilly bar count in the middle, it's over here, is the new stretch goal. And so the deal there is uh, I, I personally said I would supply one dilly bar uh, for the finale because, you know, it's me. I got to bring ice cream for people. Uh, but they have to split a dilly bar. If you don't know what a dilly bar is, it's a item that you can get from Dairy Queen. If you don't know what Dairy Queen is, it's a fast food chain that sells ice cream, among other things. Uh, it's literally just like a puck of, of ice cream and then dipped in chocolate. Um, so I'm going to bring one. But for a stretch goal, I said that if we get, for every 150 subs we get, or 52 and a half thousand bits... And not like from one person, like that's a collective thing. Like for instance, you can see we have 258,000 bits, so that would have technically counted for what, like four or five dilly bars. Um, uh, so the way you phrased that made me think that it was like not one person getting these multiples of dilly bars. <laughs> yes. Like they're like, it's like, well, we've designated Adam as the dilly bar guy, and he's just like, no, please yeah. stop giving subs. Yeah. <laughs> I can't so, eat more. 150, 150 subs or 52 and a half, 52,500, yeah, 52 and a half thousand bits, which is it, I, that number because it's the equivalent, basically. Mm. It's this, both are the same in terms of, Money. of monies. Um, and so for every time we hit that, uh, I'll bring an additional dilly bar. So you can see right now that since we hit our cap 30 hours in back on Saturday afternoon, uh, we have accumulated enough bits and subs from you wonderful people that there are nine additional dilly bars. So there will be 10 dilly bars right now uh, hanging out for people to share uh, at the finale. And, and um, at some point, it should tick up to 10 additional dilly bars. Um, we don't actually know when that is. <laughs> I, I don't know when that'll happen. Uh, but thanks to, uh, Sino, Cinnamon, I think. You just gifted some subs. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on there. Mm -hmm. For anybody who, um, didn't, didn't know. Because for a while, for the first couple days, the sub notifier was kind of, all over the place depending on what studio we were in and what time of day it was so we hadn't actually run it for this long it reset yeah well day. so the thing is is that it's meant to reset every day but if the obs scene isn't refreshed it will actually just keep counting so there was points yesterday where you'd cut from a live studio c shot to the um to the to the studio a or even the you know break screen and they'd be different numbers because mm. they are not all synced across which is kind of weird so mm. uh but paul uh fixed that last night so uh good shout out to paul uh, ryson thanks so much for gifting 10 subs appreciate it <laughs> lord hosk asks if i cancel and refund my sub because i'm dissatisfied with my experience do you take away a dilly bar <laughs> i'm gonna li i'm not gonna lie i Stop paying attention after you said Lord Haas asks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, During the normal stream schedule, does it reset per show or per day? Per day. Per day. Yeah. Per day. Yeah. And the thing is, is it will reset every time you load a new scene in OBS. So, like, if you, if, for instance, on a Tuesday, talking sim into Let's Know, um, it doesn't matter. Um, 
it'll just keep going. But then when the next person on Wednesday reloads a new scene, it will update for the new day. <laughs> Y'all are punchy this morning. Look, yeah, man. We were up early. I got up at 5.30. We got... Fight me. We got a bunch of McDonald's in our bellies. You got up earlier than 5.30, didn't you? How the hell did you get here so fast? <laughs> yeah. No, I got up a quarter after. Okay. Yeah. I got up a quarter after, stumbled around my house in darkness so I didn't wake anybody else up. Mm -hmm. And then uh, called a cab. 40 minutes until the most... Oh, hey, it's Tuesday. I've definitely lost track of what day it is. It's Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea what day it is. Oh. Um... So we've got this for live? another... You're not live in the room when you talk. I heard you through the door, but... Oh, you can hear me out there? Oh, wait, no. A little bit. I can hear you. Yeah. So we're good. So we're going from this. Next, that, next thing that ha is happening today is Adam, Beach and Paul are going to be doing a Choose Your Own Adventure. Nice. And then Kathleen's coming in and doing an episode of Now Kiss. Mm -hmm. Jordan's going to sit in with her for that. Nice. And then after that, we've got, I believe, Ben... Ian, Corey, and Jacob playing a four-player game of uh, Warhammer 40,000 Kill Team. I'm going to be mm -hmm. so tired. And then mm -hmm. you should go have a nap. <laughs> I'm doing this show, but maybe I'll think about it. You well, got, you got six after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you've got six hours, right? Yeah. So we'll, like the, right after we're done this, we'll, help, we'll get set up for your thing, and then you can go have a nap. When we're done, I've got to set up tonight's watch-along. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then... Oh. And then after... Wonderful mercies, thank nice. you. And then after Kill Team... Thank you, Matt. Uh, it's uh, New Day Tuesday. Yeah. Another old school show coming in. Corey is playing a game called War Groove 2. I don't know anything about it, other than I bought it yesterday. <laughs> Have we dug so out the old New Day Tuesday opening yet? Uh, I don't know. We should. I should ask Paul. Same with Now Kiss. Yeah. Because both of those do have the old... Uh, has TBD interest. with Graham been decided? Well, so now it's TBD with Graham and Paul. It's GPLP. It's the Graham and Paul Let's Play. We don't know what game we're playing yet. Mr. Gibberish, 50 gifted subs. Wait, another wow. one? Wow. Yo. Another? Wait, this is in, in addition to the 50 gifted subs that that was not from Mr. Gibberish earlier? No, that was, no. That was someone else? Yeah, that was a different, I can't remember even who it was now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap. Thank you so much, Mr. Gibberish. That's amazing. Um... And then, oh, so you said you have to get the uh, the watch along ready for tonight? Yep. Do you have the thing for Friday ready? <laughs> this is a lot like Graham asking if he got done his homework. An anonymous user is just gifting 50 subs. Wow. The, the thing hell? for Friday. Friday afternoon during the finale, it's something you have to edit. Oh, that. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> Uh, you got a couple days. When am I going to have time to do that? Let's see. Later today, I'm going home to yeah, do that. Maybe, no, yeah, tomorrow's, maybe the, tomorrow's Magic tomorrow's Day. Tomorrow's Magic Day. Tomorrow's Magic Day. So maybe this afternoon? Uh, it's either this afternoon or... You're only on... You're I'm, on, I'm you're, not around for much of board game day. So it's yeah. either this afternoon or Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Sounds to me like it's Thursday afternoon's problem. Oh, <laughs> uh, ben, can you refresh the notifier, please? Yeah. Sounds like when you do that. What? When you do what? When he refreshes the notifier of the Dilly Bar counter. Ah! It's at 11. <laughs> We're at 11. We went right past 10. There is a. Paul, Paul just typed in chat. Small issue with the Dilly Bar count not updating. Please refresh the notifier. <laughs> 11 Dilly Bars! Wow. I was wondering, because I was like. It probably should have gone up by now because in the last couple minutes or last 20 minutes, three people have gifted 50 subs, which is the, th the threshold for another one. So I was going to message you, Paul, but you're on it. Thank you. Wow, I had one sip of latte and my body reacted. We Excuse should me, um, make sure to refresh all the notifiers. Thank you, everybody, so much. We're up to 11 Dilly Bars. Th 12. 12 Dilly Bars. W. Livy, thanks for the thousand bits. Oh. All right, I set up the news stories. Oh, yay, yeah, yeah, So we yeah. can get, I, I'll probably do it in there because I've got pictures. Cool. Which I think will be nice to add along to it. Yeah. <laughs> 11 dilly bars per person? No, 11 dilly bars total. And they ha it's 11 plus 1, so it's 12. And they all have to share. 
I don't know how many people are going to be at the finale. So, question. Yeah. If, let's say hypothetically, subs didn't come in, and you got like six, or like seven, like a very awkward number that like is not a box. Yeah. But then you have to buy them like individually. Mm -hmm. What's the most inconvenient number that they could have stopped at? I think boxes are... They're like six, right? No, I think they come in bigger, I think they're eight. Oh, okay. Or maybe they come in a 12 pack. I don't know. If they come in eights, six feels like it'd be the most annoying number. Yeah. Or seven, I guess. Whatever's the one number I down mean, from the well, box. I mean, is. basically, whatever is, is if I had, if we only gotten six and I had to buy eight, I would have just thrown out the other two extra ones. You just, <laughs> you didn't earn these, yeah, garbage. Smash. Yeah, this is your fault. You could have brought them home to Ashley. She didn't deserve them either. <laughs> bah! <sighs> <sighs> the most inconvenient would be a million. Exactly a million? You don't think it would be, uh, you don't think it'd be equally as annoying to get 999,999? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that would also suck. Just like, just I don't think the one saying that this is a. In fact, I th I would say I bought a million dilly bars would be less annoying than saying that I bought nine, you know, nine hundred thousand nine hundred ninety nine. I mean, I will say Ashley was here for three hours, so she deserves. She gets a dilly bar. Yeah, I, I didn't even realize she started the the Lego yeah, stream she with came you. Up with me, yeah, yeah. She was like, "Are you gonna just be by yourself?" And I'm like, "Probably." And mm -hmm. she's like, "All right, I'll come in." Did you like purposely pick a lot of these like morning slots? Uh, well, I took I I took them because I know I can. Mm. I have four morning slots. Wow, yeah. Because I was here Saturday, Monday, today, Friday. This is the awkward time. So this this is the awkward one for me because it was like I was here till ten. Yeah. So I got home at like eleven thirty last night. Came back here for and got here around five. Yeah. And then I got to stay here all day because we're doing the thing in the afternoon. And then go home, and then come back here in the morning. <laughs> uh, the I things take, we do for I this can, subathon. I can take you home after this if you want. Back to my place? Yeah. Like, we could set up real quick for... Setting up for, for the game shouldn't take long. Maybe. At least get the, at least get the table swapped out. And then yeah. I can take you home, and you can be home for a few hours, and then come back later. Yeah. Because you don't need to be here all day. Well, we were saying take a nap, and I was like... <laughs> where because <laughs> our nap couch is this yeah you can move this back nobody's in here all day right like, really was, oh no that's a lie they're in here next what what are they doing after this it's the choose your own adventure oh so you we can't actually even set up no oh, so i just gotta go home so you should just go home for a few hours and come back later that makes sense and i'll just take you and graham home after this <gasps> yay um wasn't there a prop room cut we got rid of it it was the, water damage. The roof leaked onto it, yeah. and it had a giant brown spot. Yeah. So this couch, the sectional is actually in actually kind of a great napping area. Mm -hmm. It's like tucked away in the back, and it works quite well for it. In but... fact, most of the time when people are on this couch and somebody walks into Studio C, the person walking into Studio C gets scared yeah. and surprised if that person interacts with them because yeah. they just don't expect somebody else to be in here. Um, we should get a bed, but I don't know where it would go. Yeah. What if we get like a sunbed for our roof? Oh, because we, have we, we have we shown off in some way our little rooftop patio thing? Very briefly during the first loading ready live when we did the um, uh, find your phone. Oh, okay, somebody hid, went up there with a I hid, hid, or? Uh, That's where I hid Alex's phone. Oh, on the roof. Yeah, yeah. we're thinking about for Desert Bus trying to figure out a way to incorporate it into our camera setup. It's definitely, I mean, it's doable. We just have to run a cable up there. We also just need to make sure we don't dox ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it would have to be like interior on it. Yeah. Uh, he didn't find it immediately. Alex found it quickly, but not immediately. I mm -hmm. did a pretty good job. Did you see what I did for that? Were you here? You weren't here no. for that one, right? No. I took um, a one of the carpet tiles that's left over that's in the cold storage. No way, that's I rude took, I already. took a carpet tile and a uh, XLR cord, and I took them upstairs to the patio, <laughs> put them down, made it look like it was sitting on the floor somewhere. Yeah. Um, but he noticed the, the flashing on the side of the roof, and he was like, it's that. And I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Almost the perfect bait and switch. Yeah. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's a magic day, right? Tuesday? No. No, Wednesday. Wednesday is Magic Day. Yeah, so that's tomorrow. 
Is today Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Today. I thought it was Monday. No, it's Tuesday. We literally just had this conversation. We're almost, we're, we're getting there. Yeah. Only three days left of this, <sighs> actually. Now that Graham's talking about it, I have to go to the bathroom, but I don't want to leave you solo. It's fine. Go All right, bathroom. James. I'll just keep going over what's coming up. Okay. So people know what's coming up. So, yeah, so today we've gone over tomorrow. Tomorrow morning is Kathleen. Uh, rocking, rocking the morning shift solo. She has, I think she has the same time slot that we have today. So she's going to be playing. I think she's going to kick things off with some Marvel snap first thing, uh, for a little bit. And then she's going to shift over to, uh, Kathleen's Island adventure, which if you don't know what that is, uh, it's, uh, Kathleen touring animal crossing new horizon islands. So, uh, that should be, that should be a lot of fun. And then tomorrow afternoon, or starting at 11 tomorrow until 8 p.m. is uh, Magic Day. Magic Day. And so we're doing beat. So we're doing a six-player Beach Lander tournament to start. Beach Lander. Um, it is Beach uh, uh, as as level five super judge and table friend for the whole show. And it's um, uh, I can I mean hell I'll tell you the matches because why not. Um, and the way we're going to do this is I think what we're going to do is every time two people sit down to play, you're also going to see their deck build because Beachlander deck builds don't take very long. Um, also, I um, I went through and scanned all the, the all six packs yesterday and mm. um, boy, are they Beachlander packs. <laughs> I love them. They're so good. Um... Who were our matchups tomorrow? There it is. So it's uh, Graham versus Alex in round one. Yo. Uh, round two is Adam versus Ben. And round three is Nelson versus Wheeler. Those are some some classic, uh, classic lure matchups, Good I think. Stuff. Oh, uh, Programmer Man asks, can you explain Beach Lander for those who missed this? So yeah. this is the third time we've done beach lander i think so yeah yeah so it's highlander which is to say 100 card singleton no commanders it's we're playing it's it's canadian highlander but it's sealed canadian highlander that you build out of these these are the 100 card dollar store repacks of random random cards there's 100 cards in there yep and you're making a 100 card deck so all you can really do is remove cards and add land. So you've got to pare down from 100 to, I guess it's like 60 something? Yep. Yeah. And I'll tell you right now, every pack has a few doubles, which I thought was interesting. Sick. Yep. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And then in the afternoon, depending on how long Beachlander takes, um, we're either going to um, take a bit of a break between our two paper events and do some arena stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but if Beach Lander takes a longer time than we expect, which I, I don't think it will, um, we're gonna be drafting this box, the sealed box of original Innistrad. Triple ISD. I don't know where this came from. There's no name on it. Cool. But it just appeared. Yeah. But uh, when you, you know, need it, when you need it most, a but, box of triple Innistrad will. Appear. But it's like it's you know it's a special occasion. It's the 20th anniversary. I won't lie. Somebody recently pointed out that you can now do a full eight-person collector booster draft, mm -hmm. minus chaos. With uh, every pack, is yeah, different. minus Infinity actually. Right. Um, so it's a more sort of traditional Magic experience. Um, wasn't able to get that together. Also, we only have six people, and I'd rather actually save it for the full eight. Um, so I think some point we're going to do that. The other option is it over here? Hold on. Is I'm going to. Can I? Can I change this calendar? I'm going to try and update TBD with Graham to actually be. No, I can't change this. Um, I can't which, edit. which calendar? Oh wait. Oh, I can. I'm changing the name. The public facing. On Google. Uh, actually, is this public facing or is this internal? I don't know. All right, I'm going to try and change it to Grandma Paul. Let's I mean, play. I can change the public Google one to Grandma Paul. What calendar is it? Does it say? Loading ready live stream. That's public. Cool. Bip. There. We'll, we'll let that propagate. Somebody was asking. James could edit it on Discord too. Yeah, but he won't. 
Oh, that's oh on the Discord. Which there's so many places the schedule is published now. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Angel says Collector Booster Limited is my new favorite format. It's like a super low powered cube. <laughs> so yeah, that's something that someone someone actually dared us to do that. On, yeah. on the Loading Ready Run subreddit. Yes, yeah. which is which is unofficial, but I do I do pop in there from time to time, and I was like. Dang, that actually really does seem like something we should do someday. <laughs> yeah. So. No promises on timeline. Obviously, we some of those collector boosties ain't cheap. But, uh, yeah, I think I'll... Um, I, I would like to do that. I just... Yeah, I don't know when. Yeah. Um, it is a little awkward because we are very quickly going to approach the point where... It's, it's frustrating because this is actually the perfect time to do it. Because in a week, later this week, we'll be up to an additional pack with Doctor mm -hmm. Who. And then in like four weeks, we're going to be up to another pack with Ixalan. So this is kind of the perfect time to do it because it's like the only time when the only available packs for this fit perfectly. Like and that's it's with a perfect amount. That's including Wild Devil Drain and not including Infinity. Correct. Because we don't. We don't want to have the acorn stuff. In yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It, 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 yeah it, it, Wilds, of, Wilds of Eldrain was the final one we needed. Yeah, that makes sense. Is Doctor Who getting booster pack? Doctor Who's getting collector booster pack. Collector packs. booster It's packs. a little weird. It gets... It is only commander decks. By the way, next episode of Elder Dragon Social Club. Yeah. We've already recorded it. It is forthcoming. Um, Matt's working on it right now. Matt actually may be working on it right now. Right now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's why he's here. So, uh, it's a uh, uh, with plane chase. Oh yeah, I mean it's they did it's part of Doctor Who. It's they come with the planes. You got to do them. Um, it's uh... right, <laughs> right, Mangle Pixel. Oh right, graphics. Right, I did ask you for a thing. Yeah, um, it's uh, it. I, th I I think it's one of the one of the best episodes we've recorded. It was a absolute blast to actually record. Uh, it was also, uh, I mean, I'm going to say this now, um, the, it's, <laughs> I love these decks, because of course I love Doctor Who, and also that these are very interesting, like, decks with a lot going on. Mm -hmm. These are not for beginners. No, they are not. These are some of yeah. the most complicated commander decks I have ever seen. <laughs> yep. Episode of what? Elder Dragon Social Club, our commander gameplay show. Our which, if you commander. haven't seen it, please check it out on LRRMTG on YouTube. It's, uh, I think it's a particularly good commander show. It's mostly with pre-cons, because the point is the gameplay and the table talk, and not necessarily showing off cool decks with sick combos or whatever. It's, uh, uh, it's a niche, I admit, but I think it, I, I think it's, I think it's one of the stronger commander shows. But then I'm extremely biased. Doctor Who TTC just dropped? Yeah. Yeah, that yesterday. was this. Is it Monday? It's uh, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yesterday. It was yesterday's episode. Yeah. Crap, we need to record the next episode. Da 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 da. Wait, what? Oh, do we not have a TTC in the bank? No. The next one's supposed to, it's supposed to be um, the nickname. Oh, fart. Oh, that might be a little late. <laughs> yeah, we can put it up later next week. That's fine. I said one of. That's what I love actually is like. Actually, did it. Uh, I actually I I love that. Most of the commander shows. Have their niche and do it really well, and they're different, and that's great. Yeah, look at that. Speaking of magic content, I was finally on Shivan's podcast. Yeah, I saw that just landed. Yeah, it came up 37 minutes ago. Cool. So you can go listen to me talk about all sorts of loading ready run stuff. Apparently Prof was asked with regards to shuffle up and play if he would do a thing with pre-cons, and he's like, no, go watch Old Dragon Social Club. Yeah. I, yeah. I appreciate that. Shuffle up and play is a great show. All right, you two, you want to do some weird news? Oh, bring it. 
All right, we got a couple articles here that I discovered. Okay. <clears throat> All right, this one comes from NPR. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Why is... There we go. Sorry, everyone. Oh, hey. Yeah. We were listening to Ben, but you couldn't hear him, yeah. probably. There we go. Uh, this is not feed dump, nor will it end up turning into that. But uh, I, f- I figured we could goof on these. Uh, all right. Ride passengers rescued after dangling upside down 75 feet up for half an hour. Oh. A Canadian amusement park turned into nightmare fuel on Sunday after stopping suddenly, suspending passengers upside down 75 feet above the ground for nearly 30 minutes. Oh, that's why I don't ride upside down roller coasters. I don't understand how that could even be possible. Like, I I understand the physics of it. I don't understand how... I don't understand the physics of it. I don't understand how any roller coaster could exist in today's age, uh... And have even the the zero point one percent chance that this could happen. Like it feels like there should just be a release that could be initiated at any point. This was a, <laughs> to be able to get them the hell out of that. This wasn't a roller coaster. No. What is this? No. So. Uh, oh, it wasn't a. Ro- oh, okay. It was not it, the lumberjack ride, located at Canada's Wonderland theme park in Vaughan, Ontario. Uh huh. Contains two hydraulic arms shaped like axes that swing back and forth, occasionally propelling themselves into a full 360 oh, degree swing. I, we've had that at the, the Skymaster. Yeah, it's here like is a, Sky a photo Master. of. Yeah, uh, that's yeah, that's the sky. That's the Skymaster. So it got stuck like that. It got for stuck 30, like that for thirty like, minutes. It, okay, it, I my how? original statement stands. Yeah. Like how? How could that ride exist? And operate without the ability that if this ever happened, it couldn't immediately be fixed. <laughs> so a, Canada, a, a Wonderland spokesperson did not disclose the cause of the ride's abrupt stop, but they did say the maintenance team was able to respond quickly. 30 minutes is not quickly! <laughs> wow. All passengers uh, were back on the ground by 11.05. Uh, the park said two people were treated for chest pain before being released. Theme park crowds watched as the rescue unfolded, capturing the dangling passengers crying for help in videos shared all over TikTok. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> in, in some clips, the park staff can be heard through a megaphone asking, is everyone doing okay up there? The crowd of riders <laughs> responding, no, in near unison. <laughs> <laughs> of course we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we be okay? God. Oh my God. So I remember that used to, I'd never been, but I remember from t- ads on TV when I was a kid, it used to be Paramount Canada's Wonderland. Yeah. And I remember, because in part of the ads, they had like Klingons walking around, because of course <laughs> it was Paramount, right? So they were like Star Trek. But now it's just Canada's Wonderland. Yep. Do you want to hear the best? Or, I hadn't read the full article. Of course okay. I want to hear the best part. So first off, the ride is, was 11 years old, sure. which I love how they describe the 11 year old. <laughs> Oh, no, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. There was an 11-year-old on the ride. Oh, oh. no. The, so they interviewed uh, Spencer Parkhouse, an 11-year-old, who said once the rescue had to com- what had commenced, the ride still had to cycle through the rest of its rotation and ride before they were evacuated. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> No. They couldn't just lower it. No. Imagine, yeah. Imagine if they got stuck a oh, second. Oh no! Time. Oh my god! Oh man! Oh, that's miserable. <laughs> Apparently, this incident is the latest in a string of roller coaster malfunctions that have made national headlines in the last few months. <laughs> okay. What are you saying? It's a. a- a pandemic it, of it, roller coaster yeah, problems? Yeah, an <laughs> epidemic. In, in July, nine passengers of the ice oscillating fireball at a Wisconsin festival were stuck upside down for several hours. Oh, my God. Several hours. That's, that's like... That's getting into, that's like... That's incredibly dangerous. Yeah, that's yeah. getting into, like, yeah. Jeez. I am so surprised that rides like this can still... The fact that it had to finish its <laughs> loops <laughs> gets me. They're like, there's nothing that's, else they can do about that's it. That's messed up. Wow. Oh, man. Okay. 
That was great. All right. <laughs> Moving on <laughs> straight to the next one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all right. This one is, this one caught my attention. Bree, thanks for the sub. People might have seen this in the news a little bit. Uh, we're going, we, it, I mean, it wouldn't be a weird no news story without everybody's favorite superhero. Uh-oh. It's Florida Man. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Man rescued in all, <laughs> Florida Man rescued in all capitals again, <laughs> end capitals, while attempting to cross Atlantic in floating hamster wheel. <laughs> cross the Atlantic? The Atlantic. Uh, bro, do you not realize how big the ocean is? <laughs> so, in a ha by hamster wheel, do they mean like a zorb? Uh, yeah, kinda. I've got a picture here. We'll uh, we'll get up to it. There's no way you can actually get that to go quickly no. enough to counteract like. <laughs> Idle force. I like how several people in chat have been like, oh yeah, the Zorb guy. Yeah, well, I assume that also has to do with Foxmar is uh, like, look, I can explain. Yeah. Yeah. Foxmar, I know you want to get out of there. This is not the yeah, way. Yeah, this is not the way to do it, Foxmar. <laughs> well, Foxmar, so, please. This, this Florida man ultra marathoner and peace activist is facing felony charges oh. after allegedly attempting to cross or run across the Atlantic in a homemade hamster wheel. And what authorities said was... <laughs> At least his fourth attempt. <laughs> Wait, who, what are they charging this guy with? <laughs> not enough. Well, uh, whatever, the, whatever they're charging him is not enough. But yeah, I don't. I, I assume like trying to cross like borders or something like that. Or I guess surely you just take your passport and go through yeah. immigration on the other side. Yeah, exactly. Or is the international water right? That's yeah. a thing. <laughs> Ray Bellucci's. Intercoastal stunt ended approximately 60 miles off the coast of South Carolina last week after the U.S. Coast Guard said they spotted him floating in the circular cage. <laughs> Initially near Savannah, Georgia, during routine preparations ahead of Hurricane <laughs> Idalia. Is that the, is that the oh. pronunciation for this? <coughs> Can you imagine getting just like fucking whipped up by the hurricane? Oh my God. In the ball? That would be so... Oh, God. What a, a way to go. A so first off, this man is 51 years old. Okay. And he was said he was headed for London, England. <laughs> From Florida. From Florida. So it's, you can't just go across. You've also, you got to go Yeah, you got to go up, up as up. well. Yeah. 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 Now i got to look at a map here. Surely it would what's be. What's latitudinal with, uh, with Florida, like Af know, like so northern Ghana? Africa, yeah, I would assume is probably the shortest. Oh wow, look at that! I'm a level with you, my. No way, sick or My bro. African geography, I am trying to improve it after watching a lot of University Challenge. Uh, it looks like it's like, yeah, like uh, oh, yeah, okay, northwest, northwestern, like Morocco kind of thing, Western Sahara, Western sure. Sahara, yeah. Okay, so a little north of. I mean, you could go a little higher. And I meant like I meant Gambia when I said Ghana, but it's a little a little north of Gam you could, Gambia. You could like head a little north and hit like you know Spain or or Portugal if you wanted. This you, is him really pondering his urban public too. You, you think he? Yeah, that dude is. Yeah, that's see, that's this a guy. That's a this guy orb. needs to keep his orb to himself. What I don't see in there is like supplies. <laughs> so that's what makes it so interesting. Beyond obviously the 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 the, the lead in is. Officers stayed with him for three days as he continued to make his way up the coast as he threatened to stab himself if anyone tried to stop him. He also allegedly threatened to blow himself up with a homemade device, which was later found to be phony. Phony? So they just phony. watched him do it for three days. He just moved in this orb. Okay. Wow. That's, this is impressive. It looks cool as hell. Engineering, I gotta yeah, say. Yeah, like it, it, it doesn't it feels like it's a thing that I'm sure somebody could probably do if they had the the support that you would need for something like this. Did we cover this guy on a, in one of his previous attempts so, on an episode of Feed Dump? Very possibly, because according to court documents, this was Bellucci's fourth attempt to traverse the high seas in the floating craft. Uh, previously being stopped by the Coast Guard in 2014. Uh, that's definitely that definitely deep feed but feed dump era. That's uh, in the realm. 2016. Uh, yeah, that's even in the realm. Yeah. 2021. That is not. Wow. And now 2023. Okay. I think. I think he should stop. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, please don't do it again. It's Hot time take. to stop. He is a publicist. <laughs> I mean, you you got to. <laughs> As a publicist who just is just losing their mind. Yeah. <laughs> please, please stop. His publicist at the time told the South Florida Sunset uh, Sentinel, which is an interesting paper name, that it was her understanding that the Coast Guard's order was merely a recommendation and not a mandate. <laughs> <laughs> she, she also added that he would definitely try again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> the Atlantic, my nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> One day he's gonna do it. Yeah. Oh my god. I believe in him. I oh, I choose man. to believe. I love that this publicist is ride or die. <laughs> it's like, look, he's gonna do it again. Yeah. <laughs> look, I feel like if you're willing to take on this man as a client, you're ride and die. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh my god. All right. I got two more articles. Hell yeah. Bring it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Article number three. Uh, Phillies deny entry to man's emotional support alligator at Citizens Bank Park. (laughs) 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 Emotional support alligator? Come on, Phillies, you cowards. (laughs) This is Philadelphia. First of all, how does someone have an emotional support gator in Philadelphia? (laughs) Secondly, Secondly, surely the fanatic is into this. (laughs) <laughs> so, a Pennsylvania man uh-huh. has struck out in his attempt to bring a five-foot-long gator to a Philadelphia Phillies baseball game. <laughs> Joel Henney went to Citizens Bank Park on Wednesday hoping to see the Phillies beat the Pittsburgh Pirates, but he wasn't <laughs> alone. Along with him was Wally Gator, a five-foot-long gator Henny adopted in 2015 and made into a popular animal on both Instagram and TikTok. Uh-huh. Okay. Henny and Wally hooked up after a friend in Henny's, of Henny's in Florida asked help relocating a group of alligators whose home was destroyed because of land development. They've been a happy pair ever since. Henny told the Philadelphia Require last year that Wally likes to give hugs, and that helped him battle his depression. <laughs> But things weren't so happy on Wednesday night when Henny tried to bring Wally inside the park, presumably for peanuts and Cracker Jacks, and was turned down. <laughs> that shouldn't be a surprise. Yeah. I'm sorry. Even if, even if this is legitimately an emotional support alligator, <laughs> you, you should be able to work out that, hey, maybe I shouldn't take, take this, this to, to the, the ballpark. To the Phillies game. Yeah. My guess is that he doesn't have like the little vest that you need to indicate <laughs> that is a support animal. Did the Phillies win that game though? I don't I don't know. It doesn't actually say in the article. So cuz potentially he missed out on also seeing the home team win. That's mm. true. What a bummer that would have been. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Sorry, the ox says peanuts and cracker jacks, names of two other service animals at the park. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'll, wait, does it have a vest? It does have the vest. Like, we got to get a picture I of this. Find, i got to find a photo. The Huffington Post website sucks. So You hear that, HuffPo? You're getting called out. Uh, oh, he's kind of got a little vest. Ah, goodbye. What happened? Oh, my God. What? The Huffing- I think the Huffington Post is, what the hell? is crashing this computer. <laughs> what? Hang on. What camera is this? Wait. Wait, what are you seeing? It, th- sorry, Twitch, Twitch chat is seeing the, the regular view. What You're you not. Have? Oh, I'm seeing a wait, tiny look, crop of the top corner of... Wait, look at this one. Look at this TV. Oh, the computer is not... Ha- hold on. What the f- <laughs> <laughs> The Huffington Post website is crashing this. Oh, you can see the top of my head. There, there's a photo in chat. Reset ah, the camera. That's adorable, though. Can you reset the cameras? Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know what you're seeing, so hold on. We're seeing... Everything's zoomed in. We're seeing... Okay, there we go. We See, but, see this? <laughs> I don't know what's happened here. See how this Something is, TV is... Oh, like, whoops. That, Wait, right? How did that happen? We were seeing this here, and then the very top corner on the TV over there. That's funny. Uh, what did you do? You bad mouth HuffPo. Uh, yeah, they were like... The, I'll show you. Ariana Huffington's like... Yeah. <laughs> she's ruthless. <laughs> oh, oh. And Zem. Okay. Now everything's blue. 
That's just the desktop. And our preview's gone. Is it <laughs> this one? Yeah. Hi. Okay, great. Okay, preview's is this, back. Is this what chat's seeing? Yes. Great. Uh, I think you just have to use the... Uh, it, it should have been on the, whatchamacallit, the the USB stick behind it. I can fix it in a second. Wait. Yeah. How did we see that? I don't know. I it, didn't think wait. this was plugged in. It is. No. It is. We but, have a wireless HDMI to it. But we're not... But are we using it? No. It was It was on the thing. Like really? on, on the on the USB stick. It's it, The remote... The remote sh should be on the, on the board. Oh, yeah. It's the big square guy. So you somehow also switched... You like took over the... No, it's the Toshiba remote. Oh. That's but like you, you somehow whatever you did on the computer swapped it, like uh, yeah. kicked the uh, HDMI, yeah, and took over this TV, which is amazing, dude. I can't believe how badly this website just like wham jangled this computer. <laughs> Apparently, uh, that park does uh, no our folders. Citizen, Citizen Bank Park has uh, bark at the park events. <laughs> where people can bring their dogs, but the emission rules do not apply to alligators. I don't think alligators technically bark either. <laughs> uh, All right, there you go. I think I managed to get a photo. There we go. For those Aww. of you who weren't able to see in Twitch chat. Yeah, look at this cute little alligator. So he does have like a, he's got a little vest. I mean, that's pretty cute, but also like, it's a freaking also, alligator, you man. Be, I'm sorry. This shouldn't be like news like it shouldn't be like no <laughs> shocking development man not allowed to bring five foot alligator into baseball stadium <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right man was quoted as saying i'm sorry i thought this was america <laughs> <laughs> all right final one this one uh, this one i so i was gonna save the uh, the the hamster ball one for the last one but it was too much fun, not to share. So this one's kind of a fluff piece. All a, right, a nice, a nice piece. Uh, as opposed, to, sorry, yeah. as on. opposed, to, yeah, as opposed to the the other ones. Uh, this is woman fights back with terrible wigs after employer says no to pink hair during interview. Nice. Oh, hey, I like this that. Ties back. To yeah. What we're talking about yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Emily Benshotter, twenty nine, explained. Uh, uh, one wait, hold on. One woman is uh, taking malicious compliance to another level after she was told by her new employer that she is not allowed to have pink hair. Uh, she explained that there was no in-person or virtual interview for the front of house role in the hospitality industry that she eventually landed, meaning the manager had no actual idea what she looked like. Which right out the gate, really? I like. Not this is not about judging on people's appearance, mm -hmm. but for a front of house position, I would want to at least have met the person before I hired them. Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just surprised that like, I, like for a front of house role, what if they're bad with people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you definitely think like you'd want to meet them in person in some way. Yeah, <laughs> this is yeah, this is yeah. They apparently had never met before. Okay. Uh, so before her first shift, uh, she mentioned uh, her hair color uh, to feel out the situation and learned that it would not be allowed. So she she suggest she oh god so she suggested that she uh, she, 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 she suggested that she would wear a wig. Correction, wigs. When you have pink hair, but corporate does not approve, you wear terrible wigs. Uh, so for example. <laughs> Do you wear wigs? This was one of the first ones she did. When do you wear wigs? <laughs> we have that beard, don't we? <laughs> I think so. She's Jesus Christ. I get it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely well, not, not pink, it's though. It's not pink. Yeah, brown, acceptable, acceptable hair color. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an example of some other ones that she has done. <laughs> what? <laughs> My own person, ugly, found. What is this? I don't. I don't know what this name tag system is. Yeah, I'm curious. Curious about that. I like the. I lo, I, I like the judicial wig. Yeah, that's a good look. Uh, the wigs have gotten increasingly appalling. With one inspired by "I Dream of Genie," uh, complete with a bald cap and brute. Oh, that's what that is. Founding mother. That's what it says. Mm. Oh, 
I've seen this in a loading ready run sketch. No kidding. Oh my goodness. Yeah, all right. Oh, we've got more. Including oh. one that definitely makes her look like the lead singer of The Cure. Oh, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> is that one, is the name tag for that one just say no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the name tags have also changed saying no, founding mother, my own person. So, okay, here's the thing. I so I'm a hundred percent on her side. You should not have to change your appearance for sure. for a job and whatnot. Yeah. But this statement she makes uh, apparently so she apparently she's gotten quite TikTok famous. Okay. This statement she makes on her TikTok is it comes off like not right to me. Uh huh. Which is dyeing my hair for a job that I work forty hours a week wasn't an option. <laughs> okay. Really? Right. Why not? <laughs> 40 hours is a lot of your week. Yeah. It's not a not insignificant portion. Of, like, you spend a lot of time at your job, which, you know, sucks. But it's like, that's a lot of time. Like, I I wouldn't run a business that gave a shit, obviously. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm I don't, with you. I don't think it's unreasonable for a company to be like, sorry, we don't want pink hair at our front of house. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like full full stop. We're we're nobody here is in disagreement. Yeah, that about like you should be able to have pink hair at your job. Yeah, have, go for it. Who cares? Have pink hair at your job. I think that's I think that's silly. Yeah, but the phrase, <laughs> it's only forty hours a week. <laughs> it's like that's a long time, man. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, she's uh, gotten uh, quite quite big on the TikToks. Mm, good for her. Um. They have preferred not to name their employer and explain, I prefer my pink hair. It's me to my core. So now I purposely pick wacky wigs, which is quite funny. The worse the wig, the better. It's a way to open up the conversation with customers who think it's insane that I have to cover my pink hair. <laughs> As for the reaction she gets at work, she said, loud laughs and very difficult not to crack up when we make eye contact. She needs so, a new wig every day. That's also, what she's doing. Did the did the job not care? So that's my okay. about the wig. <laughs> that's my question on this. Is it's this like, hold on? Yeah. Is this bullshit? I mean, it feels like it, right? Like, what job is like? No, pink hair is not okay. But you're allowed to, allowed to wear like the I Dream of Genie bald cap with like just the string of hair kind of coming out the back, and that's okay. Yeah. Wait a minute. Did everyone clap? <laughs> Anyways, those are the articles I dug up. That was amazing. Uh, that was weird. That's good hour. stuff. Thank yeah. you for that. Everything on TikTok is manufactured for clout. I think that's honestly a very Not cynical. Not incorrect. I, no, I think that's a very cynical way to look at it. I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I think the. I, I disagree with the nothing ever happens crowd. I uh, I think that you'd, you'd be surprised how much weird stuff actually does happen. What? I just I just think it's good to have it's good to to have a like it it's good to have doubt. It's good to sort of you know try to think things through critically. Mm -hmm. But like for, in that instance, I think it's very strange that an employer would be like, no, you can't have pink hair, but would have no problem with these wigs. Especially that with, like, doesn't some make of the sense. wigs that were there. Yeah. Yeah. Skepticism is important, but I think that there's a lot of, uh, I, I think there's a lot of like, like, oh yeah, yeah, no, that's, this is obviously unbelievable. And it's like, really? I think it's way more fun to be on team. I believe this until like somebody literally shows you mm -hmm. the, the thing disproving it. And then you're like, okay, cool. Like I had fun believing that in, in that thing at the yeah. beginning and stuff. So here's an example. Cause yeah, people are talking about like, um, uh, so, uh, prank I, I guess yeah prank videos or or even just like those those like man on the street interview stuff right like a lot of those are completely set up mm -hmm. to uh farm rage engagement yeah right like where the the ones where they'll be like a conventionally attractive woman being like what would you rate me out of 10 and oh yeah, know, like, yeah 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 some dude's like i don't know like a four because you seem kind of fake to me and she's like what and gets like really offended about it or whatever and it's like Mm -hmm. These people are actors. They're both in on this, you know. Yeah, whatever. right. It has led to my favorite but, comment section of people being like, "The director, how fake do you want this?" And they're like, "Yes, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> but anyways, uh, but uh, but you look at conversely um, 
specifically, this is the the uh, the just for laughs gags. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right, yeah, classic. So, yeah, so people have taken the sort of cynicism for that and been like, well, this is all set up. This is all totally fake. And it's like, no, 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 no. The way this works is they record all day, and they show you the That's seven it. people that it worked really well on. Yeah, yeah. and they just don't show you yeah. the people who were like. Oh, this is for a hidden camera show, huh? Right? Yeah. Like, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. It's not... Because it is so much easier <laughs> to do that than to hire actors and be like, you have to look actually surprised. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just for Laugh Gags is, like, classic, too. Yeah. That's really, really great. I don't want to pause or mute the stream. Can you stream the crap shot? Oh, right. I guess a crap shot just went live, didn't it? Which one? All right, here's what we do. Here, here's what we do. Okay. Uh, Graham, you pull it up on your phone. Okay. I'll pull it up on my phone. Uh huh. You hold your phone up to the camera. Okay. I'll hold my phone up to, to my the mic. microphone. We'll both hit play at the same <laughs> time. Yeah, okay. And hopefully that'll work. Yeah. Couldn't, couldn't I just hold it up to my microphone? Well, it would be kind of, you'd kind of, I guess you'd, you'd have could, to get like up in you there. You could kind of like, I guess you'd have to kind of do this. And this just felt like it would be significantly stupider. Mm hmm. Hold on, so I got I can it. just like. Yeah, you see, you could just do that, or you could, yeah. you could, yeah, there you go. Yeah, no, but now we got to sync it up. Yeah, let's see if we can sync it up. I, I believe in us. Okay, I'm at zero seconds. Are you ready? Uh, hold on one second. I am skipping an ad. Okay, hold on. Okay. <laughs> that actually looks quite in focus. <laughs> All right, so, okay, we're, I'm going to go three, two, one, and then we'll click, okay? Okay. Okay, so three, two, one. All right, can you get me my ladder? Like the step ladder? Yes, I suppose it is a step ladder. I could get you a real ladder if you want. Hey, that is my real ladder. Just because it's a step ladder doesn't mean it isn't the ladder that raised me. Sure, Featherlight might not be my <laughs> biological ladder, but you know who they are? The ladder who was there. Oh. <laughs> That was um, the, the synchronization on the it sound. Very was good, is it? Hell yeah! Yeah. Oh, you got to fix the focus on that camera now. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> you know I like this. <laughs> there you go. Now you've all seen the latest crap shot. There. Also, please go watch it so the views go up. Yeah. But you can leave it muted in your other tab. That's that. I love. That's a good crap shot. That was a fun one. That was a, the, the cutaway to the ladder. Yeah. Really, really makes it for me. Yeah. New format for tomorrow. <laughs> somebody, oh somebody just has to stay Standing here overnight. Four hours while another person's just like. Well, this two whole people time. because the other person yeah. has to sink it. Yeah. Oh no. <sighs> that was a fun one. Fuck, I forgot what we were talking about. Um, mm. We were talking about uh, fake stuff on TikTok. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, but. I think we can move on. Yeah. We got less than an hour left in our uh, in our morning show here. Man, we've done four hours on none prep. Yep, yeah. I'm pretty happy with us. I mean, we had some ideas. Yes, but, we didn't but work, like we certainly like didn't I grabbed all anything. those articles on the cab right over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like the what else? The the tweet I just tweeted last night before yeah. at eleven o'clock. So some, yeah, so I got the late night crowd. How's the Lego? Uh, it's not bad. Um, I think I'm going to take it home. Um, Poor Ashley, and and finish it, um, and then bring it, and then bring that piece back. Like I'm not gonna. Two parts are done. The middle part needs to be finished. We'll finish it in the next day or two. I'll bring it in, and then we can uh, put them all together and find a home for it. I'm kind of thinking. I'm hoping it could maybe like fit here, honestly. Sure. Yeah, probably. And move some stuff around. Yeah, we've got stuff that can. Kind I'd of love come to, out of these. to move, put it on the set, but like that's the only place it would work. So. Uh, Pseudobite and chat. Is that is that actually Ashley? Uh, where? Ashley Turnler? Yes. That's, ah. a, that's an amazing username, Ashley. <laughs> okay, cool. Ashley's excited I've never about seen it. you post it before. <laughs> <laughs> Do we... We should really... Um, I don't know if Paul can make it so VIPs are... Um, a different color? Different color on this chat, but we should probably... We've talked it. about it. Yeah, yeah, we should probably do that. Uh, Pseudobite in chat said that crap shot <laughs> looked fake and staged. <laughs> and <so> <laughs> Seemed scripted. Seemed scripted, yeah. Yep. No, see, we just kept the camera there all day <laughs> and had me and Graham talk over and over into it. I just assumed the Lego would be finished during the sub read. It will need more. It will probably require another three hours yeah. of building. It, we won't have enough time. Yeah, the, so the sub read, I think Paul was saying it's up to like an hour and some change. 
at this point. But we control it. So you Kinkle can... was asking about True. Uh, cab v Uber and stuff. Here's the thing. We only recently got Uber in Victoria. Yes. yes. And I've used it. I don't, I don't like it. Uh, but my... Because, let me just... Let me, let me get this out there. Uh, the complaint from sort of the general public was that our taxi companies uh, sucked and were a bad experience. And that was generally true. Um, so now we have a different other bad experience, but the money goes to San Francisco mm -hmm. instead of a company that's actually in town. So it's like, so I'm, I'm still paying for a shitty experience but the money leaves the country and it's like eh, eh you know it's yeah. i don't know it all none of them are great mm -hmm. uh bluebird is still a thing out here yeah Ms. Yep. yeah i prefer victoria taxi of the three local companies i prefer victoria taxi yeah i i just call them because they're the first ones when i type in victoria or like taxi victoria yeah, yeah. So that that's literally what I took this morning. But again, it's like I had the same experience that we just talked about, which is like they dropped me off like a block and a half away from the office because like mm -hmm. they went down the wrong road. Yep. Um, I normally and yeah, normally I'd, 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 I I I want to start biking again, but my the 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 guard for the chain on my bike snapped. Oh. So I need to take it in. And it was like made of like a plastic and stuff. So I didn't feel like cycling into the dark. Yeah. I love it. Oh, it's my jam. Because uh, I got big bright lights and stuff like that. I, I really loved biking every day. I guess the, I guess the trail would be, would be pretty open. Yeah. Yeah. Very little That's traffic. Fair. Bad Panda Bear, welcome back for 68 months. The connectors, I think you have the 14 month resub. Somebody asked why the cushion on the side of the couch is so big. People keep asking uh, it. Yeah. It's because this is, the, this is part of a sectional. And the sectional part would normally go like this and then stop right there. So this if is, we put in this isn't like a, if we a, put one of this these sizes in there, then the seat cushions would have a gap. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like if James can demonstrate, I guess. If we actually put this here, it doesn't it's that's not how it's designed. Mm -hmm. So it looks kinda stupid. Um, I guess it's not bad, but you kind of fall into the, the crack here. We'll need to figure it out for Desert Bus though. I mean, you could maybe put that one of those cushions like in the middle. Yeah. Like if you take this one out mm -hmm. and you take that side one, you put it here. The spooked Zarathustra well, the problem says, is my wife is and I were just gifted his and hers 20th anniversary hoodies. They're awesome and comfy and I don't want to take it off except Get it's up. 85 Fahrenheit in Louisiana. Oh. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like them. They are really But comfy. now there's not enough room for this. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's close though. It's close. But how are the buses? In Victoria, honestly, Fine. honestly, better than people here think. They are having done a lot of international travel. Yeah, boy, they could use some improvement, but they are not nearly as bad as people say that they are. <laughs> we recently got Umo, Umo, which is great. Big it's, fan. Honestly. It's a little phone app, boop, boop, boop. and it does a, a, a QR code. code and you go boop, boop, and you can do. So I no longer have to get like bus passes or tickets or anything like that. So and the good. best part about it is, when the system breaks, they go, eh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and you get I to think, ride for free. Yeah, I think the biggest issue with BC Transit, uh, like a lot of places these days, are understaffed. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's an easy solution there, uh -huh. which is uh, pay your drivers more money. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think the other big thing too is just like. I wish we could get transfers and stuff like that to transfer to another bus. Mm. I don't like if I if I get on a bus and I need to take multiple buses to get a place, I don't want to have to buy a day pass. Mm. So with Umo, mm -hmm. right? It's now they've I think fixed it for the better. Okay. Right? Because it used to be uh, it's two fifty uh, two dollars fifty to get on a bus, mm -hmm. and it's two dollars fifty every single time, or you can do five dollars for a day pass and then it's just as many buses as you want to take in a day mm -hmm. but you don't always know it's like oh am i gonna have to do this and then you might get into a situation where maybe you need to use it maybe you didn't maybe you wasted 250 whatever so with the with the boop, the boop uh it's 250 the first time and then it's 250 the second time and then it doesn't take any more money that day right so, but you're still buying the day pass yeah but it just just means if it's you can't 
use any more than five dollars in a day. Yeah. And you don't have to hedge your bets on spending the five bucks up front if you're not going to need it. True. Which I uh, which I appreciate. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I think like it, it, the flexibility is definitely nice, but I do think that it's like with that initial two fifty, you should get like a little pass or whatever. That's like it's good for yeah. Like in in Edmonton, it it was the transfer is good for like seventy five minutes or something like that. Which in Edmonton is funny because that's like nothing because sometimes it takes like an hour just to get to the first part of your ride done. They used to have a transfer system in Victoria years ago. James, you remember this from high school? The little like newsprint. Yeah, transfers, and so and the driver would have to like punch them on a certain like they'd be certain days, and there was letter codes so that you could only use them on the day within the like ninety minute period where you bought them or whatever. And we had friends that had like a cork board with just this matrix of transfers <laughs> that they'd saved, and so every morning they'd be like, "What's the day today?" All right, and they like had like there was like a whisper network of like what's the oh, letter yeah. today, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And be like, oh, it's Q, great. And then they just use that, and then they wouldn't brilliant wouldn't ever pay for the. Oh yeah, it was amazing. Wow, I mean that's kind of you could probably do the same thing for BC Ferries because it's a different animal name each time. So yep. it's like today's Otter Day, and you can get them using the Otter ticket. Used to save transfers to do the same thing. Yeah, in Edmonton it was like it had numbers all the way down that they ripped off to indicate yeah. the time kind of period, so you couldn't really do that. Some people would try and cheat and like hold the bottom of it, and every time the bus driver's like, just move your hand, I can't, <laughs> I can't see. Like, <laughs> obviously you're cheating on this, but. Oh man, did I ever tell you about the coolest bus driver I ever encountered here no. in Victoria? So uh, this was, uh, I was busing home, and my home was near the high school at the time. And uh, so he, there's a stop right at the high school. So he stops there and a bunch of kids get on and like the first one or two are sort of like indicate that like the people behind them will pay. But like this group of just like six, seven of them just sort of like get on and conglomerate near the center and like don't pay. At, like at all. And the driver's like, you gonna, you gonna do anything? You gonna, you, you, you guys gonna pay? And they, they're, they're all just like, sort of like trying not to make eye contact. And so he, he like puts the parking brake on and like stands up and gets around and turns around and faces them. And he's like, Some, somebody's got to pay for this or you're getting off the bus. And they're like, try not to do anything. He's like, I'm not moving. Like he pulls like the dad. <laughs> I'm talking like, to yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Like you guys who just got on, somebody's got to pay or you get off. And then they're like, and then they no, they opt not to pay. So like, they like sort of awkward, like sheepishly shuffle off past him. And the last one off is like, I guess we got to get off the bus because the bus driver's a dick. <laughs> like as he's getting off, and the driver is just like, well, if one's character is known by the nature of one's enemies. <laughs> Holy and crap! Sits down and takes off. And Damn, like, bus drivers are underpaid. Yeah, what? I was like, dude, that guy rules. Gamer. Oh my God. <laughs> what a weird, wild, cool thing to say. Yeah, I know. Uh, all right. <laughs> it was great. That's sick. I was like, this guy rocks. Yeah, I mean, I think I. I don't think I ever feel my age more than when I'm on a bus. And like seeing like the, the the younger generation and whatnot, because the thing of like, for example, uh, not wearing headphones mm -hmm. when you're like listening to music or whatnot has been a resurfacing jail. Thing. Yeah, yeah, right to jail, right Weird, to jail, weirdly straight to jail. Yeah, and it's always yeah, and it's it it's I find it to be most among the kids that are like on their way to school and stuff because the bus route that I take is along a major school route. Uh, the, the only one that bugged me was when uh, was um, uh, working working at the university newspaper, and so getting like Friday and Saturday night, eh, Thursday as well, getting on the late night buses, leaving the university and going home at the same time that uh, students from the dorms oh, would for, be getting on to go downtown, mm, yeah, and would be pre-drinking on the bus. Oh yeah, and getting like smashed because they didn't know how to do alcohol properly yeah. on the bus. <laughs> and just yeah. like, yo, come on. God, I remember Pump the brakes a little bit here. I do remember being like, you know, 
younger in my obviously like it, so in, in to to be to be perfectly clear in Alberta uh the legal drinking age is 18 yeah mm. um where I'm from and so I remember going to and this this will really date this conversation it's I remember I was on my way to a mindless self indulgence concert yo <laughs> Uh, and we were like, well, we got a pre-game. So we, we filled a just regular McDonald's fountain drink cup yeah. with just vodka. Oh. <laughs> just straight <laughs> vodka. At Red's, <laughs> yes, no soul knows what's up. <laughs> oh. Yeah, just straight oh. vodka. And we're just sipping That's it through a straw. Awful. But the problem is, is so oh, the prop. What was the, the, uh, the problem? problem. Yeah. Here's the here's the real problem. Narrow that down. So for people in Edmonton, they will know when I say we were taking the number one bus, which it goes is one of the longest routes. Okay. By the time, and so Reds is at West Edmonton Mall to give you a a, a frame oh, of if yeah, you're if you're West aware of it. It is a very very long ride, and by the time, yes, people a couple of people have gotten it. The vodka started melting through the bottom of the cup <gasps> oh my god. on the bus. Oh my god! So we had to like, we had to like kind of cup it underneath to keep this vodka from oh. effectively just fucking like going everywhere, spilling oh. out everywhere. And as soon as we get off the bus, one of the people who had their hands under just like, okay, we're good. <laughs> like the, the the bottom half of it just oh, no. gone. All that all that and good vodka. You, and and so, so you'd been drinking. Styrofoam yes, vodka. Yes, and that was our risk. But we're like, well, we have to try and drink this as quick as possible. We couldn't, like, stomach it. Oh. But yeah, napalm pregame. Uh, <laughs> that's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's awful. Oh, so vile. <laughs> we're like, well, we can't, well, we don't want them to know that we're drinking. We, like, we can't brown bag it. So, <laughs> like, nobody will suspect the, the Styrofoam, <laughs> the, the, the McDonald's cup. <laughs> Yeah. God. Didn't repeat that one, did you? No, we did not. <laughs> no. No, my, my, my friends and I were definitely macroplastic. at that point. <laughs> <laughs> macroplastic. Very good. It's not what people have meant by you got to learn your macros. <laughs> no. Make sure, make sure you're hitting all your macros. Yeah. Yeah, I, I uh, drank a fifth of vodka and a quarter of a cup. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I mean, my friends were, yeah, totally tracks for, yeah, a bunch of youths going to an MSI concert. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was MSI with the the birthday massacre opening up for oh, them. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good time. What's the coolest concert you've seen? Uh, I think I've told this story once or twice. I still think one of my favorite uh, bands that I've ever seen live, so I went and saw Caravan Palace live. Mm. Uh, at a venue called The Pawn Shop in Edmonton. <laughs> what a great name. It was a very, very good name. It does no longer exist because being on White Avenue, which is the only fun area of Edmonton at the time, and probably still is, uh, but it, so they, the city recognized that, and like the prices started getting jacked up on leases and stuff there. So a lot of those venues are gone now. Um, but so The Pawn Shop is on, was on top of another venue, and these are Old buildings, super, super old. And if you're not familiar with Caravan Palace, uh, they are an electro swing band. So a lot of their music uh, is is it gets people moving, gets people dancing. It's that really, really fun. So me and my buddy are in the middle of the the dance floor, and they're playing, and it hits a song with a very jumpable, bounceable beat, mm -hmm. and everybody starts jumping and bouncing in unison. And I shit you not. We could feel the floor. Oh God! Bowing yeah. underneath our feet, mm -hmm. like every it felt like we were on a wooden trampoline, Ugh. and that just added so much to it. Yeah, <laughs> it was like oh, I, I I I don't even remember the set list and stuff like that. I just remember it was very very fun, and I was like, we could die tonight. Yeah, and that's pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, God. What about you, James? Best concert I've yeah. ever been to. Uh, you were there. Radiohead. Radiohead. Mm. At, uh, 2008. Thunder, at, uh, Thunder, yeah, Thunderbird. At Thunderbird Stadium? Yeah. yeah. That's... Um, it was... Yeah. It was So it was outdoor. Mm -hmm. uh, it was raining just a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it was right around the In Rainbows era. Yeah, this was definitely the In Rainbows tour, right? Uh, which is like probably my favorite Radiohead album. Uh, very basic of me, but leave me alone. Um, 
Uh, the only problem, and it honestly, it plays into the the one of my best cuts. So number one, just the music and the experience was phenomenal. But I got separated from you, Matt and Kathleen. Yeah, we lost you pretty yeah. quick. Yeah, and I got yeah, just a little itsy bitsy high, um, and um, and 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 so I was kind of high, and I was scared, and I was alone, and my phone was dead, and I didn't know where my friends were. <laughs> oh no! And I was kind of freaking out, and then I had to like track somebody down to borrow a phone. And and then I was just like, wait, what are people's phone numbers? Oh no! But I think I managed to get a hold of one of you, and we reconnected. Mm. Uh, so that was a fun part of it. But yeah, the experience of of that band in that setting, with the rain and the yeah, it was very good. Uh, it's either it was a tie between that and Adam and I. I think we saw Coheed and Cambria at oh, the be fun. Croatian Cultural Center in Vancouver mm. um, back in the. Even before that, it was probably was that, like 2005, was, four was, or five. Was that in the days where you guys would refuse to play, uh, pay for a place to stay? Yes. So we so go, you just go yes. to a cyber cafe we'd and to, wait to, yeah. and stay we, up till so six we, yeah, so you we, could. We would go. We'd catch a ferry to Vancouver. We'd see the show. We'd go downtown. We'd find one of the the land cafes that was open 24 hours. We'd play Dota, and then we'd catch the 7 a.m. ferry home. And then. Pass out immediately. Uh, we almost always went to McDonald's first. Oh, of course. We were, I mean, we were 22. Like, we could do that. Parathon says 2005, I think I was at that concert. Uh, which, it, the, the, the Coheed one? The Coheed one or the Radiohead? Radiohead was, was not 2005, it was 2008, I think. Yeah. If you were at the Coheed one, that's wild. That's around when we went. That's sick. The, I, I can't decide, Damn, honestly, cool. my favorite concert. Because, like, the Radiohead was amazing. But yeah. I hadn't, listen to a bunch of Radiohead. Like, I was mostly there just sort of to be going to the concert because you and Kathleen and Matt were really stoked yeah. to go. Um, so, uh, I, th I, I it's two options at Pacific Coliseum for me. Uh, one was the Beastie Boys. Oh, nice. Uh, which was, like, my first official, like, date with Kathleen uh, also. Uh, oh, Tal nice. Talib Kweli opening. Uh, and the Beastie Boys... The, the concert was amazing. Nice. Um, they did... Uh, they did like a instrumental of like they did sabotage, but like playing the instruments because mm -hmm. they are actually a yeah. band. <laughs> yeah. If you ever listen, I love their first album, like their punk album. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of fun. Uh, and then they did, um, and then they 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 did, they did like a fake out encore, and then did intergalactic, and it yeah. was sweet. Uh, so it was that or. The um, just because it was very not because I'm like super is obsessed with the bands, but because it was just very cool. It was um, Itira was at the show I'm about to talk about Death Cab for Cutie and Franz Ferdinand. Oh, co headlining that's a that's, good line, that's fun. It, uh, with a band called The Cribs opening for them. And what I remember specifically was uh, that uh, so it was the Cribs and then it was Death Cab and then it was Franz Ferdinand even though it was co-headliners Franz Ferdinand were huge so they went on last and then the encore I think I've described this before the encore was um, the, they brought out like the, the crew brought out a massive semicircle of floor toms wow and everyone from all three bands came out mm -hmm. so Franz Ferdinand was there <coughs> and then anyone who was in the other bands had their own drums and uh, they did um, This Fire, which was recently reused as the theme song to the cyberpunk anime? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oddly. Yeah. So they, and they did uh, This Fire with everyone wailing on the, the drums. That's it sick. was It was amazing. It was super cool. Have you seen, how many times have you seen Gorillaz? Shit, probably. Is it just, I've seen them twice. I've seen them once. And I think you were there for the one time I saw them. At Key Arena? Was it in Seattle or yeah. was it in Vancouver that I've I seen them in them? Vancouver and Seattle. <laughs> I don't remember. I know I've seen them. I don't remember if it was Seattle or if it was uh, Vancouver. I actually, shit, the Key Arena Gorillas concert was amazing. I think that is where I saw them. I would that say one of my concert. my favorite concert experiences was our trip to go see the Gorillas in Seattle. Yeah. Where I've talked about it, I think, once or twice, where we, you know, we all partook of the marijuana and stuff. Uh, went and saw Gorillaz. It was amazing. They played a lot of songs that nobody expected them yeah. to play. Like that I think was, they they was... opened with M1A1, yeah, which was, was like great. what? Uh, uh, sorry, Woken Click. We, Kathleen and I had tickets to the King Giz show at Red Rocks, but which obviously that didn't happen because of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. um, we, we have tickets to next just, year at the Gorge. I was just going to say you're there. You go. Next year, right? We already yeah. have tickets yeah. to the Gorge. Yeah. Uh, 
And uh, so we all stayed at a at an Airbnb together. Was it the haunted Airbnb? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we we got back to the Airbnb, and like we were still like a little jazzed up from like the concert or stuff like that. So we're like, oh, let's throw something on. And all there was in the room was just a tiny like one of those tiny TVs that has the VHS the like only insert. One. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. only VHS in the room, the right? was, was the first Shrek movie. Oh. <laughs> So we VHS. stayed up to like 2 a.m. watching oh, Shrek. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. It's like me and Kathleen and Ben and Lily. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what else have I... I saw MCR in Vancouver. That was a good show. Uh, I'd say one of the, like, most... One of the more fantastical set lines. So... Uh, there's a music festival in Edmonton called Sonic Boom that mm -hmm. happens. I don't mm -hmm. know if it still happens. Uh, probably. Um, and they do a really good job at doing lineups that I that I care about. Like, I usually look at um, Rifflandia and I'm like, there's some bands that I care about, but not like a, like a full, mm -hmm. like, you know, day list that I care about. So one of the best ones that I saw was like, uh, what was it? Uh, Hot Hot Heat. Nice. Then went into The Flaming Lips. Okay. Which then went into Tenacious D. Damn! Yeah. Whoa, that's super that's cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like so, and the reason I remember this one specifically is because I was so jammed or jazzed to watch Tenacious D. Uh, but I'm like, but these three bands, none of them I wanted to miss. Yeah. So we get there, we're watching them all. It's like a really, really great time. And then I'm like, well, I want to get into the center of it. Mm -hmm. uh, and I realize as I'm in the center, and I get right into the thick of it just before Tenacious D comes on. Uh, that I've been here for like five or six hours, I have not gone to the bathroom. Uh -oh. <laughs> and Jack Black steps on stage, and at that moment, I'm like, I have to pee, but I'm not missing this show. So I watched their like entire like two hour set, just pinching it like the whole time, <laughs> and like in a mosh pit uh, and everything like that. Oh. And, yeah, nice. it was a lot, <laughs> <That's hard. laughs> but it was a great time. The the gorilla show I'm remembering now, James. It was that was technically the humans tour, because mm. uh, I have the shirt that I bought. Oh the, yeah, the, the white shirt from, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the humans tour. But humans was like not super well received. Yeah, and so they didn't play a huge amount yeah, from that right. album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but they did also play. Um, uh, they before it was released they. Because he'd written it on tour, they played Idaho. Yeah, yeah. From, um, from it's not Cracker Island. Uh, what did they do between um, help? <laughs> what did they do between humans and Cracker Island? Uh, uh, the now now. The now, yeah. Was, was that, that, well, that, now was, now? that was the that was the iPad produced weird one. Now now was iPad right? What was no? I think you're. I mean, there was there was Song Machine. I think it was on the now now. I gotta look it up. Anyway, the point is, uh, they did that. Before uh, before it was released, he's like, we wrote this on the tour. The fall. Oh, the fall. Yes. Fall. Thank you. That, yeah. Um, Wait, no, the, the fall, fall was iPad. I think, then now, I, now. I think Idaho's on the Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, uh, and so they got like a quarter of the way through it, and because they hadn't like really performed it live before, uh, the click track was messing Damon up. Yeah. And he was like, all right, now hang on, fuck this, and like ripped his earpiece out and was like, let's actually fucking like do this. Yeah. Let's do it properly. And then like restarted the song yeah. with everyone like just actually jamming on stage. It was, was great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. fun. It was really cool. Yeah, it was a, it was a really, really good show. Mm -hmm. I went to Warp Tour in Vancouver one year. That was fun. Oh, yeah, that seems Warp like a good time. Hell yeah. yeah. Is Vance Warp Tour still a thing? I think there's been some issues Maybe. over the years. Yeah. Um, it became a point too, and I think it's just a Canadian thing as well, where yeah, Idaho's on the a, a, a very funny concert thing for people who went to concerts. Uh, there was there was a very funny meme, at least in Edmonton, where people would go, "Oh, Metric is coming to town." And people would go, and go like, uh huh, yeah, and because like me Metric would tour Canada like a every lot. month, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, I missed Metric. It's like that's okay. Just kind wait two months. Metric and Tegan and Sarah. Yes, yeah, I've seen Tegan and Sarah twice. I want to say. I mean, from uh, from Edmonton. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen anything from Metric recently, but I've seen Tegan and Sarah on uh, showing up on TikTok. But also, um, uh, specifically the. Uh, the the song the metric song from Scott Pilgrim. 
Oh, oh Black yeah. Sheep. Yeah, Black yeah. Sheep. Because a lot, a lot of, a uh, lot of, a lot of Scott Pilgrim content popping up on TikTok. Yeah, we got the yeah, animated well, show coming soon. Yeah, there's yeah. the resurgence of yeah. it and stuff like that. I'm interested to see it because it's like so. This one seems like it's way more comic oriented, which mm-hmm. I appreciate. Um, I think Scott Pilgrim is an interesting like microcosm of like the time that it came out and stuff like that. Because if you look in reality what people initially took out of it was just like, oh, this is a great love story. When in reality, what you're supposed to pick out is that Scott Pilgrim is a piece of crap. Yeah. yeah. Like he, he's a turd, right? Yeah. And so it's like, I in the comics, they they definitely laid way more into that than they did in the movie. I So I've, I, I would argue that the movie is not coy about calling Scott a problem. Oh, sure. Yeah, no, <laughs> but, I... But I, yeah. think that, I think that there's people that didn't maybe... Pick Glean that, up that? And it's yeah. First time. Well, yeah. it's like it, it, in the in the way that he like you know at the end of the movie where it's like him and you know Ramona and whatnot are all all good and, and stuff like yeah. There's yeah. I yeah. love the, the 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 scene at the concert uh, when uh, uh, he's like we have to play now because uh, Ramona and Knives are about to start talking mm-hmm. and um, I can't remember who it is but the. Anna Kendrick's character, I think it is. Oh, that's uh, Scott's sister. Yeah, yeah, is asking Knives, like, how old are you? And, <laughs> and he's like, ah, and there yeah, we go. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the movie is sick. And I, so, oh, I so, and it. I'm, and I'm all about it. I love Edgar Wright. I went and saw this movie four times in theater. Yeah, hell yeah. Love the movie and whatnot. But there's there was there's definitely I think since then been like a lot of movies that have come out that I'm like this this is I love I love this film because it's like it's it's got the the vibe of of you know watching an Edgar Wright Scott Pilgrim flick but without kind of like the weird turd sandwich of Michael Cera uh uh playing you know this kind of dupey guy a little bit <laughs> I still, I still, I, 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 think, I think Michael Cera is like a I, fine person. I think he's so. great. In he's it. very, he, and he's very, very funny in the in the Barbie movie. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got a really all star cast. Yeah, baby, baby, Chris Evans. Yep. In the film, I love that they've talked about how uh, they uh, they have the cast has an email chain. That's fun. yes. That they still. They, they well, still use that. Apparently, I think it was Michael Sarah like resurrected after it had gone dormant for years. Mm. Yeah. Apparently, he responded randomly one day to this meme. Yeah. <laughs> and Chris Evans like, "What the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like nine years old." Yeah. Now that I'm no longer a shitty teenager, I can recognize that Scott Pilgrim is a shitty teenager. He's not a teenager. Yeah, that's, that's the worst part of the part. problem. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's the in his twenties. Yeah. Oh, man. 27 or something like that, I think, or 20... I think in the comics he's supposed 20, to be a little... 24? Ken Salian. Yeah. Said, I'll never forget Chris Evans in Not Another Teen Movie. He is oh, man. perfect yeah. in that movie. Mm-hmm. Not Another Teen Movie is amazing. 23. 23. Not Another Teen Movie is actually, like, a, a, an absolutely amazing comedy film. Have, have you both seen the Barbie movie no. at this point? Yes. Okay. I need to. It's, it's so good. good. I have not yet had the opportunity. Oh, I believe it, it's high on my list. It's, there's a very real chance that I'm going to put the entire Barbie oh, like soundtrack on the dance party. This <laughs> <year>. <laughs> it's just very good. Yeah, very, very, very good movie. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm quite excited for the the Scott Pilgrim yeah. uh, animated show and stuff. When does it come out? Uh, Is it soon-ish. like this year or? Lone Bard, not another teen movie, is not responsible for that. It's saying it's genuinely hilarious, but unleashed a plague upon us that can never be forgiven. That is a it is a different group of people. It is totally unrelated to the epic movie and the. Is it really it, like it's not part of the uh, the totally, Wayland Brothers? No, it is not world. Yeah, it's not the Wayans didn't produce it. It is not directed or written by Jason Freeberg and Aaron Setzer or mm-hmm. whatever they're whoever they are. If, you know, yeah, it's a totally different different bunch of folks. Yeah, which is why it's good. <laughs> I don't think I watched a single scary movie until, was it the third one that was very ring-oriented? I think so. Yeah, that was the first yeah. scary movie a that I ever the, saw. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, the scary movie franchise, I think, improved a bit when the one, one of the Zucker brothers was involved. But mm. again, a lot of it was really mean-spirited. Yes. Which, which, not another teen movie wasn't, which is why I liked it. It was not mean-spirited internally. Like, it was ripping on a lot of teen movie tropes, mm-hmm. right? And there was, like, two different plot lines, one that was, like, John Hughes movies and one that was much more sort of, like, um, uh, 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 She's All That and um, um, 
uh, the God, the Taming of the Shrew parody. What was it called? Um, I can't remember. Anyway, that sort of era. Ten Things I Hate About yeah. You. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'd like to do a, like a rewatch, maybe even like a rewatch podcast of like all the movies that are in that sort of genre of like, you know, the, the American pies kind of st- style films mm-hmm. uh, and see like which ones like hold up and are like, you know, funny pieces of media and stuff like that. So I was thinking about like, uh, I remember really enjoying Euro Trip. Euro Trip was great. Euro Trip was a really fun. Have not movie. watched it in years. Yeah, I, I don't know how it is, but I, I remember but really I, liking I, Euro Trip. I can, yeah, I can pretty much assure you that there's some stuff in that movie that will not. Really? Out. Okay. Uh, almost definitely. But yeah. I think the the core is still good. Like because Euro Trip is Scotty doesn't know. Right? Yeah. 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 Which is it's so the the initial thing of Scotty doesn't know is just really funny, and then you realize halfway through the song that that's <laughs> an unrecognizable <laughs> Matt, Matt Damon, Damon. Yeah. yeah, in a random cameo. Yeah. And then the fact that they get to Europe and in the club, uncommented on, everyone's dancing to a Euro a remix, remix yeah. of Scotty, of Scotty doesn't. doesn't Know. And then at the end of the movie, his friend has a Scotty Doesn't Know ringtone. Yeah. It, again, it's really good. Again, uncommented on yeah. is a brilliant three-piece gag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I, uh, I think... I think all of us still quote Fred Armisen's Miscuzi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, that's Fred Armisen, by the way. Yeah. yeah. I, I think, like, yeah, a lot of those late 90s, early 2000s teen comedies have a lot of problematic shit in them uh, totally. for these days. But um, I think the bo- some of the bones are still probably pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They, could be, they could be classed up a little. Mm-hmm. <laughs> remember, you remember Sex Drive? Yeah. That one had some, first of all, some cinematography that was punching well above its weight, <laughs> weirdly. Uh, and that also had uh, Seth Green as the uh, Mennonite. Oh, yeah. Man, who Seth was, Green. Who was just like, who, like, they were like really worried about it. Like, he was just like giving them the creeps, and he's just like, ah, just fuck with you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Seth Green. Sorry, in my head I was thinking of Tom Green. Oh, oh no. God. No. Tom Green, yeah, another <laughs> one that you would never see ever do oh, anything like oh, that Tom again, Green. ever. Nothing. Yeah. I tried yeah. to rewatch Dude Where's My Car recently. It was dire. No, I could see that. Yeah. Road Trip was the Tom Green movie. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. That's wild. Yeah. There, like, it was like a definitive time. There was a, one that I was thinking of uh, with some friends while we were talking the, uh, uh, Without a Paddle. Was like it, it wasn't oh, like a teen yeah. movie, but I it never was like saw that one. yeah, but it had like a like a really interesting cast of like Seth Green and Is it um, David Spade in that one, or am I? No, not David Spade. Uh, Matthew uh, Matthew Lillard. Matthew Lillard. Okay, uh, seems like a movie DJ Qualls would have been in. And yeah. Dax Shepard. Yeah, mm. and Burt Reynolds. Burt yeah. Reynolds was in without a paddle. Yeah, yeah, oh, wild. Yeah, it huh. was. And it was like I one of those I like saw this movie. yeah guys go into the the woods to do a camping trip kind of a thing. And yeah, was, I remember it being fun. Huh. Fourteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> 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 Woof. Yeah, that uh, that tracks. But yeah. It's so weird that Matthew Lillard is now in charge of making uh, um, all Shaggy related decisions. No bespoke Magic the Gathering merch. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, he's a big Magic nerd. Yeah, founded, I founded Beetle and Grimm. I appreciate yeah. that he was essentially Shaggy, like the de facto Shaggy guy yeah. for quite quite a while after yeah. that. Yeah, and, and whiskey too. Yeah. Really? He's doing the whiskey thing. He's That's... actually working. Uh, he got uh, Tyler to do the um, um, art on that thing. It looks cool as hell. Mm. I saw. I was playing against some folks at. Uh, uh, the Magicon that had the the gingerbread people like tokens that they got. There was like oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Grimbooth was selling like fifty of these bundles every day, and one yeah. of them, one of the things in it was like these really cool metal, basically like a a thick enamel lapel pin without the pin back. Yeah, right. They're just like these cool little counters that people were using. Uh, so that was neat. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I don't know where we were going with that. Just sort of been on the uh, on talking about the movies for these like the the the, the final the final stretch of our five hour improv <laughs> morning show. <laughs> we basically did it. Adam's here, which means we get to go home soon. 
Did you stay till 2 a.m. last night? Hell yeah, bro. Damn, dude. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I've been I've been in Discord with Adam when it's like 10:30, and he's like, "Whoo, bedtime! Bedtime! It's pumpkin hours, brother." <laughs> <laughs> Baby covered in peanut butter. Yes. Video I'm, of a baby. I'm familiar covered. with the video of the baby covered in peanut butter. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, it's, it's where the, the the mother's like, yeah, yeah. like, are you? What did she ask him? It's like, are you? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> feel good. And the baby's just like, da. <laughs> it like <laughs> nods. It's like, da. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> pumpkin hours? Yeah, because it's you're gonna turn October. to a pumpkin. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I don't know if there was any other movies that were like super. I mean, my friends were super into uh, Donnie Darko. Oh yeah. It was I mean, like it was the film that would like constantly be looping whenever we were hanging out in like a basement or something like that. That mm -hmm. was the uh, Donnie Darko, the original, the theatrical edit of Donnie Darko was sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And then it's yeah, one it's of the. Cool. <laughs> one of the one of the weird situations where the uh, they were like, oh hell yeah, this is really popular. You know what? We should let you do a director's cut. And then, uh, whoo, not yeah. good. <laughs> not amazing. It's like he thought that no one got it, and so the director's cut was like, I'm just gonna hammer you over the head with this uh, repeatedly. And it's like, oh, you've made this so much worse. <laughs> and then Daisy, he went and he made Southland Tales, perfect movie, no notes. <laughs> Yeah, it was either that or we who, were who let him cook. <laughs> <laughs> who let this man cook? We were did did Rock Band take over like your friend group? Oh yes, yeah, much as it did oh, us. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, Guitar Hero Absolutely. and then Rock Band. I Matt had all the plastic instruments. Yeah, when, when he and I lived together, we had all the stuff. I can't hear maps anymore without thinking about rock. We maps, literally did that maps. as the intro for cartographers when we played it in the street. We all oh, started really? wailing on the table. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Man, the yeah, yeah, yeah is rule, and they don't get enough credit for yeah. giving us yeah. a heads will roll. I just remembered we... I hope they get in, um, the uh, residuals for every time that pops up in a sick remix. Mm. <laughs> I just realized that um, in my initial brainstorming for this... Um, Subathon, I had Rock Band written down. Oh man! As a thing that we could do. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Save that for next time. I, I forgot. Guess. Yeah. Do we have any of the instruments? We still? had. So I brought in. We've got the guitars. There's for sure. two guitars in Studio A. I don't even know if they work though. Um, we would probably need to go and get stuff. Hmm. Um, but I don't think it. It's seen. A, I think in the last like year, it's been seeing a little bit of a resurgence. Mm -hmm. um, which is cool. Um, people, people are what? like, we gotta, we gotta clean out the storage. Yeah. Oh uh, well, maybe yeah. we should try playing this until we throw these away. Yeah. And they're like, gosh, that was fun. I guess I'll put it back into storage. Yeah. I, I keep every time I feel like I talk about Rock Band though, I feel like somebody is like, oh, and they're making a new one. And like, or like, there's supposed to be one on the the horizon. Yeah. Is there? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, but people. I feel is like Harmonics people are always like, around? not. I don't think Harmonix is, but I think somebody bought the rights to this. Yeah, because like Harmonix made Drop Mix. Yeah. Uh, and then I didn't hear about anything else since then. Um, so everyone we can... that we knew that used to oh, work at God, Harmonix has so gone on gone. to do bigger yeah. and better things. Um, we can absolutely play it. It just yeah, the the VOD would be muted, um, and it wouldn't work for a. Um, a, a VOD up on YouTube if we were to monetize it, but we could play it. Oh, Fuser they made. Yeah. Oh, nice. I forgot about Fuser, yeah. Harmonix got bought by Epic. Of course it did. Right. Yeah. I think, yeah, like I would love to. It's just a, yeah, it's a shame. I mean, there's, especially with video games and stuff like that, I mean, and Twitch, Twitch doesn't care, right? Like people were just talking about the, I mean, there was two big cases of it. One was the Metallica concert that got muted for playing Metallica music. Hilarious. Uh, and then the other one was uh, the guitarist for Dragon Force got banned because he was playing Dragon Force. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah, state of DMCA is it's like we we've, we've only mess. got 13 minutes left, so you don't need me to start in on talking about the DMCA. But here we are. God, actually, I'm gonna throw this. Up. This is this is a deeper a deep cut for people who, who, who listen to the kind of music. Uh -huh. I went and saw uh, Sonata Artica. Oh yeah. Uh, and 
the band that opened for them was Power Glove. Okay. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> Adam was like, damn. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, that, it was a sick show. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody just posted, did Graham see the news about Unity? Mm. Um, yeah, John Riccatello is gone. gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they, yeah. Uh, He's off to ruin another company. <laughs> I did not see that. That's hilarious. Estanius, the band from the Goofy, the artist from the Goofy yeah, movie is yeah. Power Line, not Power Glove. That's, yeah. Gone Riccatello. <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish. I only saw that this morning, actually. Did he get a golden parachute? I don't know. He resigned. Almost certainly. But pr pr presumably he did. I mean, mm. he's got all the he's got all those shares he could sell. Did that Microsoft purchase of Activision Blizzard go through? Uh, no, not yet. Not officially. It's not finalized yet. But I believe that ev all the various complaints that uh, regulatory bodies brought up have been addressed in one way or another, which it's, frankly astounds me. Mm -hmm. um, again, the UK uh, issue was the. Uh, was the cloud gaming, which everyone seems to not consider a problem or care about. So, I don't know. He didn't. Mm. He didn't sell a ton of shares before the big announcement. He sold a normal number. He didn't sell any unusually large number of shares. I talked about this actually on Checkpoint. That like. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Yeah. It didn't. It didn't. It, he didn't sell a number of shares that was suspicious, is my point. Mm. He just sort of... He was just sort of always selling shares. Uh, it, yeah, a regularly scheduled amount of them. It looks, it looks bad after the fact. Yeah. Other, other executives also sold some shares, and so it, it looks bad when that happens just before uh, announcing a tremendously uh, unpopular public policy. Ooh. So, anyway. So what is this photo of? It's some sort of weird hamster fighting Fight, the fighting Maximus from Russell the Crowe. Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, another good show. I went and saw Trans Siberian Orchestra in Toronto. Oh, it's very very during Christmas. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Very very fun. What's a moopsie? Oh, I don't know. What's Moopsy? What's Moopsy? What Everyone precious? just keeps saying it's Moopsy. Everyone just keeps saying Moopsy. I don't know what moop Moopsy is. No, Riccatello being gone doesn't fix Unity. No. Uh, it, but I'm just happy that he doesn't have a job anymore. Moopsy is from Lower Decks. Oh. oh, oh I'm season three. behind on Lower Decks. <laughs> no, whole, I'm not. This I'm whole not Siberian about. Orchestra is trans. Wait, you're telling me this whole Siberian Orchestra is trans? <laughs> <laughs> Wolf and Otter, thank oh, you so much for 41 months. Oh, hey, actually. Oh, hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hi, Paul. Uh, my favorite thing with the... I don't know if there's been more news since, but the... My favorite thing with the Blizzard Activision uh, Microsoft thing uh -huh. is how they dealt with the uh, that that the UK was concerned about their streaming system. Yeah, and the cloud stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this amazing plan, <laughs> which is they gave they're giving all of their streaming rights, all of the rights to control their streaming the streaming stuff for this new Activision thing or right. this new system to Ubisoft <laughs> who is previously Christ. not involved in this discussion at all. <laughs> they were they were not part of these conversations and now they're like wait so, what's going on? Except they're giving all of their non EU streaming rights to Ubisoft. The reason why they are it's the non EU streaming rights is because they have already previously promised that EU streaming services will be able to license the games that they have for free. Uh, they had already promised that. So, what they're doing, they're giving all their lights, they're all, all their cloud gaming rights to having Ubisoft manage all their cloud gaming rights. Then, they are licensing their own cloud gaming rights for the EU back from Ubisoft so that they can then license them for free back to uh, a couple of uh, EU cloud gaming services. It's very, very silly. And That's I so funny. Mm. 
I do not understand how this whole system, how the whole system works, but I feel like Microsoft just like get let we'll we'll get it done and then we'll figure out how this will actually operate afterwards. Yeah. Jesus, what a mess. Oh man. And then of course hacking red string to pin board. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> I was yep. going to say, Ubisoft, uh, known as a, a, a bastion of <laughs> uh, fair it. dealing, uh, who just had, what, five executives arrested? Yep. Or questioned? Well, for, or for, former executives. Former executives? Yeah. Arrested <gasps> and or brought in for questioning? Yeah. Did you hear about that? Hmm. Yeah. Five, five former Ubisoft executives uh, who left a couple years ago. Uh, when, the, when, when the allegations arose mm -hmm. of like work culture and company culture and stuff like that, and they left the company back then, they have five of them in in France have just recently been like detained and brought in for questioning in in, a, in association with an investigation into how Ubisoft might be a terrible place. That's yeah, yeah. Very Corpo funny. structure, man. Super, super weird. We're bringing all of Sweden to Game Pass. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you get Game Pass and then you're just, you can just, Sweden? What? <laughs> you get, you get like a, a Swedish passport by being for me? part of Game Pass. All of Sweden? Thank you. <laughs> just for me. Sweden for moi? <laughs> How's toilet seat doing, Graham? Uh, oh, great question. Wait, that's Adam. There we go. <laughs> It's, that's still Adam, actually. That's a, that's a really mean thing to call Adam. Damn, you just, you just called <laughs> wow. Adam a toilet seat. Still, right, see, right. Look. Yeah. Wait, is that how it screws it? Oh, right. Adam's still in the bottom corner. Yeah, that's what I meant. I didn't realize. <laughs> how is it doing that? Oh, it's just set it's, that way. It, it's in the scene. Oh, yeah. sorry. Adam's just set that way. You can't change. That's false. That's how you set that. Uh, do you want to... Yeah. Say goodbye so we can set up for the the gang. For yeah, sounds there. great. So, I think Beach is almost here. So what's the what's the name of the book you're playing? Freeway Fighter. Freeway Fighters. Fighters. That's like a Mad Max thing, eh? Yeah. That's sick. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. For... Good pilot episode, lads. Yeah. We did it. We did pretty good. Was Our good morning times. show was a success. I'm so full of. So Dude, full of too much. Yeah, it was too much McDonald's. <laughs> we ordered one of everything on the menu. <laughs> on the breakfast menu. Yeah. And then we ranked them. Yeah. What That's was what the that is. What, what ranked number one? Yeah. yeah. Sausage oh, yeah. egg McMuffin. We, yeah. Yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. I, I put hash brown up there. Oh, he's looking. So at our, he's the looking way at we rank uh, them. Is, okay. Yeah. So, okay. Now to be clear. Yeah. The way we rank them is every time we we would we had seventeen items or whatever it was. Who put McGrail first? No, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, so no, listen. Listen. Yeah, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, listen. Was it you? Yeah. Yes. yeah. My man. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew it was going to be at the top, but basically we wrote down the numbers, and as soon as you had it, you had to put down what you number. You had to rank it. And you were not we allowed ranked. to ever move the number. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I was like, hmm, I, I'll, I'll put hash brown number two, even though I think it's the best. And then... <laughs> All I had left. <laughs> because I left, because I left, uh, I left number two until the very end. Chicken McGriddle was ass. <laughs> so number two is last. Uh, no, number two is way lower. Pancake is still last. Graham had some anti McGriddle rhetoric. Dude, I do not like the McGriddles. <laughs> Also, they're, they're too also sweet. James they're just brought us just a McGriddle like bread piece. <laughs> oh, I wanted everybody to see what the McGriddle. You, I had their other McGriddle. I'd though. never eaten one before ever. I assumed the the McGriddle was like I don't know, I, I, something grilled. I, I don't know. I don't <laughs> the, know. Something no, griddle. No, Graham, because that would be a McGriddle. <laughs> <laughs> You want, there's a... There's oh, a, yeah, we were talking about a BC, BC Muff There's a BC yeah. Muff in there if James you want James is a big fan of BC Muff. I love BC Muff. There's one right in that bag. It's all yours. You can have that BC Muffin. That's actually, legitimately, the banana chocolate chip... <laughs> the, <laughs> the banana chocolate chip muffin, it was actually legitimately very good. It was. Yeah. It was good. The, the blueberry muffin was bad. <laughs> My blueberry muffin was especially bad, but generally it was also bad. Okay. We all had the same ranking for the drinks, though. Yeah, OJ's top tier. Yeah, OJ top tier coffee, happy juice. Yeah, yeah. Poor apple, well, juice. apple juice knows knows what it did. Yeah. 
All right. <laughs> right. All right, people. We're, uh, <laughs> we're signing off from the morning show. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. I'm tired. Yeah. Um, yeah. Somebody needs to make morning shows, but, like, not... In the morning, <laughs> we should pre-record our morning show. Oh my God, that's brilliant! Genius. Genius. So much easier. Yeah. yeah. All right. You, you talk to people who do morning shows we, on, we on like the radio, and they're like, "My, my life is so st like they have to get up at like 4 a.m. every day." Yeah. yeah. Well, we want it. We want people to think that it's like a live from show. The regular world. Yeah. Yeah. We want people to think it's a live show, but we want to record it so we can call it something like "Loading Ready Live in the Morning <laughs> at Night." At Night. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. We should call. We that. should do that. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna take a little break and come back with uh, uh, choose your own adventure with Adam, Beej, and Paul. So uh, don't go away. Thanks. Thanks everybody for watching. See you. Bye. See you in a bit. <laughs>